All right, everyone, we're waiting together. Uh, that is, we are waiting for the release of Millennia. If you're watching the VOD, Millennia releases in about 30 minutes, and so skip 30 minutes ahead in the VOD, because all you're going to be seeing is waiting, this fast-paced waiting content. Uh, we do have, you know, a little bit of ambiance in the form of screenshots of the game, because I was a bad content creator and didn't ask Millennia for early access to the game. I've just been watching people play it all weekend. Uh, people on stream being like, hey, you should pick up this game. I got it early because I make content and I asked them if I could have the game. And we didn't do that, so um, now we're waiting to get it. Hey, Cozy, how's it going? Hey, Chase. Hey, Deer. We're waiting together. Does Millennia have Chop Chop Economy? If it doesn't, we're uninstalling. We're asking for a refund. <laughs> There's no Chop Chop Economy. This is, this is what we need in our life. We need more... <sighs> We need more Chop Chop economy in our life. Hey, silly, how's it going? So it's just chatting for now. I thought the game released today. I bought it and can't play. It releases in 30 minutes. Allegedly. Ostensibly. Acumenically. Spiritually. Physically. Yes. Uh, so this is why you can't play it yet. Hey, playa. Millennia always favorite parado already favorite Paradox game. Oh, man. You're gonna trigger the Paradox devs. You're gonna trigger the Paradox devs. They're like, we didn't even develop it. Hey, Lo, uh, Lo Lang, how's it going? It's just chatting for now. Maybe we should change our Twitch category. Just chatting. I could put on a bikini, too. It'll be great. Your internet just got fixed. Big nice. Did you buy it or free key? I bought it. I don't mind spending money on, like, Paradox games. I wouldn't, like... <laughs> I think I already pre-purchased Spheres of Influence. Um... Like, when I got the game, like, the Grand Edition, but even if I didn't, I wouldn't mind buying it, even though I'm making content for the game. Although, to be fair, I'm helping them out by making videos for the game. What sweet tea is that? It's not sweet tea. This is just in a tea jug. But the jug is Arnold Palmer Half and Half Arizona. However, what's in here is a combination of the energy drink mix and the Dr. Pete mix from... Copyright. Um, the Dr. Pete mix from Soda Stream. And so, yeah... What sets this game apart from a staple like Civ? So there's um, economic systems in here that are quite a bit divergent from Civ because you have uh, chains. So here's a, probably a good example. You have chains of goods, uh, and uh, so normally you get this in like a city builder game where you like uh, have input goods and you build them up the chain. So you get the wad, uh, the wood, and you turn it into like lumber, and you turn that lumber into like. I don't know, uh, statues or something. Uh, but the point is, like, you can even look here. They have, uh, like, let's see. They have poets uh, as, a, as a building. Uh, and feeding into the poets is paper. And so uh, the thing that makes the paper is the wood, the paper maker, right? And then the wood you get from the chop chops, the forester. And so you have these integrations of goods that's not present in Civ. Uh, Civ it is, this is normally something that's more present in city builder games. Um, so, yeah. You actually like how it looks? You've never played Civ? I think Civ is just super, super nice looking for the purposes of making thumbnails with all the cartoony leaders and stuff. I think it's really good for making thumbnails. Um, which is like a weird, like, aspect to come at the game for, but I think Civ is, like, super good for that. I actually also like Civ a lot. I probably should have made more Civ content. Just the one run I did just did super bad. You heard that Dr. P is getting disbanded. It's not going to be made anymore. What? No shout. The hell? Hey, Sterling Hazy. Thank you for the follow. What? That's crazy. Crazy you don't get big three keys when you're probably the top spreadsheet for Goat for it. I'm definitely not the... I wonder if I have the most viewers per month. So, like, um, the, the thing you should look at is actually not... Um, like, if you're trying to... Let's pull up Social Blade. Not that I'm, like, perusing this this often, but here's my Social Blade. And we go by User Summary, and we click through the ad, because ads are terrible. The thing you should actually care about is video views for the last, uh, video views. This is the thing, this is the metric that, like, actually matters for, like, content, not subscribers or whatever. Um, and so, although I suppose that 
it depends on your how monetized you're getting. So like Mr. Beast has like pure like monet or how should I say this? Uh, if you're the edgier you are in your videos, the worse you're gonna be on the estimated yearly earnings. But um, just talking about this, uh, like my view count is like not terrible. I just like don't have anywhere near the same subscribers as some of these other bigger guys like Ludi or Lathe or what this type of thing. But I don't even know if I pull in the most Victoria three views um, out of everyone. I think that. Here, let's like I've looked at this somewhat recently and like Ludi gets like 4x the number of views uh, a month I get but he's making videos for other games too so um, who knows not me yeah you wish Civ was just a little bit deeper this is a little bit deeper generalist can you stream, <laughs> stream Pokemon Showdown again ah I could we could do Pokemon Showdown while we wait. I think we're only waiting like 20 minutes. <laughs> I think people would rather chat than watch Pokemon Showdown. It would just be me designing a team for 20 minutes and then never getting to play it. Uh, my favorite part of the economy was when he had a chop chop paper economy, then generalist chop chop anywhere, won the game instantly. This is true. This is how you win in Victoria 3. Yeah. I know people say it's a sandbox game, but it's really not a sandbox game. There's a, there's a way to have victory. Would you ever consider Civ 4 or 5? I think that probably not. Uh, West, uh, West J. Berry, thank you for the follow. I think that uh, it would be really hard for me to get as many viewers on Civ 4 or 5 as I could on 6. I'm so sad that I find the game ugly. Yeah, this game is... This game is, uh, yeah, not the most visually pleasing. Uh, but that's not uh, that's also something I don't care about like eventually w if you're playing a lot of the game like the the graphics just kind of like get abstracted out from your mind you know if you play a lot of it like if if Victoria 3 had a huge graphical update I like wouldn't even notice like to be honest right because the game is not the brain's not processing the graphics anymore graphics are just like they get the hooks in but then after that or at least to me it's like kind of irrelevant He's flexing Social Blade. What what the fuck is that earnings range? $99 to 1.6k? So that earning range is like, if I am just completely degenerate and like uh, talk about controversial things every single video, um, advertisers will pay very, very little for, um, you know, my advertiser will pay almost nothing for the views and the ads and also i could be getting a bunch of views but not be, have videos monetized and stuff like this so it's possible for me to make a whole lot less and that's why the range is huge um i get paid closer to the top end of that range are you also on live chat i think i'm on live chat here let's oh maybe i'm not did someone's thing get deleted morning piff king how's it going you make the best content, though? Thank you. I don't even know if that's... Uh, I, I, I think it's probably not the case that I make the most entertaining content, Vic3 content, for the general viewer. I have to I have to imagine um, someone like Lay this content is just, like, more entertaining. But thank you. Much appreciated. We get the boo-boops. Uh, thank you, Barbie Diddle, for the follow. Or Babra Diddle. Sorry. Brains on Barbie. Why is it so ugly? Civ 6 looks a lot better. I think the team is a lot smaller, especially in including the arts team, so... Um, Civ has, like, a, I imagine, a huge team. I think Bo Cohen 1 is probably the most views on Vic 3, unironically. We could look him up. Bo Cohen 1. Hopefully I spelled that right. We could look him up on Social Blade. So, I was pulling down, like, a third of a million views a month. And he's pulling down 3.7 million. But the thing is, is he's not doing just Victoria 3. Um, and so, uh, I don't, I have no idea. He does a lot better on Twitch, though. But he, I, my understanding is he's doing, uh, you would have to divide this by something, by the amount of other stuff. But you might be right. He might be, he, this actually would make a lot of sense. If he's evenly divided amongst four games... Uh, he'd be crushing me by, uh, like, two and a half X, uh, in terms of the view count per month. So, you like multiplayer Vic 3 content? Uh, people have been agitating to bring back 3v3v3s. 
It's not that your content is more or less entertaining, but I find you to be highly informative. Yeah. This is, like, more the angle I'm playing. I remember... Ooh, robots. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. You're the most wholesome Paradox content creator? That is wild as hell. Is that actually... Marco says I'm the most wholesome. I have... I... <laughs> Real talk. That, that's wild if I'm the most wholesome. I do not think I'm that wholesome. <laughs> I'm just out here vibing, man. I'm not like... You guys, we should all hug everyone together. <laughs> The graphics are definitely off-putting. Hopefully the gameplay will make up for it. I was enjoying the gameplay once I was getting into it, but yeah, just like initial whiplash when we like kind of play the game. The game kind of looks like butt, but you know, it did be like that. You don't like the AI-generated battle animation. We might skip the, like, a lot of this, like, visual thing. Like, we might just X out of this pretty aggressive. I'm the strongest Paradox creator? This is true. Physically speaking, I am very confident that I'm the strongest Paradox creator that has, like, over like a hundred K views a month or something. I do not think there's there's another paradox creator that is physically stronger than me. I mean we could show some of that stuff <laughs> while we're waiting. <laughs> Here, let's find a different channel. Oh no, he's showing his content from his other stuff. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> so this is me squatting 675. Let's get to the the, the meat and the potatoes. Oh wait, no wait, we gotta have the bros gym bros being bros. So this is what happened here. <laughs> Woo! So it's 90 pounds heavier on one side than the other. This next one goes up pretty easy, but I think it's worth noting that I think the main reason I could catch the weight on the previous rep when two plates fall off is because of a lot of the weird uh, one-arm stuff that I do that involves a lot of oblique strength and specifically dynamic oblique strength that yeah. allowed that to be kind of picked up. All right, let's get to the, let's get to the big easy, lift. Let's get to the 675. 675. Thank you, Pulitz, for the follow. Compared to the Hoey 4 specimen, you're a saint. Yeah, Hoey's got some degens. That's true. But that's, that's like, uh, I, I have to, like, uh, I have to imagine that there, I mean, there's definitely... So Flurry is more, probably more wholesome than me, right? For... Dude, there has to be Paradox creators that are, like, more wholesome than me. Lay's probably more wholesome than me, too. Slavery's bad because you don't pay taxes. Favorite wholesome creator. Yeah, basically. Exactly. That's what we're talking about. Dude, I, like... The... Too much, like, memes. Hide your kids. Oh no, they're spreadsheets. Like, <laughs> you have the best outlook on life? What, what are, in what ways are other Paradox creators' outlooks so bad? Hope you can disable the cinematic fights. I do too. You're the most wholesome. What other Paradox creator is creating a dating guide for their viewers? Can you imagine if, like, the dating guy just got a ton of traction and all, all the Paradox creators jumped on? Like, just imagine a world in which the dating video gets, like, 200, 300,000 views. Which would... That's not gonna happen. I'm just saying, hypothetically. And then a bunch of Paradox creators start making dating tutorials through the lens of their game. That would be so wild. Loki, I would tune into that timeline. <laughs> These graphics remind me of Civ 4. Actually makes me like it somewhat. Yeah, these guys worked on... Um, my understanding is the, the de development studio is really small. So, like, it makes sense that, like, it does have, like, the old type of vibe. Let's hug everyone while we read this dev diary. Yeah. I agree. We're, we're waiting together. We're waiting the 15 more minutes before we can play Millennia. Wah! 
Ludi can squat 630. Good thing I can squat 675. Can he actually squat 630? There's no way. Dude, Lo Ludi looks like he's... Ludi does not look built at all. Have you ever used smelling, smelling salts? Oh, I wish I had some near, nearby. You mean nose torque? Hell yeah, I've used smelling salts. I think I used smelling salts before that lift. Here, let's... I mean, we can find another lift. Where I used smelling salts before. Probably we can find one. Here, I guess I'll just... I should just be showing you guys. Let's hide these. Um... I'm trying to remember which ones we use smelling salts. We have to be quick about muting uh, any sort of copyrighted music. Um, so I know I use smelling salts in the hot girl shit lift. Let's find that. And people who say that this isn't hot girl shit, like, they, they misunderstand what it is. Alright, so there's some smelling salts. Big whiff. I hope it's good since I need something to get your SO, uh, get you through the SO series of influence uh, release. Can't physically make yourself play Vic 3 at the moment. Because of how good. Bro, I'm so excited for Spheres. But that is like. If you don't. So people like think that like hot girl shit means like you're doing stuff that hot girls do. No, it's it's the type of stuff you can do like as a girl and get away with because you're so hot. It's just like mildly unhinged. Like, type of stuff. People misunderstand the definition. How tall are you? Uh, I'm like 5'10". 5'11 on a good day. If I'm reporting my height like an average male my age, I'm like 6 foot. Because, like... <laughs> I, have a, I have a friend who's 6 foot, and let me tell you, he's not 6 foot. <laughs> you got scared when the place fell? I got scared too. I was like, oof. Flurry Worry? I love Flurry. Yeah, they, yeah, I'm talking about Flurry Worry. Flurry Worry seems wholesome. Like, he, uh, he does... Lathe can squat 6,000 pounds. Doesn't surprise me. He's he's Tunisian, right? This is the way. Could just be watch generalist lift while we wait for, for the thing. Something, something, children's in the mines. Yeah, I'm talking about sending children to the mines. Bro, there has to be, like, so many, like, takes of mine that are also, like, not wholesome as well. Like, sometimes I talk about politics. What have I walked in? You've walked in on us waiting for millennia. Uh, Gary Dragon. Uh, what about these games with Paradox Publisher? Cities Community is crazy wholesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. That has to be, like... I have to imagine that. They're like, oh, I'm gonna make the little homes for my little people. And, of course, there's, like, apocalyptic city Skylines creators, too, I assume. Like, oh, I'm gonna dump a crater on them or make, like, a volcano filled with poop. Blade can do that? Oh, man. The truth hurts. The truth hurts when you're not the strongest Paradox creator. I think I said it was probably the strongest Vic 3. I have no idea for Paradox as a whole. I would not uh, be shocked if there was some hoey dude who was jacked as all hell. I heard makeup videos and fashion pay the most per view. Have you ever thought about branching out? Can you imagine me making, like, that'd be wild as hell. Are you tracking Ara? I'm not. Where's that video of you lifting? Here, we can link uh, our other YouTube, I guess. I suppose we will link the other YouTube. Yeah, there's a lot of videos of me lifting. Are you on the juice? I'm not. I've considered it though. I have about like three to eight years left of getting stronger. There's some things I want to hit. Also like, uh, I'm at a point where like, I could actually try and push some records if I like hopped on the sauce. Lord Smoothie, thank you for the follow-up. But at the same time, it's, like, inconsistent with other goals in my life. And I also think that I would probably resent myself uh, after hopping on the juice. So, like, psychologically speaking, uh, I might not want to do it. But also, I think that people... I think people are, like, really silly about um, steroids and the fact that they, like, think that steroids are, like... <sighs> Like, uh, the, the community in weightlifting, just how anti-steroid, like, some of them are to me is just very strange. Hot take, but power clean is the best lift I will die on that hill. No, that's a decent take. 
that's not hot at all. I mean, I would... Like, Kettlebell Swing is also probably a really good shout. Uh, but the thing is, you don't have to pick just one. I guess we could show off another lift. Should we show off probably what is the most impressive lift to, like, the average person of all time? Or that uh, that we've done? I guess let's show it off while I, while I scroll through the chat. Jarmos is on Millennia. It's going to be... This is the thing. We are going to be on Millennia. Game going to be trash or what? We don't really know. Paradox creators can be very bad. Oh, we had a streamer that was streaming for Wagner HQ. That's freaking wild, dude. Which is very hard to see as a Russian guy. Guy was brainwashed. Yeah, I think that there's like a lot of... I think that there's a reason why... Uh, uh, <laughs> there's a reason why... Um, they don't have, like, the Holocaust in the actual game. Because <laughs> they don't want people just intentionally, like, genociding out pops or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> the lift is like, what is that lift? The hot girl? Yeah, you have to, like, you have to have that uh, certain, like, a, like, a hot girl could get away with doing that one lift. Right? Just, like, just doing that in the gym and, like, everyone would be like, all right, okay. I guess, but like, I get away with like stuff, doing weird stuff in the gym because I'm like strong, but even then like I get weird looks, so am I truly getting away with it? Goddamn bro, you're huge. Yeah, I am a big boy. You gotta be a big boy if you want to get 200 pounds over head. You're 5'7 in a 6 foot average country, oof. What about communism not being that good as your bad take? Is that, like, the people are so bifurcated on that. But, yeah. Ca so, here's the... Oh, yeah. We got five minutes until release, boys. But the thing about communism is, like... Uh, empirically speaking, like, every state that's... Country that's tried to be communist is like, uh, not been... Like, not turned out so well. And then, like, the rejoinder is, like, well, they weren't really communist. And it's, like... Bro, like... All the capitalist countries, too, aren't really capitalist, like, in a pure competition sort of sense of way. They don't succeed in, uh, like, fully executing their theory. I do think if you have less than 200 people, that communism is probably the way to go. In your, like, in your entire nat nation. If you have an economy of 200 or less people, I think it's probably good. You could do a beard grooming video, a routine video. Get some jewels for the beard. Hell yeah. Imkibitz made a city with a poop lake at the center. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's some wholesome content. We don't talk about the Grisha incident. Oof. Why doesn't Generalist, the swollest creator, simply not lift the other creators? Wouldn't it be easier to just lift them instead of uh, try and make videos against them? Wouldn't it be easier? This is true. I guess we could we could find some other videos. Oh, let's do... I, I, let's show off the one arm snatch. I suppose, while we're waiting. Or, actually, a thousand pound club application. This will probably be the last one we show off before we get into the thing. Uh, just snort creatine, that's all you need. It's like cheating, and most people dislike cheaters. Yeah, but, like... <sighs> bro, like, uh, the... I think that the line between, like... Uh, creatine and protein powder and, like, test is, like, uh, much less clear than, like, the other people think. Or, like, having dialed-in nutrition is probably, like, more useful than, like, or being in a caloric surplus. Like, it's all just, like, this, like, gray spectrum and people act like it's a, it's just a pure line. You either took steroids and you're, like, cheating for forever and always and, or not. Uh, who do you think are the top three Victoria multiplayer countries? Uh, well, definitely France, probably the, the UK now. Uh, it depends what the what you're playing for. Like, Ching is really good if you get to stay for a while, and so is EIC. So probably something like that. Olympics with everyone on steroids would be crazy fun. Like, so, like, 60% of, like, Olympic ap applicants, like, have reported that, like, uh, given the opportunity, uh, they would die 
uh, within five years in order to win gold. So they win gold, but they die five years later. That is wild as hell. And you're trying to tell me you're trying to prevent those people from taking steroids? You're out of your mind. Like, they should just let them juice to the gills. Like, just let them have it. So, and this is the most wholesome Paradox stream. Also, I'm like, did I miss today's Putin talk segment? If so, let's do it again, basically. I don't think, like, ripping on Putin is wholesome, right? Uh, not saying it's bad, but, like, it doesn't, it doesn't have, like, the cozy feel. But, yeah, we are, you haven't missed anything yet. We are waiting for Millennia to drop. Um, I didn't realize that it was going to drop at 10 a.m., and the stream was scheduled for 9.30, and so I asked chat, do you guys want to wait alone, or you want to wait together? And we're waiting together, just watching some lifts, just watching some lifts. I think that the lift, uh, my one-arm snatch, my best one-arm snatch is funny looking because, uh, it's, I'm in a sling while doing it. Um, we do like the sling. Let's see if we can find it. But we are waiting for millennia. Uh. Ah! Why is this in this mode and not the other mode? I'm okay, whatever. Yeah. You'd get IGN gave Millennia five. Yeah. Uh I don't think IGN is necessarily the best take of stuff. I like your whole brand of being a generalist is a little antithetical to juicing. Really? Uh, like, I, so I think there's, like, nothing morally wrong with, like, juicing, and I think people are, like, pressed, and, like, uh, I think that if I get to, like, if I just completely hit a wall, and I'm, like, just a little short of, like, a world record on something, bro, the thing is, I will, uh, what I can hope to give everyone is that I will be transparent on, like, exactly what I do. Um, which, like, to me, that's what annoys me. Like, if someone is saying that they're not juicing, uh, and then they are juicing, like, that bothers me, because I think that, uh, like, you should just, like, yeah, uh, honesty is, like, something that's important to me, so it bothers the shit out of me. Hey, dude, been enjoying the Victoria 3 stuff. Do you have background with business studies? Some of the phrases you say are spot on. I was, like, a minor in, uh... Uh, both business and marketing. I was a mi I was a minor in all three of business marketing, or not a minor. I w I had a major and then I swapped off of being a major in business marketing and um, economics at some point. I've taken a whole bunch of classes for those. My mom also has a PhD in economics. Cracks me up that for this game they put a super diverse people for a bunch of things and the uh, and for communism they're like ah fuck it put Stalin. For which game? This game. For, for millennia? What are you going to do a uh, video on lifting all the loud cars outside your home? Bro, I wish... One day someone actually asked me if I could pick up their car to move it because their, like, parking job was on. And it was, like, a kid who, like, didn't understand how heavy cars were or that, like, I would just, like, lift and rip his bumper off. Because, like, you can't, like... You have to be able to, like, grip at a spot that's, like, on the frame. Uh, and he wanted to, like, have him and his four buddies lift one side and me lift one side. And I was like, dude, you're out of your mind. Also, like, if we just dragged your car, it would just rip the shit out of your tires. <laughs> Very strange experience. Did you get premium or base? I got base. I love that some core features, are, like, settler starter. Wait, what? Some core features are locked behind premium? What the hell, really? Is this... What the fuck is that? Is it really that case? We all live together. What do you lift for, bro, if anything? For, like, a, a super total, which is powerlifting plus weightlifting plus the odd weird lifts. Just a few more minutes. Yeah, I'm waiting to click the install button. Oh, did I minimize the... Hopefully I didn't minimize the thing. I was just trying to... We, we, we might refund and rebuy then. Is that really the case? Bro, that's so stupid. Your journey in Malay...
It says the premium edition just is the expansion pass. I didn't want to get the expansion pass. It says base plus expansion packs plus official soundtrack. Official soundtrack, which we kind of don't care about. Eagle and Archer's Warband cosmetic pack. I mean, it doesn't say anything even remotely close to that. That's wild as hell if that's the case. Imagine trusting game journalists. Yeah, basically. Like, Victoria 3, like, I think takes forever History to get into. History is the into. result of decisions. The same is thing it? is true in millennia. All right, we don't want to... We want to listen to me, not to you. Uh, uh, Sojet Wombat, thank you for the follow. Actually, maybe we want to listen to him. Yeah, let's... I take it back, my guy. We're going to listen to you. History's pretty big. It do be big end. History can go in a lot of different directions. It's all about this fight for history and who can control it. What happened to your arm? <laughs> I, I, I hurt my shoulder during the exact lift I was showing. <laughs> so this exact lift? I hurt my shoulder doing it with the other arm. <laughs> Just the one arm stash. Thank you, Zemo, for the follow. Sojet Wombat, thank you for the tier one sub. Big nice. Real technology is balloons and zeppelins and steampunk. Do I think Millennia is real good? We don't know yet. I think a history buff could get excited about the alternate takes on history. IGN report reviewer playing poorly. That tracks. Which changes how the timeline goes every time you play. You could go into a crisis age. Yeah, like, also, like, you're, when you're playing the game and you only have, like, okay, let's actually make this bigger, but, like, when you're playing the game and you only have, like, I don't know, some games just require a lot of hours to, like, get into it, into it, you know what I mean? It might appeal more to a PDX crowd than a Civ 6 crowd. It definitely seems a little less simplified. I don't hate when people juice. I think they should be honest about it. Yeah, this is like exactly how I feel. All across the map, we are showing so much at any given time in a much stronger way than other games tend. To this video should play when I get a new sub. Me just one arm snatching with a sling. You can cut that tree down and make logs. That'd be a little wild. Turn it into paper, which can be used to make books and religious texts. It always feels like there's something new going on in Millennia. It's been really Tier 4 age 8 government is communism and it just has the pick of Stalin. You should pick out the sub more. Yeah, the, this is a branch out for me, so like, I expect Millennia overall not to do that good. If I get a ton of traction with Millennia, it seems like something I'd want to play a bit of. Like, real talk, like, Victoria 3, like, I would play less Victoria 3 if it was not the only thing I get a ton of views on. I'd still play it, i definitely love it, but, like, sometimes, especially, like, towards the, the later end of right before a new patch, I'm just, like, kind of over it a little bit. To some extent. Vic 3 is a pretty good economy simulator. I really like how they do market stuff. You're a college uh, and marketing student, you're like, the dude knows the stuff. Just like March 6th is when Spheres of Influence comes out, and whenever you're marketing something releasing, or, you, or not March 6th, May 6th, you should always say the date, May 6th, when Spheres of Influence drops as frequently as possible. That way it gets ground into people's minds that May 6th is the date it comes out. Spheres of Influence, May 6th. I think it's just a couple skins. Game is out. Game is out? All right, we're going to download. Download time. Play now? An error occurred while installing Millennia. App not released. No, no. It's not out. Oh, wait. All right, we're installing now. We're installing everyone. Which hopefully this doesn't scuff the stream too much because we're downloading, but we are downloading, boys. Premium offers cosmetic and DLC later. It can be installed. All right, we're in it. We're in it. We're installing. We're installing everyone. Is Millennia real? Can it hurt us? Yes. I misread it. The text is later weird. Only six uh, gigabyte installed. Not too many art assets. 
Malenny had multi? Probably will. I only have 400 hours in Vic 3, only playing Wallachia, and I never managed to unify the homelands yet. Oof. You also never colonized? Bro, you just have to go for South Africa every single game. Like, it's so hard to emphasize, underemphasize, like, exactly how much value there is in getting the gold, allowing you to get more construction early. Like, everything in Vic 3 just snowballs, and so, like, just increasing the snowball earlier is so critically important. Also, like, cheesing people for war reps is really strong. We don't do it that often. We're downloading now. You had to restart Steam to install. Yeah. I remember when IGN removed Crash Bandicoot Trilogy while only having completed it halfway. Terrible. The graphics are rough. Yeah. Let me speak to <laughs> let me speak to the peak bull Piccolo. Your game is ready to play. Hell yeah, brother! All right, we're gonna launch it up. Boop boop boop. Tier four sub. You come and lift uh, the viewer with one hand. I can lift a lot of people with one hand. Uh. Well, not most people, like, especially not in America, because people are heavy, but, like, uh, I can lift people overhead with one hand. It's something I can do if they're sufficiently small. I guess they have to be kind of, like, 150 or less. You've dissected Vic 3 info fully until the ne next DLC? No, there's so much, like, I haven't, I haven't done yet. I've, I, I have to release, um, the Kraken, uh, the, the Standard of Living video. Most critiques I've seen are a lack of differentiation between civs and lack of animated leaders. The animated leaders are really, really nice for making thumbnails, to be honest. Um, like, thumbnails look, uh, look really nice. You're not a big fan of the Tinto Talks? Really? Why? I went back to Imperator while waiting for Spheres. Yeah, this is fair. Restart Steam. Alright, let's get things going. So... Ah! Capture the thing! There we go. Hopefully my camera's in a nice spot, because I... The thing is in the overlay. We might have to make this very serious adjustment if this is, like, a terrible spot to have the cam. Alright, we're gonna skip through, or kind of... Is it out yet? It's out. Yes. We, of course, will play as Carthage. Is the... Actually, no. First thing we gotta do in every game. I don't know why games just come so freaking loud, man. Why is Carthage not here? What the hell? Excuse you? Um. <laughs> uh, excuse you. <laughs> God, which <laughs> which one do we have to pick? I guess I guess uh, <laughs> not Roman cities. No, not like this. Greek cities is probably the closest. Discount. What discount should we choose? He could do Bane breaking Batman. I'm Batman. I was born in the Victoria Three. What should we do? Probably something trade-oriented, to be fair. But... I feel like naval units plus movement probably sucks ass, to be honest. In your France run, Transvaal to become a protector of Great Britain, and now the war score is stuck at minus 100. Eventually you can enforce. Uh, you just have to enforce... If you have to... Uh, if, you, if you can get... If war court score can decay below zero on the UK, then you can enforce eventually. People don't wear shoes indoors, have no idea where that came from. Interesting. You think it'll be beginner friendly? Eh, maybe. Why is the game 40 euro? No idea. Play as Rome? Not Rome. We're never playing as Rome. No Carthage uninstalled, basically. Alright. Brazilian would be the closest one, trust you. Carthage and Greek cities? Uh, Greece actually had an influence on Carthaginian culture that makes sense. Maybe discounted settlers make sense to some extent. Actually, discounted pioneers probably make sense. Carthage had a lot of uh, uh, 
settlements. Let's not use the Zulu flag, though, eh? God, the forbidden flag. Where's my elephant flag, man? The truth hurts. I guess India has elephants? Is that India? Alright, let's just do it. Wait, didn't we... Oh yeah, okay. Carthage, discounted settlers. Let's go, baby. Let us go. Thank you, Zemu, for the follow. Wait, what? That wasn't the baboop. That was an eight minutes ago baboop. Ah, oh, my baboops are out. Production for food? Plus culture always have reforms going. Should I start uh, with Civ then? If you're... What's the context of this question? You're... Here, let's look over at the Twitch chat. Should I start with Civ if you're a beginner? Maybe. I think you should start with whatever interests you. Welcome to Millennium. Messages like this will teach you how to play. Okay. We've already gone through some of this stuff in the demo, so... But you're saying that... Okay, so... The first question is, are we supposed to restart? <laughs> Let's not restart games uh, <laughs> at the start here. But we are going to want cultures for both, or we're going to want things for both olives, as well as uh, this, in terms of research, I think. What I, what I found really striking about the game was that when we played the demo was that it really felt that each start uh, inspired you or not inspired uh incentivized you to play a different way so have we ever played total war yeah we have all right carthaginian warband we're just gonna scout with these boys and we're scout with these boys and choose technology now we know that we want we have olives and I think we need plantations to work them. I don't know if we want it to be our next one. I think we want scouting to be our next one. We need three of these to unlock the next age. Let's do scouting. Actually, I think we hated scouting. I can't remember. And then here, we can build a scout, but I think we're going to build a town center. Which is gonna give government XP. Hmm. This gives us three influence. Palisades. Let's get a let's do a town center. Rename capital? Oh yeah, definitely. There we go. Wow, we're getting so many baboops. What are we getting babooped over? Thank you for the follow, Rusin, Rooster Miyari, and Lamentaz, and Tattooed666. Big nice. Very big nice. Oh, Karasak, uh, must have raided. Hey, how's it going? Thank you for the raid. That explains everything. How's it going, my guy? Is this Greece? We're trying not, we're trying to, we're trying to forget. We're trying to forget what happened to Carthage all those long years ago. Prussia's is pretty good and interesting. Lots of natural resources. Yeah, Prussia's is good for a beginner. Are you going to form realm? Oh, Jesus. People are looking to get banned. How do we get moderators in our chat? So we have goods. Uh, goods like flax, marble, or wheat. And so in particular, we have the olives and the cotton that we are going to look to be utilizing. Uh, it seemed like early on, fish was super broken. Um... Lamas, how's it going? Hey, hey, cool, you just started. Yeah, we did. 1080p streaming possible on your bandwidth handle? The UI is a bit blurry. Son of a bitch, dude. I think that my bandwidth can't handle it. Or, like, we used to have 1080, but now we don't have 1080. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know if there's anything I can... Maybe... Okay, let's... Let's see if we can check... I don't know if I don't know OBS well enough to know how I would try and fix this in real time. I apologize. This is something that people have mentioned, but we do get a raid. All good here. A hard day at work. Now you're gonna enjoy some lasagna and millennia. Hell yeah, brother! What were you streaming before? 
Much appreciated. I think you gave me one of my big raids, like my f first like big raid. Okay, hunting, if I remember correctly, hunting was pretty good. The stuff that gives food early on is, seems to be really good. So we'll just try and continue on here. What happened to the Carthage run? The Carthage run is still out there. Uh, the Victoria 3 Carthage run is pretty scuffed. So landmarks, uh, keep an eye for landmarks, special locations, move scout, discover landmark. Big nice, okay. Did we discover a landmark? I don't think we saw one. Ah. Strange designs. We could get improvement points or knowledge. We'll take the improvement points for now. Maybe having face in the bottom left would be better. You're probably right. Ugh. Oh, the problem is our overlay. So we can move the face. Oh. We can move the entire overlay. But otherwise it's like this. Which looks kind of scuffed. Maybe you guys would prefer that, actually. Even though it looks scuffed. You can also just move the Twitch overlay just a little bit. Yeah, that looks okay. That looks passable. Let's go, baby. So the, the notifications will pop up on, <laughs> offset. <laughs> Which is a little gross. Ooh, we get some wheat here as well, so that's gonna be nice. He did the fix 720, so it's actually streaming 720. It wasn't even at full 720 a few days ago when he selected. Ugh. The truth hurts. I'm, I'm... See, the thing is, we had it... We had 1080 before, so I... And then I messed around with OBS. And now, like, every time I, I mess around with OBS, I just get traumatized. Tribal governments. Governments offer ideals in, uh, that can be used to purchase improve your nation. Currently, you have government domain XP to purchase tribal farming ideals, such as tribal farming. Alright. Cool. Other nations in diplomacy... Okay, cool. You can see what Constantinople should be. Yeah, exactly. Someone get this guy moderator privileges. Wow, so this guy's real close to us. Bottom left does have the improvements menu as a warning. Alright, we might move it. Maybe above the minimap? Mm, okay. Iberia just dropped? Hell yeah. Oh, wow. I feel hemmed in. Okay, fair enough. Form religion of shiny head in millennia. Uh, culture powers are powerful abilities that allow you to make your mark on the nation. All right, our culture power is ready. And so is our tribal government here, I think. Okay. Spawns a warband in selected outpost or I think we like just food in the capital. I don't think this is what they... I think they changed the balance from before. Okay, so we could create a town or local reforms. I think we'd rather make a town. I just don't know what we want. So we could get another wood tile if we make a town here. And if we make the town here... We can make the town there. We can make the town there. Wait, we can make the town there? That'll give us some more wood. The thing is, eventually we want the olives. But I think we get the olives anyways. I think we expand a little bit. You've met Spaniards. Time to create... Carthonova. Spain's looking tasty. Um, so I'm trying to remember what's best. That gets consumed for extra wealth. I remember wood being really good, but we already have a wood tile. I think we're just supposed to pick something and not fret about it too much. So let's do that. Oh, I thought it expanded all around. All right, fair enough. I think us being close to the mountains is not terrible either. Ooh, hey, hey. 
Us getting an archer is nice. I think we want to split them, though. That way we can scout a little bit better. Where's my not paid for content of Vic 3? Terrible. Is the game Inshallah or Haram? <laughs> See, Ashala means safe, Haram means forbidden. I forget which one's which, to be honest. Ooh. So maybe we need to bring the archer back. Bring it back, throw it back, you know what I'm saying? I remember rivers being strong too. I actually don't remember the demo as well as I would like. Your people need food, that's true. With food, uh, population declines, all your... As your population grows, so does your regional need for food. Uh, oh, we clicked through that thing a little faster than we would have liked. Or than we had meant to. Um, I think we want to wait until we can get one of these 20 ones. Hmm. There's another Spaniard. Terrible. Stellaris looking to swing 2D images of the leaders. Hopefully I can get- I can fix it up to make the, the stream a little bit better. Okay, so this we got from our research, and the only area we haven't really scouted very well is up. I guess we'll take a look at Larissa. It's good, right? Alright, so workers will give us improvement points. We already have some improvement points. Let's go for farming. And then can we click control? No, we can't queue it up. Alright, fair enough. Not everyone is friendly, that's true. Uh, for that matter, everyone not everyone is civilized. Oof. We have domains. Uh, so we unlocked the warfare domain because we fought a little bit of a, a battle -y. Oh no. We don't want to watch that. Or maybe we want to show it for the initial... Here, we'll show this battle. Pew 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 pew! I think it makes your borders expand much faster. The 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 crowny thing, I think, resource. Posted a guide on Reddit for cities and town would improve the upvote there. We might take a look. Brom because no Carthage. Facts. Did I see what happened in Baltimore? No, what happened in Baltimore. Hopefully nothing too crazy. But usually when someone asks, did you see what happened in blank? It's like some like fucked up thing happening, which is unfortunate. <laughs> We don't like the fucked up things, do we? Thank you, Zero F, for the follow. Yeah. Bro, can't the world just be chill? Actually... Yeah. The world, it's complicated. We get the homeland thing, which is giving us a buff. Okay, so Dolman gives us, uh... God, this feels like such a big commitment early on. Like, it feels like stuff really makes a difference. Which is, I guess, a, a hallmark for a good game. But we're gonna either be getting... So we're gonna make a dolmen or we're gonna make a lookout. So we're either gonna be getting exploration XP uh, a little bit faster or influence a little bit faster. I think we'll go for the influence. I still find the idea of a civilized nation highly racist, but that's just me, perhaps. That's what a lot of people do. But like, you get the you get people just uh, changing the language and then finding the new language racist, and then changing the language and finding the new language racist. Like, so for example, um, like uncivilized or barbarian turned into undeveloped, which turned into like underdeveloped, and like uh, in terms of like the nomenclature, or like West versus like non-Western, like is like another one because it doesn't denote west at all right because 
uh, what is it, South Korea, Japan, and Australia are all considered part of the West. But also, like, this is a small studio. I think if there's a bigger studio, you don't see Uncivilized in there. I think you see something else. A ship chef kissed a bridge. It bad. Oof. We don't like that. <laughs> Gasoline, let's go. You made me buy this game, shame on you. I apologize. I think that this game is- I, I think this game's gonna at least be very enjoyable for at least a, a playthrough or two. You accidentally move an army wrong? Uh, location, build an improvement, undo. Undo button be nice. Where is that? Okay. It said it was down here. Alright, so let's continue scouting. God, that's gonna have like unlimited food. I think we take the scout, to be honest. We're just gonna plant a city there. Gonna name it Carthage. By the sea. Restore a dream of a better time. Carthago. I've heard Eastern Asia instead of Middle East. Yeah, Eastern Asia is actually probably technically more accurate. Middle East, not a continent. Barbarians, unrecognized instead of barbarians. Yep, yep, yep. So like, the, the thing is, is like, you're just, to some extent they're just moving the... How do we, where do we do, fortify until healed? Can you not heal outside your own territory anymore? All right, let's get the scouting towards our area done a little bit better. All right. And, oh, these guys could have come back to do the scouting. I guess this guy will maybe send him down here to scout down this way. Maybe that's not best. All right, so we did manage to grow a little bit. We have the barbarians coming in. I guess maybe we bring this guy back to deal with the barbs. Let's do this just in case, like, we would have gotten sacked or something. There's no fortify until heal button. There used to be. Maybe they changed that? No raging barbarians? Yeah. You got killed by a rando 50 power barb. Thank you, Maurice. Hey, Maurice. What am I missing? Oh yeah, it is like Civ games. Sorry. There's a lot of chatter. A little bit hard for me to keep up. Thank you, Ruskov, for the dono. The 100 Czech crowns, I think you said it was? Shiba Dog squeezing Big Red Heart. You know what's interesting is it, like, it doesn't, so it doesn't show the emote on my restream chat. It shows, like, the description of the emote, which I think is just lovely. <laughs> I really love the the emote description. Can we... Hmm. How do we heal the army? You double-tapped your, your cap? Still have no clue what unrecognized is supposed to mean. <laughs> it means barbarians. <laughs> it means barbarians, but nice. <laughs> no, unrecognized means... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I guess it, it kind of does mean that. Game launcher won't work, you can't play? Oh, try restarting your game. Did you try turning it off and back on again? Improvements. Alright. Oh, we have improvement points down here in the bottom right corner. We probably should be. So, Forester, I think, is a pretty good one. If I recall correctly. Um, I think we'll take the government reform. You could almost spawn a settler. 
It's almost time to establish Carthage, guys. Almost time to establish Carthage. We're doing it. I... Does anyone know how to heal guys? Because I <laughs> do not know how to heal guys. Huge. Bold move to not update Civ, <laughs> Civ UI design at all. Congo had recognized territorial sovereignty, for example. Interesting. You've tried everything? That's no good. You don't see a cat with a heart? I don't. Unless I swap to the YouTube chat, then I see it. I can swap to the YouTube chat and look at the cat with the heart. We can do that. Now I see the cat with the heart. Except it's actually not a cat, it's a Shiba Inu. I see the Shiba Inu. It tells me it's a Shiba Inu, that's how I know it's a Shiba Inu. <laughs> so, look, this is, seems like a spectacular place for a city, but at the same time it seems like a bad place for a city. Because where are we... Oh, we're going to get the production from here, maybe? On the hills? General is looking at the code with the emote description. I don't, I don't even see code. All I see is blonde, brunette, and redhead. I just see the Shiba you knew. I would really like to fortify until healed. I guess we're going to try and walk these guys back and see if we can heal inside our own territory. Or what that's about. Maybe you just heal automatically when you fortify. So we have enough to make a settler. Very much the plan here. Can we make it in Larissa? No, we can't. And we're going to make Carthage by the sea. Carthage has to be by the sea. That actually seems like an incredibly good spot for a city. So we're going to do Carthage there. What's this? Continue move? Okay. Well, since the other one's coming back, I suppose we'll just do this. Discover those mountains. Maybe maybe we'll continue on this way. We have another guy down there, so let's go north a bit. Ah, uh, that's not an outpost. That's a barb camp. Dear Barbara, what are you drinking? Gasoline. I tried turning off the ventilator on and off and see if it works. Mom's still offline. The truth hurts. The truth, it hurts. So, do we want to unlock tribal elders or... I think we want workers, to be honest. Let's find the... Okay, is that a goody hut or a barb camp? It looks like... It's both. It's both. I think Congo's history ends with the country being a protector of Portugal and eventually annexed. Big oof. It's saying it like there's not a Congo now that's currently being ravaged. I need... I want to find out more about that... What's going on in the Congo right now. I gotta find a good source. If anything, like Civ, you can heal in Homelands. In Civ, you can heal out of Homelands. It's just a lot better. Ports don't give you production. They probably do later on. I don't know if they give you production right away. Oh, maybe we're supposed to just fortify there? Here, let's just guard. We're gonna set him to guard. We're gonna bring him back. We're, we're definitely gonna be doing a little bit of a discovery this time. This time around. We're not expecting that to be super optimized. Maybe click the injured unit only. Ah, you might be onto something. We're gonna try just getting in there because we're in there now. Okay. What did? Hmm. Ignore this army until guard is canceled or army is fully healed. Okay, spectacular. Is that what it says? Can we just not read? We just can't read. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna guard and it'll do it until we're healed. You could try playing the demo again. <laughs> I like the term mountain people in the context of ancient China. People who didn't like the government and lived in more ragged mountain areas where centralized powers couldn't reach. That certainly is... Well, so here's the thing is, like, whatever term you use, it's gonna, like... The term itself will become offensive. Like, is, like, one of the big problems. 
You know what I mean? Like, uh, like for example, moron used to be considered offensive, and moron and idiot used to be the offensive terms, right? And then they use, then they introduced like the R word, which offends people. Uh, so that's why we're not saying it because we're not. We're, whatever. Uh, but the point is, is that that was the inoffensive term. Uh, and then everyone started using the inoffensive term to re refer to people with, like, mental disabilities, right? And then now, now like, neurodivergence is the inoffensive term. And eventually, neurodivergent or whatever is going to become offensive. Like, just because the usage case of, like, all these things is that you are trying to... <laughs> The, the way the word gets used is such that it's going to, like, be offensive to someone because it's trying to... It's using the that sort of reference as an insult. Uh, and so whatever... It's, like, it's not the, that the word itself is offensive. It's that the use creates the offensiveness. Almost all of Carthage was by the sea. Yeah. Greek cities for Carthage. Thebes. Thebes. There we go. That's been fixed. Paradox players can't read. Only green, good, red, bad, basically. I speak in colors. Do you speak the language of my people? So we could create a town. I think that we're waiting to reform tribal. And I think we're gonna maybe do community projects. Uh, we have six improvement points right now. We can make a hunting camp. We wanna wait. Oh man, I guess we're gonna move the camera. Gonna move our camera. Ah, not that. We're not gonna move that. Let's move the cam over here. Uh, but I think that what we want is fish, because fish gives a ton of food. Um, and so I think we want that next. Could just get rid of the cam. Just say you gotta pay extra for that. Only thing I read is the line graph. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> That's the unemployment rate. Don't offend people when you insult them. Yeah. Who cares it's offensive? The West has to snap out of the craziness. Uh, well, I think that being... So I think that being rude and cruel is, like, a bad thing, just just to be clear. But also, I think that being rude and cruel should never be against the law. Uh, and that what it should be is a violation of, like, uh, social norms. And if you don't care about the social norm, it's super whatever, so... In my opinion. Other people don't share that opinion. I can understand why the R word is insulting, because it literally means slow, but the- so there are words that should- It literally means slow. Yeah, but saying someone is slow is much less, like, insulting than, like- Like, in the 50s, moron and idiot were the insulting ones, and, like, just being like, Oh, he's just a little bit slower, is, like, different- like, it's- In my mind, it's less offensive than saying there's something categorically wrong, because it implies that a catch-up will be achieved at some point. So, I'm a little tempted to, uh, right, like, depending on the, the nature of your neurodivergence, right, like, the, the notion that you're going to be normal with just a little bit more time is, like, either reasonable or not. New Cathargo. Can you change capital? Well, we're, we're just going to play with Cartho, Cartago as the capital. No, stop, stop expanding, Larissa. Stupid Larissa. We want to leave some of that dirt for Cathargo. But also, I'm like... <laughs> I think we're, we want a Eureka each age. Let's start researching the Age of Bronze. Also, I'm like, I don't care if I can say the R word or not. Like, me fighting for the ability to say it is like so unimportant to me. 
This is what I mean when I say I'm not wholesome, though. Like, like this is not a wholesome discussion. Oh, we can't improve. We can't improve Cathargo because we have to. We have to integrate it. Integration's slow. Yeah. Okay. I think we could make plantations though, which gives more food. So let's do the cotton. Food stockpile gives three food. I think we're gonna do that then. Actually, let's do a lookout. I think we have some food already. Where is being rude against the law? It's... If you're talking about the US, I don't think it's against the law in the US, but I feel like some people feel like it should be against the law. Um, <laughs> in the US, and I think that that take is stupid. <laughs> One of the meds a take has the R word in its name, by which I mean it's just made for a slow uptake, yeah. veterancy. Getting fired is a social repercussion, not a legal one. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with people getting fired because they, they did something socially unsavory. That's not what I'm referring to. I apologize if, that, if it felt like that was what was going on. Oh, these are neutral one. Got it. You know what? I think we're going to merge these guys over here. And have like a bigger army stack. Yeah, but saying that they're slow. Yeah. They're slow because they have a mental disability is kind of bad, no? I mean, is it relative to saying they categorically are not going to be mentally capable of this certain thing? I, I, I think one's more offensive than the other. But, like, also, like, you know, <laughs> like, if your IQ is, like, 50, you are just not going to be able to do the same thing as someone with, like, a 100 IQ. Like, it's just, like, the notion that you could do it with just a little bit more time is, like, you, there's some things that are going to be impossible. Yeah. The way, the meaning of the word will shift. Yeah, they just shift over time. People uh, don't like unintentionally using a uh, mean term with extra connotations they don't mean. Yeah, so if they find new words or reusable old ones, the connotations were off. It's just communication. Yeah. And also I'm, like, fine with making adjustments, too. I think, like, so, like, the, there's a lot of people... So, like, the type of class of person who's, like, can I be brutally honest with you? And then you're like, yeah, sure. And then they just, like, rip into you. And, like, it's really not about honesty. It's about the brutality. Like, those people, when it comes to language, like, I think there's a lot of people who just want to be meaner. And they, like, are upset that, uh, socially speaking, like, when you're mean, people don't like that. So, like, I think a lot of people, like, whinge about not being able to say something. But at the same time, like, yeah, I, I think that, yeah, let's just heal these guys up, too. Yeah. The I think that like acting like the R word has always and forever been like the offensive thing uh, is just like not it doesn't comport with like the history. Like if if you uh, yeah if you study psychology and you just like look it was the 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 kind term for a time and it was invented or introduced. Uh, to refer to people with who are mentally handicapped as a kinder term than the words that were used at the time, which was like idiot and moron, which are now not considered offensive. You could also say that neurodivergent can be uh, messing. I swear I saw two maps, one on top of the other, big nice. And, like, it shouldn't be illegal, but you shouldn't be surprised when people call you an asshole or deny you social status. Absolutely. I think being a jerk is bad. <laughs> and you should try and avoid it. <laughs> uh, generally speaking. 
Probably not categorically speaking, but generally, yeah. It's only a problem if someone lets them uh, themselves get years out of touch with the people around them and don't talk. Yeah, so, like, this is the thing, is, like, the R word, it wasn't, like, offensive, or super offensive, like, 15... I guess it's actually, it's been offensive for a while now, but... So maybe I should just... But it, it definitely was not always offensive, and it used to be the nice term. And so... To some extent... Just, like, so I remember in my philosophy courses... Um, the term Native American, by some, was considered offensive, uh, relative to a term like pre-American, um, because it's not really the case that they, they, the Native peoples of the North America never identified themselves as Americans at any point, <laughs> uh, before, you know, the, the coming of the Europeans. I think we want production... Let's build a work camp. Generalist Gaming doesn't like censorship because it slows down research. Yeah. Yeah, but you could also say calling someone neurodivergent can mean that their brain's not quite there, which is also messed up. Yeah, th I, so this is exactly the thing. I think this is definitely 100% going to happen, and, like, in 40 years, neurodivergent will be offensive. Uh, you know, and it's, like, it's just people being jerks. Uh, like, because you can understand what's going on without feeling the need to, like, try and hurt other people's feelings. Alright, so we're either gonna go God King Dynasty, I think, or... Um... Or Mound Builders. I think we liked God King Dynasty a lot in the thing. Reduce cost of expansion into hills... Stonecutter, quarry. But we don't have a lot of this stuff around, do we? Not currently. I mean, I don't even see stone or limestone on the map right now. Maybe it appears. We do have this mountain here and this here. So I guess we have some. We could go for a spirit that's like more boaty. Uh. We could go Ancient Seafarers. The thing is, we don't actually have a coastal province. So do we want to do... Let's do our first poll. Do we want to do Seafarers or God King Dynasty? Gotta end the poll. What do... And, like, discuss it, because I, I find discussing words interesting. Like, it can, to me, is conceptually interested, in, more interesting than, like, I'm actually trying to solve something in a substantive way. Um, but, like, you can tell by my reluctance to say the R word. I'll definitely say it in, like, other times, because, like, if it's, like, uh, yeah, but, like, I, uh, I'm disinterested in hurting someone's feelings just to be a little bit edgier generally, but I guess sometimes I'm, like, okay with it. Like, I don't know. Being rude should be okay, except when someone's being rude to me. Then it should be against the law. Is the game worth buying? We're kind of finding it out. Um, the game is a little bit pricey, but I think that the game's gonna be pretty good, so, uh, we'll see. We'll be streaming all day, though. I hope the game does well as well. Uh, it seems to me a very interesting project of merging stuff without being overly complex. Um, and, I mean, I'm excited for it. I, I hope it does well. I think it's going to do well. With an IQ of 50, you could do a World Conquest in CK3, but never in Vic 3. The truth hurts. In a non-sponsored way, would you recommend this game? I would say I'm not sure yet. I, I would say I'm really excited about it. I would say that the demo I enjoyed, um, we're planning on playing for a long time. Yeah. Thoughts on the game? Illegalize insults. Legalize battery. Vote Kiko 2024. Oof. Being rude is okay if you have power in the, their group. If you don't have power in the group, people will say your rudeness is wrong. This is kind of... Yeah. Generally, I'm super free speechy as well. 
You've heard of generalist gaming. What about categorical gaming? The truth or it's categorical logic. I mean, people generally think that here, why don't we, oh, while you guys are voting, at least on the YouTube, why don't we open up God King Dynasty so you guys can read what maybe is the thing? I mean, people generally think that they are better than you, and by insulting you, they believe that they are somehow being helpful in their backwards logic. Yeah, and it's generally like, so this is the the behavior of trying to elevate other elevate yourself by bringing others down, um, I think is negative. And I'm not trying to say I don't do it, because I, I definitely think I sometimes do that. Uh, but, like, this is the, the thing to focus on more so than, like, the word itself, I think. You don't say it to hurt people, you say it because it's funny. Yeah, I'm fine with people attempting to be funny. And sometimes being funny. And being offensive. Uh, and, like, taking the risk. I also think if you're gonna... If you're gonna make jokes that are potentially offensive, you have to also be okay with sometimes people are gonna get mad at you. You know? And that's just a risk you have to take. Every four years, middle schoolers will just turn all these terms into insults. Basically, seafarers, man, is Cathargo. Says Senso Rocks. Let's take a look at ancient seafarers. I just tell the truth, and if their feelings are hurt, I do not care. See, the, God's chosen person? Uh, that, to me, sounds a whole lot like the people who, like, uh, ask, uh, uh, can I be brutally honest? And then you say yes, and then they're more focused on the brutality or the than the honesty. There's definitely ways, like the truth is not such that it is devoid of framing or presentation, right? So you can say something that's true, and you can say something that's true and hurtful, and say something that's true and less hurtful, and have them both be just as true as the other. Don't you know we live in an outrage society when you have to express your how offended you are by everything? Yeah, that's also, like, just annoying. Boats, says Donald. I agree. What type of map style is this? Also boats. These national spirits seem really OP. I don't know if I like it. I prefer more of a generalist in 4K. Let's see how the vote's going. It looks like Seafarers is barely winning, so let's go with that. So we'll select Seafarers. Um, now, we haven't integrated them yet in Cathargo. And I do believe integration costs resources. So we have to be a little bit leery. So we could do government... Like, we could do oral history here. But then I think this will make it... Diff longer until we can integrate Cathargo. I'm trying to think. I can't remember... We could also use more improvement points, though. Let's just do it. I don't know. We we save 18. Kind of available for the other stuff. Tyrion purple is the way. Bro, I wish we were purple. I feel like this scout's gonna die, man. This scout's just gonna eat it. Speaking of, I think we, we have this mega barbarian on our northern border, so I guess we have to go this way now. Yeah, this guy's dead. Crisis ages. Alright. Thanks, bud. So we'll heal up. If one makes offensive jokes, they better make them good instead of plainly offensive. Yeah, this is kind of my opinion. But also, I 100% like... If someone makes a bad offensive joke, I like... <laughs> I generally like... I'm not, like, upset at them. I'm just like, oh, that's not very funny. Half and half Arnold Palmer's, I see. It's the spirit of the Arnold Palmer, but it's actually Mr. Pete in Energy Drink Mix. Variant Ages. We do get to see some of that. We'll see. I think we're going to continue to heal up. Oh, actually, maybe we don't. Do we want to use Culture Power? Yeah, let's take a look. So we haven't eureka to this age, so we could Eureka. Um, we could absorb this outpost. Uh, 
Oh, so we don't have an outpost. Okay. I think we're gonna Eureka. These guys heal up, and then we end. Is the gasoline jug leaded? Yeah, it's for the gains. Can't you teleport the scout? Oh, you're right. We can't teleport. We could have teleported the scout for some of our exploration XP. You're right. I apologize. That's right. Cathargo is going to be able to be integrated soon. Um, we have 15 development points, but we're going to save them for Cathargo. Purple is also a Roman color. You take it back. It's distinctly Carthaginian. You know why it's called Tyrian Purple? Because it's from the city of Tyre, which is the capital of Phoenicia, which established Carthage. Money in system in the game doesn't even work yet. Oh, you should join the Discord. Money system in the game? Yeah. I think there's a Discord link. There should be a Discord link, but just because there should be a link doesn't mean there isn't a link. Link on the YouTube? Maybe. We need to bring back non, uh, non-violent? You mean non-violent bullying? Adults bully alpha children into not dominating peers? This has affected a society in a horrible way. <laughs> I'm not sure I would couch that as bullying. Or that bullying is even the ideal way of getting kids to behave. All right, we want to integrate. Yeah, there we go. This is why we're saving that government XP here. We're saving it because we want Cathargo. And then now we get to come in here and do the fishing boats, which give like infinite extra food. Yeah, five food. So Cathargo is going to grow real fast. And then I think we can't actually, I think we want to work camp because we're going to have trouble getting production. So. We're going to focus on the production initially here. Unrest is growing. Bro, are we really going to get unrested out? I thought we I thought we'd be cool to do it. Uh, speaking of, I think we're going to unlock Expand Faster into Water Tiles here. So we'll get that tile a little bit faster. Maybe we just defend and they'll attack us? What is this? Pioneer? Constructed outposts. Not sure where we want one, to be honest. Alright, but now we can do the mining stuff. Guess we want shipbuilding. We are, we are doing the thing. We need an army. We have an army. This guy. You improve kids by teaching them victory spreadsheets. This is the way. Yeah, like, the, the thing is, okay. I would have to, uh, <laughs> I would like to see a specific behavior that you, uh, you mean by bullying. <laughs> I guess. Where you're, like, saying the bullying is good. <laughs> I think this would be helpful for me trying to, like, give a generous interpretation of what you're saying here. Oh, this guy's... this guy's not... not messing around. Yikes. Oh, you fucked us up. Bro. I think we heal faster in our own territory, so we'll just bring it back and try and do that. Alright, so we expand here. Is 
Some kind of hero unit isn't interesting. Yeah, those things are really caked up. We have a ton of warfare XP. Maybe we do this? Spawns a warband? Replenish what we lost. Still don't know where we want the outpost. I feel like this is something we actually should, like, figure out, though. We could try and integrate one to Cathargo. We also have enough for an improvement. And hey, 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 we're gonna put in another fishing wharf here. So now we're gonna grow even faster. Look how fast this is growing, just super, super quick. It will be the monstrously big city. We just don't know. I mean, I guess we can make an outpost here. That seems like a waste of, for Cathargo. I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do here, chat. Wait, why, why is this not working? Okay. How's the le legibility on the stream? Is it like legible at 720? All right, we could make ourselves ready for peaceful revolution. Homeland plus two culture. I think this is better to do this sooner rather than later. Uh, Cause I know if we make too many cities, they're not gonna be loyal anyways. So we'll just do that. I think we're in decent shape. Now we're getting culture way faster. This Phoenicia that's idling. They can make a meeting hall or food stockpile. I think we'll do a food stockpile, expand a little faster. We could convert it to a vassal now, that's interesting. So we can make Carthage our capital, I think, I suppose, if we did that. Maybe we could build an outpost by Southern Water. I don't know if it's any good though. Like here? It's kind of tempting to make one. I want to expand Carthage is the thing, but yeah. Is there United Cities like Humankind? I don't think it quite works like this. You're watching with mobile data at 144? Oof. So nothing is legible then. 3700 BC seems early for Cathargo. This is fair. Seems early for Phoenicia too though. And certainly early for the American. Like one. What is this shit? Excuse you? Alright. We maybe gotta do stuff. Oh, is this another one of the uber big guys? No. Oh, he's not as caked up. Phoenicia seems misspelled. You might be right. Spelling's not my strong suit. Phoni... CIA? Fawn? Bro, I smelled it the exact same way as you. you. Gotta squint a bit, but it's probably fine. You know at the bottom they revealed the map? Bottom of the revealed map. Oh, like down here? Looks like they beat us to it. I am not a fan of this. I think that this is offensive. Speaking of offensive. We can do docks give extra range and production. We don't have a dock yet though. But look at Cathargo, look at them go. They're probably expanding water, they're probably expanding even quick. yeah, they're growing even more and more. Um, is there a way to rush this? We don't have the ability to rush yet, right? I don't even think we've invented currency yet, so... Hmm. 
But stay away from Carthage. Leave Brittany alone. Really want to stomp that out, to be honest. She puts it right on our border. Alright. We maybe have to have a think what we want. Could you use wealth to rush culture. Well, if we're RPing as Carthage, it's probably not discipline. I think we like the saw. I think we like the saw pit because we have access to wood and we're already utilizing wood. This is Phoenicia. She made the food stockpile. Let's make a meeting hall, I guess. Maybe we actually make a warband. Maybe this is not terrible. Yes, Cathargo. Let's go, baby. Looks like we get kicked around a little bit, but we're okay. We're gonna use our improvements to make. Ooh, we can use. A, we can make a quarry. Where can we make a quarry? Okay, only there. So here's the thing. I really wish Cathargo expanded here, but we can make another fishing boat improvement over here. We could also make a... gather these olives. Maybe that's a little bit better. Grow the capital. I think it's better because they get... they move vertically, but the capital is like growing slower than Carthage. This is the, the pain. You just went to buy the game, but uh, re relented reading reviews. Looks like I'll be waiting a few months. Are the reviews scathing? This is unfortunate if they are. So I think we already, in the Age of Bronze, we've already eureka so I don't think we want to. We have Cutting Edge. Increases, the, increases the innovation accumulated in each turn by plus 10. Kind of like this, to be honest. Culture power. I guess we could create a town for Cathario. That maybe would give them... Like, more territory. I think we'll do cutting edge for now though. 20 innovation a turn. I think we get like a special thing. Nothing is more offensive than archery. Okay, you are correct with the Phoenicia spelling, I think. Someone gave us the other one. Or this was you, but now you gave us... Oh, got it. You, you were saying that the one spelling we had was wrong. I think you were correct. I'm really bad at spelling, so if I make that type of mistake, let me know. Spain's trying to hug you. Carthage really should have won against Rome, but they could have and they should have. Rome, or Carthage just like went to Idiotsville with the freaking, the first Punic War, like peace treaty, where they're just like, yeah, we'll disassemble all of our ships, that's fine. Local reforms is uh, OP early game. I guess we chose the wrong thing then, maybe. Eleven reviews total, mostly negative. That's that's so early, bro. The game's been, the game's also been out for like an hour, right? If someone's reviewing after an hour of play, like I don't know, probably not trusting their opinion too much. I forgot we could also make an outpost. We could make one of these dirty things. Um. I mean, we could make an outpost for a Cathargo there. I think we want to snap up resources when we make an outpost. So it would have been reasonable for us to make one, like, here to grab the wine. But then we have this guy just, like, what is this about, man? 
We're not like, I don't think we're necessarily in a position to fight them, but also Carthage subjugated Spain. We're ready for peaceful reform. So we could ex look to expand up here and clear out some of the barbs up there. I, if this camp is still there though, I kind of want to pick that up. Maybe we go out this way. You bet another nation, you will address us with respect if you know what's good for you. But what if we don't? Biggest issue, uh, in your opinion, for the modern game is millennia is kind of ugly. Yeah, th so this is this is kind of what I, th I think it's... That's a fair... Man, do we just need a way bigger army? Okay, let's pump the brakes a little. Let's try... Let's try coming to bring it back. Let's get archers, maybe. The archers generally seem really good, so... And we are kind of hemorrhaging troops here. How are we doing on the building? Okay, we just finished the meeting hall. Alright, let's build a couple warbands then. Oh, doesn't that consume our pops when we do it? Cathargo's doing alright. What does the utility ship even do? Collects resources? Oh, I guess we could use it to collect this? I'm not sure if I think that's how good I think that is. Oh, we don't have a... we need a port. Dock improvement, got it. Let's see what we can use here. I mean, I think we want lighthouses. Make, uh, plus one production from limestone or marble goods. We don't even have any of those, though. We'll take the money, I guess. I don't think we have a way to spend it yet, but it's quite a bit of money. Bro, Spain is asking for it. Really can't make a bigger army. Three is just the biggest. What if we make one of these guys a leader? And now we have a leader with no melee guys. That's probably bad, huh? researching community then. This is Phoenicia. I don't even know... Uh, I guess we need better tech for some of this stuff. If we research an encampment, that gives us warfare XP. Or research, construct. Maybe we're supposed to build levy workers. Generates a decent amount of uh, improvement points a turn. In Cathargo, we can use some of that. Also build a dock, now that it gives us production. I think I kind of like that. Let's build a dock here, maybe. Oh, will the adjacency affect fish? Maybe we build it here? What is this? Oh, we just get a utility ship for free? Bruh. And this gives us wealth, exploration, and production. 
That seems good. People think they're buying a Civ game. Carthage would hire marks. This is true. And there's a ton of barbarians in the early game. You're telling me. I think that we made a mistake not going for more military. If anything, playing multiplayer should work. Uh, should be working for people. It's greatly disappointed Paradox not making functional component on Millennia, or... That's kind of interesting. Um, but it could also be the case that they... Like, the game's been out for like an hour, right? You realize that the UX is, uh, isn't a placeholder, and then you tone down the X, but yeah, this was not like a placeholder. This was, this was the thing. Alright, so I think we want this guy Harvest Goods. Could also explore with the guy, I guess. But, oh, population limit, what's that about? Increased region level. Okay, so we're gonna need a town then. Yikes. That's our leader. Hmm. I guess we could settle someplace, but we're gonna need to guide them there. And we're kind of pinned down a little bit. Need to see how much fishies are over there. So that'd probably be a decent spot for a city. Game looks like it's an alpha, yeah. You need a town or food stockpile in the city to get to region level two. Yeah. So these guys can heal up, and then these guys I guess. Well, actually, which guy doesn't need healing? This guy doesn't? Alright, let's get this guy in, and then kind of send these guys out. And then we're going to try and clear that barb camp and scout up there. Yeah, it really feels like, overall, kind of a little bit of a rough start, so we can build cranes give improvement points. I think we're going to switch to that rather than producing the improvement points. Which is what we're doing. Let's build cranes. Oh, now we can rush with gold. Okay, hold up. Let's rush this so they can actually grow. And then... Maybe build a galley for scouting? I don't know if this is correct. What does Crane give? Just improvement points. I think we'll do Dolmen. I think we want some influence as well. I gotta choose the research. So I kinda wanna go Age of Iron. There was a thing that showed us, like, if we were gonna be the first ones to get there. I think we'll do it. Really, I'm still not sure where that... That has to be just a gross not use of resources. Nobody ta complained about the graphics in Dom 6. Dom 6 community is super small, though. Everyone kind of knows what they're signing up for with Dom 6 as well. Maybe we go for the spawn settler here. We 
get them to follow the army. To be honest, around here wouldn't be too bad. Maybe we're supposed to do the river? How- does anyone know if being next to rivers, uh... Good, you'd argue Dominion 6 looks more, co more coherent. Yeah, Dominion 6 just kind of looks bad in its entirety, to be honest. And then, like, it doesn't, like, look partially, but, yeah. It's consistent, like, it's more consistent. Would definitely track. Alright, we have some exploration XP. We could spawn a scout, to be honest, but... Venetia's gonna grow next turn, it looks like, which is gonna be nice. I mean, maybe we outpost down here. I feel like we should just take their outpost at that point, though. Alright, you guys, like, take goodies to deny goodies. River and farms, uh, river farms and plantations give one food, plus one food. You need to get that one, plus one knowledge from tribal. Okay, that makes sense. Sure, yeah, yeah. We'll get that next. Looks like they doubt us, so let's march back. Cool, I don't know where the settler's gonna go. What is this? Why are you riding? Unrest one. No, stop. Wait, didn't they declare hostilities? What's this about? Is that a settler? Bro, we messed up. We done goofed. So I kinda wanna scout with this guy, but kinda nervous, to be honest. Good old settler scouting. Love to see it. I guess that I'm happy they don't instantly die. Wait, why can't we attack them? No, I didn't want to send the message, what the hell? Please. I don't know what message I sent them. I wanted it to be an FU, but I don't know if it was. Garrison City Guards to. Uh, okay. Maybe we want to get those out of Carthage, though. Cause I think it, doesn't it take a... Uh... See if that reduces the unrest there. Wow, come on. We're gonna load, because I think that that's pretty critical that we can't freaking do the thing. We did not mean to send that diplomatic missive. 
It's fighting in neutral territories only. Yeah, but we want to fight, fight them. So let's do stuff a little bit differently here. So can we tell them to try clicking the flag once? Oh, that causes unrest. Got it. Let's switch to doing a city guard there. They declared the hostilities. Oh, that's interesting. So we can only do a third of the life as damage? They're probably stronger than us though, huh? One for you, and one for Phoenicia. Wait, how'd they get up there? And someone said we had to go for this, so let's do that. I guess we really don't have modern armies. Can you clap the Romans too? I don't know if the Romans are in it. The best timeline. Looks like we might lose our leader here. <laughs> Let's create a town for Cathargo. Naxos. Alright, fair enough. Let's expand this town, maybe. Immediately. Phoenicia is idle. Go for a encampment, I guess. I wonder if this is a, spawns a warband. I wonder if that warband. Yeah, they managed to make Barcelona. I think that we should be able to take them out here. We're playing as boats, Carthage, obviously. Have you ever played Call of Power? I have not. 
a newer version of uh, Dominions. Do the different age types apply to your Civ or do you drag others with you? You drag others with you. I think that we have to like fight Spain here. Spain's like literally got us surrounded. Feels like. Volunteers, we have a cooldown of it on three turns. But I think we go for that. Looks like Cathar got immediately expanded here. Oh, we have so much these points. Oh, I feel stupid. Quarry. Let's build a quarry for Carthage. And then... See, these guys don't need as much, but... We have goods. We would like to turn them into higher tier goods. Converts wheat into flour. Can't use that. Converts clay. We can't use that. Saw pit, though, we can use. This converts logs into lumber. So that should up our production in both city, both quite a bit. This Cathargo. I think exploration XP would be decent for us. Let's get government XP though with the town center. It's generating it based off of uh, Greeks. There's no Carthaginian name generation. I've heard older players of Civ games uh, said that a lot of mechanics in this game are similar, uh, are more or less one to ones of stuff in Call to Power. It's interesting. I wonder if we could set on defensive here. We get clapped. God, we just get clapped. We have significantly less power score. We're not gaining any Warfare XP. I thought we had built a thing that was giving it to us. Fishing improvement giving extra food would be kind of nice, but we are already super big in Cathargo. It's like not important. God, we have to get some place to put down the city. This is like so bad for us. Maybe we're just supposed to re the truth hurts. I mean, maybe we're, maybe we're starting to get going. I don't know. Use the boat to explore and build a fishing spot. This is fair. We had a bunch of stone and limestone up here after we got the tech. Okay. All 
Alright, we revealed gold, uh, coal, gold, iron, crossbow. Maybe that's what we need. We just need to upgrade units. Let's scout with these guys. So it looks like we got a plenty of iron and coal around here. Alright, we almost have the exploration. Why do we have this? A new form of government is available. Alright, let's take a look. We don't want to vi can we do a peaceful revolution? My guys, please? Hmm. I mean, maybe we just go for smelting because we have the iron. Structure, region level, that'd actually be kind of good for us. Alright, let's go infrastructure. Ooh, upgrade to stuff, okay. I think that gives arts XP, yeah, we don't have that currently. Maybe we want another crossbowman. Let's rush this and get started on the granary. He is the last of his kind and will not bend the knee. What should be done with him? Spawn two barbarian warlord in each region for all nations, I guess. I mean, we're not going to pay. That sucks. Because we can't pay. Yikes. We have unrest again. I think we... Do we have unmet needs? No, we don't. We have needs. For peaceful, you need all reforms. Okay. Well. Now we have all the reforms. Specialize. What does this mean for us? Well, I think now, right now, it's a mining town. To be fair, maybe we're supposed to embark these guys? Hmm. God, our freaking settler has experience. That's not ideal, I don't think. Okay, maybe we embark and then we look for a better place. Spawn Prospector. Looks for gold in them hills. 
Do we hate that? Not really. I guess we'll try it out. I know we were kind of close to the thing, but we'll see if we can prospect some gold. Oh, he just finds it. Is that lo super lucky? Maybe. I don't know. Hide in the city, hope the barbs go for Barcelona. Plague crisis. Uh-oh. Goods can produce in one region can be sent to other regions. If you have excess good in region, let's see. From the map, select the name of the region in the view of the workers tab. Here you will see domestic export slots. Okay, let's see if we can send fish. Oh, maybe. Did we misunderstand what we were looking at? There is no worker pool, so maybe if we do this... Hmm. Yikes. Uh-oh, we're gonna need a galley. We're gonna need a bigger boat. I'm just gonna unload them back there so they don't get wrecked. Oh, this is just the city guard. Oh, we accidentally moved them. Maybe that's why there's unrest. Yeah, I get shit on. <laughs> I think we need to build a navy though. Gold's not very good unless you're doing a very specific production chain. Yikes, you gotta build stores first. Just, just as you left friendly waters, you found hostile boats. Can't have anything nice. Yeah, this run feels super scuffed, guys. We out here are learning though. Not gonna lie, in a lot of pain. In a lot of pain. We want to be in Spain, but we're in pain. Thank you, Otto Von Noob, for the follow. Is this game fun? Just tuning in? Yeah, we're having fun. Except we're suffering. Uh, I really... I, I think... I think having all these different, like, um... Things and points, uh... And, like... So I think that this game's gonna have enormous replayability. As long as there's not some uber meta, which is kind of, like... often the case but we can't really show it too well without restarting but i think that you know the game plays into different directions most societies died it's historical it's true we can do it you believe in us having faith rookie mistake i guess we can spawn a warband soon i think that's gonna be two troops maybe we set out with the city guards, I don't know. The, th the thing is we have the settler just burning money effectively, but I think Carthage is strong. Just. For one turn off volunteers. Imperial Dynasty or Kingdom. Hmm. I mean, this guy's in purple. But it's locked.
We want to peacefully rev. We have all the reforms from tribal. We're reformed. What do we do next? They never believed in us and bailed in. It's gasoline for calories, basically. What are we supposed to do? We're Did we skip through too quickly on the thing? We delved too greedily and too deep. The truth hurts. I feel like I want to figure out how to change our government because we have a ton of government points. And we fully, we fully did the things, so why, how do we peacefully rev? Is it something you build? Does anyone know? It's culture power. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So we gotta wait for this. Peaceful revolution, got it. Okay, okay, okay. So I guess we'll just store up government stuff. Feels bad, man. Looks like they don't want to come into our territory, at the very least, so I guess we'll scout the other direction. God, we really have to get this settler down somewhere. Capital attack? Alright, I guess. Feels bad, man. You want floss too greedily and too deep? Oof. Big oof. I hate it when we floss too greedily and too deep, to be honest. Alright, though. Uh, we are here. We can do the volunteers. Let's do volunteers right here. That's not what we wanted to do. We wanted to do volunteers right there. Alright, just one guy. Okay, that's sure. That's fine. That's fair enough. That'll give us unrest, I think, is the problem. Hmm. Well, they're broken. So we're gonna say, screw you guys. And take the city. Maybe. With this this old veteran of times long past. Oh nice. We get lucky there. And I think maybe we raised the tribal army too. To uh, get involved next round. Because we have a little bit of extra government stuff. I think that, okay, let's move the settler and the pioneer back. I freaking hate that our settler has experience. That's like how bad things are. Looks like we could also use another... What's Carthago making? They're upgrading the granary. That's probably important. Um, okay. We see you. Fair enough. Is this hotkey to F? No, it's not. Raid A! Who raided us? Big nice. Big nice. Wait, who raided us? I see raids on the cars. Set you up with the host. Thanks for answering your Vic 3 questions. Oh, thank you, Otto Von Noob, on the Discord. I got a uh, fair amount of follows. Hope it helps. Thank you so very much. We don't have enough, man. You need to embrace Spain. 
Alliance with the Indians, give them two fronts. This is a thought. We have the Indian flag anyways. It's, it's all India to me. Because there was no Carthaginian flag. Clearly the game needs to be refunded. Obviously, frankly. So let's move this guy out to the squad. Let's move this guy into the squad. And let's try again here. Except now, yeah, you only have one guy left. I'm gonna get clapped, bud. Thank you so very much. Otto Von Noob. The Indians. Regional capital conquered. One population killed. Ten wealth. Chaos, etc. I think we'll send... We'll ship these guys back here. We'll tell them to recruit back up. Ooh, we have a, another crossbowman. Nice. And we'll send the settler over here. Okay. Let's... Outpost guy over there. Settler guy over here. Perfect. Perfection. And we have Barcelona, guys. We've gotten Barcelona. Shout out to Barcelona. Alright. How are we doing on view count? Okay, okay, okay. I see you. Twitch coming in strong today. Okay, so this guy's idle. We can make him be a fishing boat. Let's try scouting the other way, though. And Phoenicia completed a crossbow. Oh, that's what how we got a crossbow. We built it. Okay, fair. Shout out to us. It's going to give us more influence. I don't think that's what we need. I think watch probably makes a lot of sense. Stores... Build a watch for now. I think we made a mistake, boys. <laughs> I don't think this war was good. <laughs> no worries, enjoying the content, just looking during computer busy work. You want to spin an envoy to grab Bhopal if you have the tech? Oh, okay. Here, let's see. Diplomacy. Spawn envoy. We don't have this yet. You looked away what happened. We declared on Carthage, and now we're... We declared on Spain, rather, and now we're, we're suffering consequences. If it's not the consequences of our actions. Um, we have a lot of improvement points. We probably want to spend some of them, though. What can we build? Uh, we can build another dock. Oh, dwellings give housing. We could build a couple farms and then put in a mill. Or a farm and then mill. But I think we want housing on the... On this at some point? I mean, we have the... What is this? A stone. Where it gets one limestone. So we have limestone. We can convert it into something else in Cathargo. I think this maybe makes sense. So let's see, stone cutter gives production, so let's do that. We'll put it adjacent, I don't know if it's going to matter. Actually wait, what does this give? This is a mining town, gives adjacency for... Where does it say where it gives us the adjacency? I'm trying to see if it's just the... Just this, or this and the other thing. Is 
is it just the mines or is it the mines plus the other thing? Did you grab defensive ideas? We did. Maybe we should Russia. No, we can't. Maybe we should build Palisades instead, though. Oh, we can rush Palisades. Perfect. Alright, we're just gonna put it next to... Well, we, we can't get a mine there anyway, so... Let's just put the stone cutter right here. And then... Scout this way. <gasps> you sacked our town! Cool, bro. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, because these guys are going to claim it back. That should be able to hold, I think. We looks like we only got one more turn on our culture power, at which point we'll become a kingdom. What well, was that city to your left? So a Breaking Bad reference. <laughs> it's a Breaking Bad reference, Salamanca. It's mines and quarries. Okay. Oh, we could rebuild the ruined town after they leave. Okay. That's good. We won't have to use our thing. Now, Cathargo is going to have a lot more... Let's see if we can put in a watch here. Actually, maybe we're maybe we go for palisades and then a watch. Does it give us anything? No, let's go watch first. If they come north, we'll rush palisades. We'll swap. France is now hostile towards us. Oh, they have a four-stack army. Is that allowed? I thought that was illegal. Hmm. I think we choose kingdom. Actually, let's take a vote. Kingdom or Imperial Dynasty? We'll be taking the vote on the YouTube. Kingdom or Imperial Dynasty? Let's start the poll, and then we'll... For the Twitch people who just want to dip in and vote, we're going to link the YouTube. And we, we'll take a quick look at each of these as well. Oh, wait. We have to select here. Okay. So, buffs to capitals gives us culture, wealth, production, influence, housing, sanitation. 
considerably looks like considerably less to capitals, maybe is better for a sprawling thing. If you take the Raider government type, you unlock four stacks. We did not. Oh, but that's what he has. That's why he has it. That makes sense. I understand. Imp Dynasty is like Mandate of Heaven. Pink robes, though. We do get the purple robes with the kingdom. We want you to feel like you're designing your own nation. You're leading your Whoa. country through 10,000 years of history. The combination of all the different ages. Please, no. All the different Please autoplay. Stay up. I watched a two-hour-long session of this game on another game. He highly recommends rushing military early game. He has a bunch of caveman armies to vassalize the barbs. This probably is good. Kingdom's good for having loads of vassals. Looks like Kingdom is winning. Purple robes. They do be robin'. Alright, let's go Kingdom. Oh, we can actually take a look. I think this is more in line with Carthage anyways. S minus spawn envoy domain cost. This may be okay. Because we wanted to make an envoy, right? Send to Bhopal. Wait, how how do we do the thing? Okay, we gotta wait a turn. Yikes, run away. Or we're just gonna get clapped here, huh? Where are we building watch? Let's build a galley. Please. Make it stop. Wow, that's a big stack of guys. Hopefully they attack Spain. <laughs> We're hoping. Also cool that we got that event before we vassalized a new guy. Hopefully they don't get sacked too hard. God, this guy can't get anything done. Oh, you know what? We forgot. Let's unlock the, cell, the shell dyer. So this guy can mine the shells. He can come over here. Be useful. I think we don't want to spawn a settler directly if we're gonna get this. Hopefully they, oh Jesus, Spain moves out of the way to let this rebellion just clap us. Yikes, let's see how this battle went. Or oh, we could have gotten those two spears that you really re need right now. Yeah. We could have abandoned Barcelona, but we need the lift. They're so strong. Maybe we need to get our settler out of here. God, that's grim. This poor settler's been in so many fights. <laughs> 
not the vibe. 93 stacks coming for us. Okay, we need to... We actually need some more... Alright, what do we get out of discipline? Uh, should we go for that, or should we go for smelting? No, I think that's... I think we need new military units. God. We do want to build, rebuild the ruined town, but... Shell Dire. I guess we'll put this here. Looks pretty rough for us, to be honest. This is Cathargo. Oh, we have a unit we could... Yeah, let's... Let's make these... So let's not research this then. Let's research construction. Get our biremes on. If we beat Spain, we beat the game. Can't build a vassal's towns? No, it doesn't seem. Can't ships permanent bombard short? I don't know. Guys, please leave us alone. Spawns two spear units at a vassal. Got it. Yeah, I guess if we're gonna do this anyways. Wait, which vassal did it spawn it at? I don't see two spears at Bopal and I don't see him here. Do we just not get him this turn? Don't see him here either. Now it doesn't look like we can bombard. Toledo's huge, man. Maybe we're supposed to read. This run feels super scuffed now. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is the run scuffed? It might be scuffed and we're still supposed to keep playing, but... I think I like this for a city. Aztecs don't like us very much either. Bro, what happened to our two spears? Walls are walls are closing in a little bit, boys. I guess we could play until we die. <laughs> I think we're actually gonna die though. We don't have a bunch of powers we could like use. I have no idea where the spear units are, man. Sorry, man, I'm gonna watch Bible Man now. The truth is, it's, it's a culture power. How's it? Are you having fun? Yeah, we're having fun, but I think we're getting clapped. 
It's the first day of the game. New run offers new opportunities. Game feels a lot harder than the demo, not gonna lie. Yeah. Let's click on your culture tab. You unlock the option to use the power. Oh. Am I missing something? It's not in here. Ah, got it. Got it, got it, got it. That seems not worth it, but okay. I mean, I guess if we, yeah, I guess we're gonna get more government stuff. Maybe we're also just playing a little bit too fast. We gotta think through our decisions a little bit more. I think we're not doing too well though. Dow France, 33% ratings on Steam. It's been out for a few hours. Not going one in 100% on stone. Bonk, big mistake. Investing in civilization, big mistake. No ooga booga, big mistake. This, I, I could not have read something that was more enlightened in my life, I don't think. Yeah. It definitely feels a lot different from the demo. We, we're getting crushed. Polls 75, 25. How many votes, though? Yeah, you guys want to re? Okay, we can re. We can re. Or, well, the follow-up is do we re, but with this much saying the run scuffed. Okay, maybe we restart. I, I think that... I think that also we're maybe losing Phoenicia here. We just got hemmed in with our, like, settler, like, super early on. It felt really bad. I think we got to... We definitely gotta go a lot more military. Yeah, why don't we save it just in case? And we'll just call it the scuffed run. Oh, well, I guess we can't name our run. That's fair. Wish you could sabotage their fish somehow. Negative reviews are posted after 10 minutes of playing. I don't know how much you can do with 10 minutes of uptime. Yeah, this is exactly my point. Although, like, I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying that the game. I'm not. Asserting that the game is fantastical, but um, you know, whoa, whoa, whoa! No one plays but a car as Carthage but us. Excuse you. Uh, and you know what? I I think we're gonna use the restroom real quick. So we'll be right back. We'll be over B. Because this seems like a good time to use the restroom. All right, we're back. We're back in it, boys. Two hours wasted. All the all the time at the academy wasted. Yeah, they're mainly just owning about no proper online multiplayer. Yeah. The streamer royal, we will use the restroom. 
Yeah. You don't have to leave, leave your chair, but you do have to use the restroom. These are the rules. Alright, let's do a bigger map. This will give us a little bit more space between guys. I don't know if we want discounted settlers. We can start with plus improvement points. Plus innovation. Actually, let's do additional influence. This seems Carthage-y, maybe? No, culture, obviously. Yeah. Culture. Extra culture. Clearly the most cultured of cultures. You got a follow goal, by the way? Hey, thank you. Big nice. We can set a new goal. That's what we're supposed to do, right? The streamer actions, we'll save that for later, that's fine. We'll set it, we'll set it off stream. The follower goal is always just one more follower. <laughs> what are we, let's do purple though. Proper Carthaginian color, okay. Using the exact names as the Civ map types is crazy. How's that crazy? Seems reasonable to me. Ooh, we get a limestone start. Okay, okay, okay. And we could make this a mining town later. All right, so let's choose our research. So, I kind of think scouting is maybe good early, but maybe military seems much more important. So let's actually go defensives first. Let's look around. And then, I don't think we want to make warbands, but... Let's do gov XP. Eight AIs is a bit crowded. It felt a little bit crowded last time, but we increased the map size. So... Okay, so our coast is down here, and I think we might make still make a Carthage just to be theming. But now we have, I think, enough tribal juice to make a thing. I think we're gonna go for tribal farming initially. Oh, what are we doing? We wanted to scout down. Use culture power, let's create all resources generated in a region. Seems like it wouldn't be super good yet. Because we're not getting that many resources. We're getting one labor a thing. Maybe we fortify and they have the hills penalty? No offense, Chief, but continents, islands, and Pinji are pretty common in every game that lets you choose a map gen. Yeah, this is kind of my impression as well. That they're common, not the like no offense chief part. I wouldn't call I wouldn't I wouldn't call a man I don't know chief. That's a little familiar. All right, we have a little bit of government XP. I think we're gonna be a little bit aggressive and create a warband here. Or get, oh, we get the create warband thing. Rip, that's probably actually not that useful. 
I thought we were smart, then we were dumb. Alright, so I think that we go workers next. Hopefully that's correct. I think scouting third. Maybe that's super wrong. I feel like we just got uber clapped. Uh, let's go for the this XP. Ooh, undiscovered. Okay, okay, okay. Needs to be discovered by a scout, so we need a scout now. Rip. Actually, no, wait. Let's do this. Conditions have changed. Alright, I think we take this guy out pretty easy. Seems to be a lot more barbs, yeah. I think it said Inland Sea was uh, was an option. Uh, Donald, because you're requesting it. Okay, so, I think we do want something next to fish. Just, this particular area feels kind of bad. Maybe we scout up this way and look to find some fish. Alright, maybe now we do local reforms instead of Eureka. Oh, this seems kind of trash. Oh well. Yeah, we can't build the thing we want to build yet. Let's try scouting up this way, if we can. We're, we're being a little bit less aggressive about creating Carthage at the, as quickly as we can. Knowledge or culture? Probably knowledge, right? Then we complete this. Oh, maybe not if it doesn't overflow. I think we go workers next. Send the scout down here to discover the landmark. I think we go... Dolman. Actually, let's go look out. Because we're maybe a little bit behind on the XP. How do we like the game? I like it a lot. We still haven't played that deep in it. I'm enjoying it. Uh, the graphics kind of suck ass, but once you get beyond that, it's it's seeming to be pretty good. Gotta buy for the big puddle. Rush for knowledge. We want the... You don't think we should... <laughs> You don't think we should get the improvements thing? The plus improvement points? I guess improvement points are harder to come- or knowledge is harder to come by. Alright, sure. We'll rush the knowledge thing then. This- I mean, it doesn't seem unreasonable. We're trying to find a spot for Carthage. Carthage doesn't need to be the second city, to be fair. But we do need a proper spot for it. Discovered landmark. Five exploration XP, plus one discovered landmarks. Big nice. Tall mountain. <laughs> Behold, of all the mountains, this short mountain right here, that is tall mountain. <laughs> Have we tried multiplayer? Apparently multiplayer is broken. We, we think that this is probably why it's getting a negative review bombed. Although, to be fair, bombing... Calling it being bombed might not be a fair. Now, we wanted maybe the Age of Exploration. We're gonna need farming eventually. Let's just try and, let's do farming. Maybe there's a world where we get Age of Exploration. All right, well. Is this freaking, no, okay, it's not Spain again. It's just Spanish colors. Uh, well, we haven't scouted up into the right. I think we want to keep this guy reasonably close to the other guy. Let's do this. Mm. 
Yeah. Greetings. Culture power. We haven't eureka yet. We could... Local reforms again. We could also eureka... Ah, let's Eureka. It feels bad going Age of whatever, but... I, I don't think we're going to discover the landmarks in time to go Age of Heroes. Alright. Multiplayer's hot seat, so you have to ping pong the save file. That's about the experience. Clearly, you need a scouting specialist to name the mountain. Tall mountain. The tallest of mountains. By choosing local reforms or found a town uh, as your first culture power is pretty fun. Thought exercise. Oh, did we get faster tech as because we did local reforms? Is that why the tech feels so fast right now? We chose local reforms first. I think we send this scout down this route, through the mines, through the pass. Alright, so we need one more to get the, the government, one more government XP for this. For the tribal. And then next one we use will be creating a new city. Rip the dream. Alright, so we'll come back out and scout up north, I guess. This guy's starting to get maybe a little bit too far from home. So let's start bringing him back. Or we could split it up and bring some of them back, but I think this is fine. I think we beeline. Don't know if you're gonna give it a try, but choosing local forms, yeah. Not seeing as much fish. I think fish is really strong, so... Or was in the tutorial. Maybe they nerfed it. 50% boost for the entire duration is pretty giga rig compared to what a town does as first drop. Oh, okay. Christian stand. That's your city? Big nice. Alright, I think that we do the mining one first. Oh, Age of Heroes is the next age. And we're the first ones here, so we can choose anyone. I think we're doing God King this time, you guys. The minus cost for quarry, I think, is going to be really strong. And we also did the seafaring one last time. And we have Tall Mountain. <laughs> Obviously, we need to establish a mine in Tall Mountain. <laughs> um, yeah, we just send this guy back. Feels bad, man. Regarding the scouting. Nice. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Maybe we get started on the Diplo XP. Not 
knowledge seems decent. Are you gonna make a spreadsheet for all the for the game? No seashells, no, not this run. Are we gonna make a spreadsheet? It depends on. So uh, a large part of what games I play is actually driven by you guys and how much you guys view and comment, subscribe, do all this stuff. And so it kind of depends on you guys. Uh, whether or not we're going to make a spreadsheet and this type of thing. If if we're going to evaluate the game and try and make tutorials for the game, we're almost certainly going to make some sort of spreadsheet. Would be super helpful to get an overview of the entire process. Of the making of the tutorial, or of the, of the process of the game, or the process of creating a spreadsheet. How to face the God King into Tall Mountain. Tall Mountain. I love that it's literally the shortest mountain in the region. I guess it's referring to the entire, like, thing, but... Looks like we might... <sighs> we met the bad guys, guys. We met the bad guys. Are we the baddies? No, they're the baddies. We met the bad guys. Ooh, yikes. I think they clap our cheeks if we fight them. So let's come back here. We almost have mining. Shout out to us not using a single province improvement yet. I guess maybe we wait for stone cutter. Jesus, this is probably a mistake. Yeah, this is probably super scuffed. We probably are supposed to, like, grab something. The thing is, we don't have the... Anything for the stuff. We could use this now. To make a... Outpost somewhere else. Like, we can make an outpost here and then... Grab the flax. Really not sure how we're supposed to use these guys, to be honest. Just keep running away from these guys. Let those guys heal up. Evil Rome being evil. I think we go community so we can actually spend gold. I think we, we're not really accumulating much though. We just think this is OP, huh? Mission mutual destruction, basically. We need farms in the capital. But we don't have any okay, let's actually just let's just make a farm. I think that you're correct. We'll just make one right here. Next to the river. Thank you. Engineering experience. Perfect. So now we can get cost for quarry. Minus quarry costs. We're going to make this a... Oh, we can't specialize? Okay, fair. We also spawn a settler now.
Hmm. I don't know where we're gonna settle, let's be honest. I mean, wood seems decent, doing wood stuff. So, so I think that, or maybe we settle right here. Okay, sure. I'm thinking because we're close to food for initial expansion and then we'll get into the limestone and stuff, which is more our speed. We do want a stone cutter. I think I think we want to get the discounted cost on the stone cutter before we build them, though. I'm gonna need more food here, though. We also have to think if we want to make another town maybe here, then we're going to want food in this circle. So maybe we make a food farm there. Gotta get ready to fight in Rome too. Well, that's gonna hurt a little bit. I think he has a reasonable amount of XP though, the scout. Maybe we're supposed to spawn another scout? Kinda don't think so. I think they kinda get clapped by dudes a lot. How are we doing? We just finished the meeting hall? Cool. Oh, work camp, definitely. We want more engineering XP, because this is our thing. I guess we could put a mine on this hill too. Or quarry, they're super cheap for us. I think we try and diplomatically get Lakau or whatever. So temple, knowledge, and culture. Knowledge seems good. Weaver, press, we don't have, I don't think we have olives. Discipline, I mean, maybe we want discipline just because we think that military is going to be more of a thing. Maybe we go officials for the envoy. We get started on that a little bit. So we can get luck out in. Let's get this guy away. And now, fortify until heal. Oop, looks like we're cornered. Let's just fortify a little bit. So we get an innovation. Oh, plus one influence for stone blocks. <laughs> That's so good, right? That's so much influence. Or it will be. <laughs> Big nice. We also can now unlock God King Dynasty. We can unlock stone cutters. Minus 50% cost on those. So let's put that in. So 
So now we have five really strong tiles, right? Because we're working two farms. A quarry, a quarry, and a stone cutter. And the stone cutter is also going to give us XP for this stuff. Super nice. And we should be hauling on the construction of stuff. So after the this will be... Actually, maybe we rush it. We have a gold. Let's rush it. Let's go food stockpile. That'll help us grow. Starting to look big and nice, everyone. We'll establish the new vassalized territory and we'll let them attack us because this is, I assume, what they do. He's just kind of trying to stay. Can we use government? Yeah, let's finish that. Claim territory. Neutral territory bordering your region. Oh, this doesn't seem that good. We do finish officials. Officials. We haven't really gotten to the point where we can maybe do Age of Heroes. I've been told spears and are such an upgrade to warbands is near mandatory. Really? So we have to go discipline next then? Mason Colt saw is so hot right now. I think let's be the first in the Age of Iron and then let's come back for it. And let's send this guy to Luck uh Lukau. Our emissary. So hot right now, Hansel. Hopefully they don't kill this guy. I thought before they didn't attack him, so but we could just be mistaken. One for an import slot. Well, we'd love to import food. I don't think that's a thing for us right now. I think we'll... Let's get the influence. No! Alright, we're gonna reload. <laughs> that envoy was important to us. <laughs> Restoring the same timeline. We're, we're bringing justice to the timeline. They didn't attack it before. Ooh, let's get rid of this run scuffed pole. Or is the run rescuffed? The rescuffing. Oh god, it's it doesn't auto save very frequently. We gotta not do that then. I guess maybe we don't go officials this time though. Let's go discipline instead, since you guys said it was mandatory. Let's do that. Actually... We'll try and play it like mostly the same as we did before. Really cool if we can bring in resources from there though. King Dynasty. Let's do that so that we can get the cheap stone cutter. We're gonna put it here. Oh, 
Oh, we could also, we could put in a mill now too, huh? We don't have enough points, but it converts two wheat or rice to flour. And we have two, two wheat in here. Why did this guy not attack us? I guess we'll attack him. And then government. Let's do food stockpile. I'm glad we got the same one of that. Alright, we're gonna try and get this guy back to safety. We might have to rescue Private Ryan here. Oh, well, looks like Rome is doing Romey things. Oh, looks like they're basically dead. Let's take the glory for ourselves. Thanks, Rome. Big nice. This will never come back to bite us. Pretty sure there's a redo button. Oh, I think you're right. Let's take the innovation. So hot right now, Hansel. Looks like Sweden's gonna beat us to the Age of Iron. That's gonna, yeah, kill our guy. Well, Private Ryan will not be saved. Alright, so... Maybe we create towns? A town for these guys? I'm not sure what we're supposed to do for our culture power here. I mean, you guys are... S cutting edge. Hmm. I think we're supposed to create a town. I think this is better long term. That can't support another town. I don't think we want another city like right here because it's desert tiles. So maybe we do this. That way the town could expand out that way and it puts us next to some of the food and plantations. So it could be a food oriented place. I think we're gonna do. I mean, we want the dolmen and the crane. Let's do the dolmen first though. And we want to save up to integrate that. We thinks. We thinks, we thinks. Maybe we send this guy back to... Alright, so the one guy's already researching Age of Iron, so maybe we'll go officials here. And actually bring the scout back so the scout can guide the guys. The luck now or maybe these guys can yeah these guys can all right and we can upgrade here to spear for the warfare experience nice big fat expansion here 
we're going to use plantation, which feels bad, but flax. Maybe we can make paper out of it or something. So we have to clear a way for our envoy to get a luck now. As well, I think. Okay, interesting. A lot of food over there. Reinforcements. Interesting. Let's get the crane going. We could make a spear unit, actually, to be fair. Maybe that's supposed to be good. They declared hostilities. Not ideal. I think we'll scout the coast here. Ooh, hey, hey. Not that we can do the one age anyways, but... So we'll go here. We do want to save our government XP. A city in the river SA. A city in the river SA? What's that mean? Hey, SA. City in the river. Now we want to have some amount of things to get these guys food once they kind of come up a little bit. So we'll want hunting grounds for them. I think we just pass the turn. Yeah. yeah, I think these guys, we just wait with them. Because we're going to get an envoy. We want the envoy to go to luck now. God, there's so much fish. I guess maybe Carthage is going to be up here or something? Rip. They're going to get the thing. We can make an encampment here. I think this may be greeting for later, more power later, but it's probably fine. A, we age up. Couldn't you make it an outpost next to luck now to be annexed when you vassalize the city? I don't think the, the outpost just gets annexed instantly. I think we have to integrate it through the mechanic. Let's integrate this one though. Hunting camp. Should be good. I think hunting camp is great. They only have one worker, so... We shouldn't need to add too much. Phoenicia has one, two, three, four, five, six tiles being worked currently, so we should be fine. But here's our envoy. And now we can get him safely to luck now. We can do any of these things. Or... Let's do this. Expand faster in the hills. That way we can get stuff like that limestone quicker. Looks like they already got the things. Let's actually just scout up here. Choose tech. What do we want? I think food stockpile is probably fine. I think it's going to expand into this first, because we now have faster hill expansion, so... Oh baby, Carthage is going to come over here, I think. Next to all this food. I'm just going to be like a food stockpile for the rest of our country. I don't know how I feel about that, but...
I think we prefer the spear. It's a little tempting to do attack them, but let's do let's take the spear. Alright, so now we have two workers here, so let's do that. And the next worker we want to use with Phoenicia. So we currently would like to have one more worker. It's growing. It's growing a little slow. Maybe we hmm. Are these better next to a thing? I think we make a mill here though, to make use of our flour. Let's put it, I have no idea if it's gonna matter where we put it. It's tempting to put it next to the farm here. Let's put it here. Is this a sponsored stream? No, it's not. That's why we're doing it on release day. But mill's gonna be nice. Cause that'll help Phoenicia grow faster as well. And I mean, they have enough construction, right? That I think that... Let's do that. And we'll take from one of the quarries. Not that quarry. Why would you take from that quarry? Let's take from this quarry. Um... Something like this, and it'll grow in three turns, and then it'll come back to using the full shebangle. Alright. I think we probably want to split these guys. We'll figure that out next turn. We have a ton of exploration XP. Maybe we're supposed to spawn a scout. I guess we could claim territory right here, right? On Athens? But we can't even afford the limestone, the mine yet, so this is maybe fine. We have so much construction here because of the, our, like, all the mines we're doing, and all the mines are giving us more border expansion. It's freaking glorious. And we could rush culture for money. Let's rush it, I guess. Oh, mistakes were made. I don't even know what we're supposed to grab. We could do local reforms in Athens. It says for five turns, not like an unlimited amount of time. To be honest, I think we raised the army. We must get ready to fight Rome. Also, this allows us to scout. And speaking of, why don't we spawn a scout up here too? And you will now vassalize the minor nation. Big nice. And then... Put them on wait mode. All right, expert masons could carve stone more efficiently. On honing our mason skill will improve the usefulness of a stone mine for quick. Plus one production. Oh brother, dude, we're popping off. This feels so much better than the last run. We just kill these guys. We did want to split these guys up. We're gonna take the scout and we're or well we're not splitting them yet, I guess. And this guy will have scout around. We do have to find Rome, our true enemy. The fact that Rome's on the map and we know where they're at is a big part of why I think uh, <laughs> we went the military on the culture power. 
All right, let's bring you back in the territory and have you recover. Because I think you recover faster. Now, Athens... So we could... We don't quite have enough for a quarry. So let's just wait one more turn. Or one more expansion. These guys, I think, next turn will be coming up. Um... I think we'd maybe save up our Diplo. Ah, here's where we wanted to split them. Let's split them. Because I think that's just a peninsula, and the other way is more dangerous, my friends. And let's get ready to put down that barbarian encampment. We expand, but not where we wanted to. We wanted to kind of expand here. Athens is now three. And we can't afford the improvement, so... But we feel like uh, it would be inefficient. We already have faster hill expansion. I feel like it's inefficient for us to buy it. The tall mountain. Bro, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that our tall mountain, our tall mountain that we, Carthage, discovered is quite a bit taller than Rome's tall mountain. You know? And uh, our Schwartz is bigger than his, if you will. Any thoughts on the game so far, Mr. Gaming? I, it is enjoyable. I don't know... I, I don't think we've played deep enough in or enough hours or this type of thing to, like, form a strong opinion, but I'm having a fun time with the game. We got smacked super hard the first run, which I think is a good idea. Stone maxing? Hell yeah, brother. Freaking straight chiseled, bro. If you're not stone maxing, what are you doing with your life? Bro, Phoenicia's so caked up right now. And it's even expanding more, I think. Somehow we're hostile with everyone but Rome. This is the worst timeline. I guess we kind of sh... Should maybe scout with these guys? I think we'll scout north, though. Oh, wait, what are we doing? We brought him here to do this. Not sure how we feel about the combat. Tall Mountain Carthage? Better than Tall Mountain Rome? Hell yeah. Trade, you've built a market in one of your regions. The market provides a slot for foreign imports. Select one of your capitals with a market. Uh, make the workers a tab and select foreign import. So now we could import if we wanted to, like wheat from these guys. <sighs> and use them in the mill, rather than making the wheat ourselves. Base goods consumed for culture. Okay. Is that even using a worker? I don't even think that's work using a worker, so that's fine with us. Super cool with us. Can integrate the vassal. I think that that would cause problems, loyalty problems, if I'm not mistaken, because they don't like it when there's too many. Any tips for your first playthrough in a bit? Um, I don't, the we're doing a good job on God King. I guess it would just be like kind of review your resources probably every turn a little bit, and because I think that the way you kind of like get hosed is like you should have spent your stuff and you didn't spend your stuff. And it has, like, a, a sort of snowball effect, would be my guess. Kind of how we put it. Importing? It's Vic 3. It's totally Vic 3. There's even coal and iron. Vic 3 confirmed. Vic 4 confirmed. How's it going, Tarkus? Are you planning on playing this? Or are you just watching for the... The memes...
think we'll just attack again into them. I don't think we need to see what happens. Tall mountain. The worst tall mountain. More like short mountain. Terrible. Yeah, so this market's strong. I guess we could just start making spears. Let's make palisades, though. But, or maybe we're supposed to make city guards in preparation. We know we're going to need them eventually for to quell unrest, or we think we will. Luck out, what are you doing? Leave luck out alone. Maybe we just merge this. We stop the scouting dream, the scouting dream's over. You have a wheat rice resource? I was wondering if mills are worth it or if you should wait to throw down a bakery at the same time. Uh, we're currently using a mill, so the this is consuming... This one mill is making six food out of the two wheat. And I'm not sure how much food the wheat creates individually. Oh, each of these gives six food? So, our mill is taking inputs that are worth three food each, so plus three, plus three. So each of the farm workers appears to be worth three food, right? Unless I'm misunderstanding something. And then, the mill worker is worth six food. Should I be playing this? I think, uh, if you, I think it depends on your budget for video games. If your budget for video games is really big, then maybe try it out. If your budget's not that big, then maybe wait and see a little bit. Yeah, you're playing right now, got early access and did one stream but on the game, but the game was kind of meh. It was kind of meh at the gun. It's super fun at the start IMO, but starts to drag in the fifth era. So that's, that's something we have not been played deep enough to be able to verify. But yeah. Can't form Byzantium, terrible. No no Carthage, also bad. So, um, but I think we're going to be streaming pretty, it depending, I mean, it depends on our view count, but I think we're going to be, the plan is to stream for a pretty long time today. Um, on the release day. Phoenicia's built everything we can build, so we're going to build some city guards. I think we'll send... Where should we send him? I guess we could send him to Lucko. Age of Iron, big nice. So, we can peacefully reform with our next culture power. It's probably what we do. Merchants, use merchants to increase a, a vassal's prosperity or generate wealth from other nations. Okay. I think we wait for spawning another envoy. Warfare, we could do volunteers. And it spawns a spear unit. Maybe we wait until we're at the next tier of guy. I think we almost certainly want... Smelting. Or construction? Actually, let's take a look. Did we pip any iron? No, we didn't. There's some coal over here. Let's look at more resources over here. Not as much by Tall Mountain as we would like. But there's none by Roman Tall Mountain. The worst, objectively worst Tall Mountain. Um, God, super tempting to buy this tile so we could put down a limestone thing there. 
I think we could just... I, I mean, I think we're gonna gather food for here from it eventually, though. So let's just put a farm there. Um... Let's see what this does. Catapults. Stone wall. Yeah. Stone towers. Infrastructure. I think infrastructure might be what we want. Oven. Converts to flour. Into bread. So this would be worth eight food. Do oven. Can do construction. Horses. Well, guys, I don't know what we're supposed to research. I think we're gonna go infrastructure. Tall mountain, more like short, wimpy mountain. But maybe we want to integrate Luck Isle because of... Yeah, maybe not, I don't know. Have we gotten any Crisis Ages yet? No, not yet. It's 3, 4, 6.3 food per worker, if I did the math right, per step. This reminds me of Civ 6. It's very much similar to Civ 6. It's 3, 4, 5. Still impressive IMO, especially if you get the import the raw goods from somewhere else into some Giga City. Yeah, we we're thinking that we might be able to bring in the food from there, which would save us like one worker on this. We don't have any like we're not doing anything with the flax though. Also, I didn't see one in that was an upgrade to Sphere, sphere did I? Yeah, what did I see? The Because if we have an upgrade to Sphere, maybe we research that first. But I didn't see anything that was an upgrade to Sphere, so maybe we, maybe we use our Warfare experience here for volunteers here. And then we have this guy, big, guy, big boy. And then maybe with the big boy, we don't really care as much if we get... We can just go after it. And then... I think we want the knowledge? Yeah. Sometimes when I say the word knowledge, Ty Lopez's asinine freaking uh, thing just rings out in my head. Commercial from like six or like 12 years ago or whatever. Definitely tempted by the style of game, but I want to save money... Yeah, so if you're trying to save money, maybe just wait. It's like day one. Kuwait play Stellaris next. Not today. We played a little bit of Stellaris on stream. Didn't we got a little bit of traction? I don't know. The thing is, like, okay, that would mean we would have to not be playing Imperator or, or this. Make a ten turn plan and make choices based on the plan. Make choices even easier, even if the game is perfect for this type of games. Knowledge, yeah. And then he talks about reading one book a day. To be fair, you can read one book a day. This is, like, possible, but, like, uh... I also don't think, uh... Like, he clarifies it, like, later in another spot where it's, like, he's... He's not reading one book a day, my guy. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get the arts going, baby. Bro. We know where the Carthage is going. Wow, well, look how it got clapped a little bit here. Maybe we shouldn't have abandoned the defense of the city. So we'll put this city of the Citadel Guard in here in Athens. We have nine improvement points. I think. Oh, we don't have the access to that yet. Okay. Can we import grain specifically? No, we can't. It's 
stupid idiots. Stupid Roman dum dums. Oh, we spawned a spear. So let's scout with the spear then. We spawned the spear up there. Looks like there's a lot of mining to be done down there. So I was thinking that maybe Carthage goes here. Look at all this fish. This is the fishiest of all the fish fishers. You know what I mean? He only spreads... Speed reads one book a day, which is not, not the same as reading it. No, he's saying... Uh, the the Ty Lopez thing is like... He, re he, sp he like, for 30 minutes he reads a book a day. And he's calling that reading one book a day. And it's like, bro... My guy, that is nothing like reading one book a day. <laughs> He's like, oh, I spent 30 minutes. It takes like 10 hours to read a book. Well, I guess it depends on how fast you can read, but like... It also depends on the book. I hope the Romans are carrying a sack of salt. Well, how do we ban Charles? Maybe we use our Warfare experience more to upgrade units, actually. So we'll get these guys, we'll have these guys guard Athens. Tall mountain, more like idiot mountain. That's kind of far for us to try and escort an envoy, no? I think we maybe want our next settler to go there. Secure all these kind of resources. This is a lot of iron, I think. Although we could do it with an outpost. The thing is, we don't want to fight them we want to fight Rome they already declared hostilities with us though maybe let's maybe let's repivot a little bit I know we want to destroy Rome but we have to maybe be a little bit more reasonable okay this is Athens I think we go work camp because we really would like production and engineering experience but also, we should probably just rush it uh, in a little bit. We are losing gold to turn, though. Yikes. How are we losing gold? Unit upkeep? Mm. Fair enough. I thought he just flipped through them and barely took in their knowledge. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, he just like straight up didn't read it. It's just straight up like <laughs> full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> I just like every time I see the word knowledge, I like just like sends me there. Yeah, we're gonna send these guys back to Phoenicia. Get ready to actually be able to fight those guys. What's this? Oh, it's still barbs. Yes. Fortify until heal, guys. Okay, so we could spawn an envoy. Here, maybe. And then Hermopolis. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. I feel like we're supposed to not let them get all that iron, though. We could rush the new government type. So we have to think of what we want to do for government type this time. Do we want to go Kingdom or Imperial Dynasty? What do? We're pulling it. We're pulling it on the YouTube. Although maybe we have to... Maybe we have to switch to the Twitch, because I think there's almost more of you guys on Twitch. 
but we'll link the we'll link the YouTube for those of you who are on Twitch and want to do the poll. I don't know how to do it uh, with both right now. I read Wikipedia every day, which references books sometimes, therefore I read a book a day more than one. So we have Kingdom, which seems more oriented towards being playing wide, and Imperial Dynasty, which would be more oriented towards playing Phoenicia, the capital, super tall. I think either one makes sense. Thank you, uh, Motgutra, however that's pronounced, for the follow. Big nice. Much appreciated. Salutations. Welcome. Hello. Dynasty is for personal controlled cities. King is more for setting up battles to spam IMO. Yeah, so... Um, I mean, we kind of set ourselves up getting early Diplo with the idea of going Kingdom, but... Um... Definitely can do either one here. I mean, I guess we could go through it a little bit. Domain experience uh, becomes a thing. Uh, we could spawn settlers cheaper, spawn envoys cheaper. We're kind of close to wanting to do this. Uh, we probably don't research morals very soon. Drains wealth from a vassal based on population. Reduces the vassal's prosperity. Uh, this is a domain power. This is a domain power. Five vassal prosperity a turn. The government's ready for peaceful recommendations. So it seems like this one gives us a lot of powers. And Imperial Dynasty doesn't seem to give us a lot of powers. It just seems to give us native bonuses. So I'm actually kind of a little bit on the, the side of Imperial Dynasty after kind of taking a look at that. Because I, I think that we'd rather reform stuff and maybe make settlers or this type of thing. And farm improvements provide additional food. That seems good. Housing improvements, additional housing. Trash improvements, additional trash. Knowledge on palace for every five population in the region. That seems good. And then we, like, get super big bonuses in the capital. Basilius, Basilius. Basilius. Looks like you guys are feeling the Imperial the Imperian Dynasty as well. The I can't spell dynasty. That's my favorite dynasty to be honest. The the we can't spell dynasty. Shout out to illiterates. So let's rush this just so we can get the new government type. And it's gonna be ready. We're gonna do peaceful rev. We're gonna do the Imperial Dynasty. We're gonna select. And then I think we're going to, I don't think we're capped yet uh, by the food. Yeah, I think we're still growing. So because we're still growing, let's, okay, we have to actually, ooh, wait, construct palace. Can we build a palace like this? It looks like we cannot. So I guess we will be constructing a palace. Uh, first we could make it in Athens to be fair <laughs> we could make it in Athens let's let's check our let's look at our imperial dynasty buff to capitals buff to homeland that's such a big buff to the capital places um Let's not make it. Let's make it in Phoenicia. We like Phoenicia more. Oh, can we... No, we're still only that. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so we also have more work available for Athens... Or we have more slots that we could build stuff with. Oh, were we saving up for a bakery, though? Midden? A little mid. Uh, kiln. 
we were saving up for a bakery, and the bakery is done in how many turns? Hmm, six? Okay, so let's just keep going with what we got. Maybe we come this way. I know we've already kind of... I don't think we're going to discover as much. It's a little bit different. China will grow larger, the truth hurts. Oh man, I'm getting hungry. If we if we go if we go super long, we're gonna order pizza. And by pizza we're gonna call it something else, but then order pizza anyway. That's what I mean. I think we're supposed to Let's spawn an envoy, because we know that. Kind of a little committed now. We're gonna try and get this guy as a vassal, I think. Let's try and see a little bit more. Yeah, I, I think that. We're gonna end up dealing with Spain, or I mean Sweden, before Rome. Oh no! Just kidding. We didn't mean it. <laughs> Alright, let's get these guys in into this group then. I think we're gonna need a lot more gov income, I think. We want... Uh, we kinda want everything, don't we? Work camp seems reasonable, though. I guess we don't need to upgrade it yet, but... We also don't want to forget or something. I don't know. Okay, Phoenicia time. I think we upgrade to Civic Monument. We don't need the unrest thing. Domestic export slots. That's interesting. I'm not sure what we would want to send abroad in terms of goods. I guess we could send limestone to Athens to increase their production. So maybe that's going to be pretty good, actually. We'll see. Order Roman wine. The uh, yuck. This is a guess, but maybe to import something else, trade goods, you need to have trade in the other place. Oh, this probably makes sense, that we need to market in both places. Depth of field being applied at the top of screen. Order Kalakuko. It's a Finnish rye bread with fish baked into it. Bread with fish baked into it. That sounds so wild to me. I guess we're just running away. I don't think we would want a city or like an outpost in there. We're closer to our home territory than they are, and the scout will make the difference eventually. That scout is caked up, though. Maybe we march these guys this way, though, instead? No, let's march them to the cap. I think there's gonna be a bandit outpost up here, that's why we're marching an actual army up there. 
Oh, hey, goody hut. All right, I think that we could do stuff with Imperial Dynasty. Farm gives extra food, seems good. Farm gives extra food, seems good. Oh yeah, they're clapping our cheeks. Oh no. They've declared hostilities as well. Shoot. I think we do this. Maybe move over here. Actually, we gotta move back north, I think. They'll attack us there. I mean, we could integrate. We don't think that this is exactly the best spot, but do we hate integration? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's, a, that's a quote. <laughs> so, if we integrate... I mean, Lucknow is not doing very hot on their own. To be honest. The the fear I have is that we will deal with a bunch of unrest. So maybe we'll, let's click on the city and see if we can figure out... How happy people are. I mean, Athens is popping off. Don't know if it's that phase in the game yet, but the outposts and utility boats are kind of like supply crawlers in SMAC. Let's you ship resource back to Link City with low committed resources. Yeah, so maybe this is more of an outpost thing where we would want an outpost here for iron. I think we might even have an outpost guy. Yeah, we have an outpost guy, we just never used him. He's here. But we also don't want to get our outpost wrecked. Um, we should actually just put him inside the city. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we... should we... Integrate luck now? This means that it puts the dream of a Carthage over here further and further away. Also another city here, but to be honest... Maybe we're not getting us... maybe we're not spawning a settler soon? Also Loki would rather have this as a city, I think. Maybe not, but... I mean, this is giving us olives and some other stuff, but like, doesn't seem all that great, honestly. But the thing is, is it's right here, right now. <clears throat> this is a, a future dream versus a now dream. And we have a bunch of improvement points that we're kind of not using. I guess, well, we should be maybe using some of these. I, like, hate that this guy is not expanded yet to that. We could, we could grab, we could saw some stuff down here. We could also get some God King Dynasty improvements. Capital plus one limestone. The stone cutter here. I think we need to add jobs to Athens, though. Maybe, yeah, we could, to be fair, like, here we are, we, we have stuff we could add. We can add a plantation here, and then, like, we have, I guess we are need more jobs for Athens, so maybe Lucknow doesn't make sense. Yeah. 
There's a lot of iron and coal in the mountains, so I think we should go for a settler outpost in the mountains. Yeah. So that means we we'll be getting a subject rather than the vassal. I think. Yeah, so I think we just wait. These guys, I think we will do this. Ooh, gov XP, that's nice. That's so nice. So we could spawn a thing. Um, plus one production for every two population in the region, in the capital. I think we want to cruise towards this. And so we have to get this one first. I think we'll do that. To be fair, the capital maybe has too much production, but that's just like a first world problem, I guess. News from abroad, Japan and Sweden have formed an alliance. All right. Maybe we can do it. Well, we'll just leave them there, because we're going to bring these guys back and then try and do the thing. And then we know we're going to probably have to fight Rome up here, so let's get to that. Also, these places haven't been scouted out yet, if we can find a ton of things. I guess if there was a place we could make a lot of wheat that was close to the capital, we'd maybe want to do that. Or rice, but there's not. We can go for the iron, but we don't even have the iron working yet. I haven't seen anyone improve ra vassal resources, so I don't know how that works right now. We haven't seen our ability to do it either. I wonder why influence doesn't spread out further through roads. It would definitely make sense. That does make sense. It's probably harder to make it work like that, but... Let's let these guys heal up, I suppose. I wonder where we should put these guys, where we're just trying to intercept Romans. Roman settlers, just trying to cap them. Oh, we don't have enough for our oven. Shoot. Our bad. Age of Kings, Monuments. We want to do the Age of Monuments. Oh wait, we don't even have the three texts. Okay. Um, scribes, I think, was going to help us get tech. Does Papermaker take Flax? Because I think we have Flax. Converts logs into paper. Okay. Toolsmith converts two ingots. I don't think we want construction, really. We maybe want arts. I think no matter what, we know we want smelting. I think we do want scribes, though. Let's get scribes. And then we know we're going to want logs. 
some point. Let's just do that so we can don't have to keep clicking on them. Alright, this is Ath. No, this is Phoenicia. Let's do a civic monument, I guess. Actually... Yeah, we're not, like, in a state of war war with these guys yet. With the Swedes. They're just interfering with what we're trying to do. Do you have a road to the Romans? All roads really do lead to Rome, huh? Why don't we scout out this? We'll keep them close by to Athens. Hopefully they don't clap our boy. I mean, this scout is super caked up, right? We have 26 army power. We can handle those guys, I think. And then this is Athens. Would not hate a crane or a town center. Yeah, let's get town center for gov xp. Yikes. But this is this would be the value of like integrating luck out is we would be able to increase some of that stuff. We just like don't have a lot of gold. We have a lot of unit upkeep, it feels like. We need paper so we can print money. True. Arts and then sculpt Big Daddy Justinian. Fedonomic. I don't think we want construction really. <laughs> no, don't clip it. Don't clip it. <laughs> Sad to see a king fall. Don't clip it. Not like this. How to lose your Victoria 3 audience in one day. Did we lose our guy? We didn't. Cool. Uh, now we need to run. I feel like. Yeah, but there's like an outpost over here that I kind of want to clear out. Okay, Phoenicia. Is sanitation being satisfied? Housing's at 100%. Aqueduct, does this provide housing? No. We wanted to make... Four unrest and 15 housing. So this will make it grow much faster, right? And I think it doesn't take a worker. Let's go for it. So now our housing need is uber met, so we should grow much faster. I think we might want to say excuse you to these guys. We'll wait another turn though. Let's scout up this way, where maybe there aren't barbs. Oh, we could return him to Athens instantly? I don't think that's necessary. Athens, what do we want now? Probably a crane. I think we're gonna want improvement points. Market wouldn't be too bad, I think. Go market, maybe. Ain't no way. Can I link a YouTube link here? I do not have a problem with it. I don't know if the thing auto bops you, though. I, I have no problem with it, though. Link the video why generalist sucks at Victoria 3. Okay, so I think we spawn a settler here, maybe. 
Ooh, but I think we want to spawn out of here and then found a city down here, to be honest. Like, right here. Looks like they've already gotten one of the ingots here. Maybe this is too provocative. I think we are supposed to spawn a settler, though. Could spawn a settler over here. Make the Carthage city. To be honest, I think that this is, like, just too much food. It's, like, not worth. Bro, what if we just want to integrate these guys? Or we could do this, wait for that. How much knowledge are we getting? We're getting three knowledge and we would be getting an additional four, more than double our knowledge. Actually, I think we just wait. I think we go for the knowledge thing. Knowledge. It's knowledge. Should we, maybe we should find Ty Lopez. I could, I could show you exactly what I'm talking about. I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. This, like, hack. Every time I, like, see knowledge, I think of this guy. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. <laughs> Fun to drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. <laughs> in fact, I'm a lot more proud of these seven new bookshelves that I had to get installed. That's why he showed the bookshelves books first. It's like the billionaire Warren Buffett says, the more you learn, the more you earn. Now, maybe you've seen my TED. Yeah, okay. This guy's a hack, though. So. Or he's like a scam guy. The truth hurts. Knowledge. Those Ty Lopez ads were everywhere a decade or so ago. It was awful. It was awful. Knowledge. <laughs> like, Jesus. Maybe we actually send the Pioneer down. Make an outpost for Phoenicia. I mean, this game's like kind of a learning experience, right? Oh, that guy's gonna clap the shit out of us. Oh well. We're committed. This is Phoenicia. Done with the building again. Too good. Alright, so I think we could go after the watch here. God, we're growing super fast too. Let's go after the watch. Thanks for showing me the ad. Now I feel compelled to buy his course that will teach you how to make courses that teach people how to make courses. Why are we watching this? For the pain. <laughs> so, so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about when I say knowledge. Um, you know what? Maybe we don't even build the watch. Maybe we levy workers here. Generates 11 improvement points a turn. Bro, okay. We don't even have people who are upset with us. Let's do this for now. And we can, we can get Athens to being using full workers, and we can also get our freaking granary thing up. Because right now we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need one more worker working. Here, anyways. Dude, eat shit. And maybe we, maybe we do integrate Luckow, actually, now that I think about this. This, this kind of changes things, because... 
we're using the government to like not spawn the settlers, so maybe we just want to integrate Lucko. That should give us a lot more knowledge. Knowledge. It didn't give us as much more knowledge as I thought it would. What? Okay, whatever. Um, we could do, we could rush the culture. I don't know exactly what we could do with the culture. Propaganda. We could Eureka, I guess. Well, we integrated Luckow. Ah, uh, we can't integrate, integrate Vassal. So maybe we integrate Luckow and then we give them an expansion this way, which is gonna help them to get to the coal. Steps on Phoenicia's toes a little bit. Maybe we expand this way? Or even this way to get the wood and the, the hills and this stuff maybe down the road? Hmm. Vassal is ready for integration? Ah, he's not even ready. It's no estas listo. Wait. Invalid. Vassal's ready for integration. Oh, it makes them... It boosts the integration process. Doesn't actually integrate them. So we have to use gov to integrate. Damn, damn, damn. Or we have to spawn a envoy to integrate. Oh, the, but the envoy is more expensive than the previous one. That's a problem. Oh, but we can just use this guy. Okay. I'm stupid. We're gonna use that guy next turn to integrate the thing. Knowledge. General Scaping, do you mind tips? Not at all. If you want to backseat game a little bit, that's good. Are the millennia spreadsheets incoming? Probably not anytime super soon. But in theory, if people really like it. Any Gen Alpha viewers that don't actually know Ty Lopez? I think there's a lot of them. Zoomers. He spoke Spanish, Pagos, yeah. A little bit. Listo. I'm ready. Dondo esta el baño. Por que no los dos. Dabasaurus Rex, thank you for the follow. My favorite is, like, to ask someone a question, and then when they, like, tell me the answer, uh, to respond, like, mucho gusto, like, an American that doesn't know any Spanish. Because mucho gusto just, like, is inappropriate except for, like, when you're meeting someone. <laughs> Also just really kind of sets the cadence in terms of, ooh, oh, so good. Oh, actually. So we're gonna use the Envoy, I think, to integrate the guy. And now, we don't want to get clapped. Oh, is our turn over? Yeah, we're getting clapped. Oh no, wait, maybe, maybe we don't get clapped? Regroup. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. We tooted it, and then we booted it. Hell yeah, brother. So, I don't know if getting an outpost here is correct. I guess if we get an outpost here, then we can build a city here or something, and then connect them. Bro, I have no idea what the correct strategy is here. I don't know if we want to build a city down here or if we want an outpost down here. I think we want the iron, though. I'm so confused. I'm crying, I'm screaming, I'm throwing up. Venetia has a lot of unrest, and that will cause trouble if you don't fight it. Oh, they do now. They didn't before. Yeah. We have a solution. And if they want to dow us up over us picking up the iron, I, I guess they can. I 
And we could revert it to a pioneer. But I think this makes it so they can't settle there too. Us being able to revert to pioneer is also really significant. All right, so now, wait, why can't we do this? I thought you could integrate him. Maybe he has to be there at the stop start of the turn. Okay, engineering, let's see. We're God King Dynasty. We're still not on the thing yet. Government, we can spawn a settler now. And I don't think we want to go for this 80 thing. So I think we spawn a settler. Here might be an okay spot to settle, to be honest. It's also between, like, halfway between some of these things. It's like Brad Pitt in Glorious Bastards when he's pretending to be Italian. All that way the Hispanic folks won't, don't know what, won't know what you're saying, but you're just from Spain as dialect. Bongiorno. Uh, what is it, the Barcelona? Hmm, they don't actually do the integration. So maybe we just integrate then, Lacau. Right? What do you guys think? I mean, this is going to increase unrest. Or do we integrate or we try and make a settler and maybe go here? Well, this guy can come back into this squad then. I mean, we could want to integrate this guy as well. Maybe we just integrate, man. I don't really know. I'm so confused. I think you always want to be at your town cap. You currently have one available. How do we tell our town cap? Where is that? Where is that? Regions? Where's our town cap? Ugh. Why are we accumulating so much chaos? It's in the top right corner near the growth number in a region. Expand town. But that's, uh, that's from a culture that we're getting the town. Well, these guys need housing bad. Um. But I know there's, like, a region cap. And if you go over it, you get a ton of unrest. How do you get so much culture? Knowledge. Uh, we're getting most of it from Phoenicia. I think it's because we went the the one city. Phoenicia has every building basically, and we went the God King thing. Region level when you click the region. We click region. I think we're talking about something else. There's there's one town in gold and one in shadow in the right panel. Try clicking on your capital, then may I have an XY on the cap.
So we have number of regions is giving some unrest. Not a lot. Oh, it's also giving us chaos. How do you increase knowledge? You read a book a day. Uh, there's some buildings that increase knowledge, like the scribe stuff. Uh, I feel so dumb right now trying to figure out where it says... Oh, is this... This says we can increase the towns. No, but the... the if we integrate luck out, aren't we going to just have a whole bunch more unrest is the question I'm asking. I'm asking regarding our, our unrest. Okay. Yeah, in the panel to the right, you can see Phoenicia, and below it, 200% growth, and then 9 pop. Okay, okay. 200 growth, 9 pop, and then uh, two town icons, one in gold and one in shadow. This means Phoenicia has one out of two towns possible. Yeah, but the 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 town is refers to the region. I'm talking about incorporating a new region. You have 5.3 knowledge at turn 90 right now, and you need to reduce unrest. Yeah, so if we if we incorporate this, we'll have more unrest. Um. Maybe let's rush this and add a town. Oh, we should have put it adjacent to where the mines are going to be. It's not adjacent to the mines, it's just trying to pick up the mines. Oh well. Alright, so we're going to do that. And then... I think we're going to... Maybe we wait, even. Do we have city guards? We have some city guards. Bonus art propaganda. Yeah, we're just going to build a building rather than having the standing army. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it really is build a settler or integrate Lockout. I wish we were generating more gold because we could commit the gold to Lockout a lot better. Hmm. Let's wait a turn, actually. Oh, we don't even have enough government. GG, we don't even have enough thing anyways. Right now. GG, we're stupid. I'm stupid, I apologize. I didn't mean to drag you into, into this with me. Also, we have a, a city watch guy. He's just not in the right city. Let's move him back then. Or actually, let's move him out? Okay, Athens is not experiencing unrest, so let's do this. And then you'll... Wait, and then Athens... We just finished the market. Let's get a crane going here. But let's come into Athens. And now we can add a foreign import, but we can only do this. Interesting. I think that also increases our culture. That's one of the sources of culture for us. Is our foreign import. Giving us plus one culture in a couple spots. And then Phoenicia. Oh, Phoenicia finished the watch. Perfect. So then we can start doing this. 
And then look at that. Japan threatens us. Man, why is everyone so, like, not chill? Is it because we have a small military? I think we clap this guy pretty easy, huh? Ooh, there's an undiscovered thing. So, I think we send our scout that way once he's... Actually, probably don't even need to heal. Let's just send him out. Maybe we send these guys back to Phoenicia. And then these guys we'll send down to here to integrate that guy with our diplomat. Um... Why don't we integrate Lucko? And so now we're expecting these guys to be a little bit more unrestful. Maybe we made a mistake clicking the button. Um, but we can build now. Work camp. Can't rush it. We'd like to be able to. Now we have luck out, which is going to grow fast. Yeah, just one turn away from getting in there. News from abroad, Japan and Sweden are no longer in the alliance. Big nice. We hate to see it. We love to see it. Just lost your first game. Alright, four hours in, is it worth a buy? Uh, so, well, so someone told me that it falls off after like the first five hours. I have an idea. What if we preventatively strike Rome? I feel like... I feel like maybe that's not the play. Uh oh. They're still being unrestful. So let's maybe build another city guard. Yeah. And then after the city guard, we can add more improvements. And then let's add some stuff. So we can add pasture, right? Actually, let's go here. What can we add here? Gather. Pasture. That's going to help them grow faster. And then in Phoenicia, we wanted to make the ovens. And we'll make them here, I guess. So here's the thing is, I don't know if we're going to get access to some sort of manufacturing town thing. Let's assume we are. So maybe we build the oven here then. I don't really know. And then we don't have any stuff left. Is there a thing that will give us less unrest? What exactly is the unrest from, too? God, they're growing super fast. Unrest is going down. Okay, okay. Garrison units giving a ton of minus unrest. Maybe we don't need the city guard then. And we can just build the aqueduct. Plus one region level. We don't really need that, but sanitation will help give us need, right? So. Maybe we do that. Maybe we clap these guys a little bit. Oh, this guy got auto promo to leader. He was a crossbowman before. I think we actually don't like that. I think we'd rather have the crossbowman. But sure. Let's maybe move this guy down here. Yeah, let's peel off one turn. And then go for that. This guy can continue the move. I, I would say hold off in terms of the asking if it's worth buying right right now. I would just say, like, if you need an answer, I would say wait. If you don't need an answer, I would say it's probably going to be worth buying, but I'm really not 100% sure right now, so I don't feel like super endorsing, you know what I mean? Um... Oh, we actually don't need the aqueduct yet. We wanted levy workers. Yeah, this is what we wanted. So we could actually 
build up a bunch of improvements. Like, Athens needs improvements. Maybe we actually want these guys more down here. The fact that this is separated left and right is a little bit of a vibe. So we're close to being able to spawn an envoy. Or merchant. I guess maybe we want prospectors. Someone said gold was pretty useless early on. Hmm. Level 2 towns have specialization as one in production in the middle of the forest. How do we upgrade the towns? Expand town. Okay. So the question is, yeah, is one of the things we could do... Hmm... Let's unlock the pyramid. Oh, what's this? Is the pyramid an improvement? Where's the pyramid at? Oh, it's cost 30. Influence and culture, hell yeah, brother. We're just gonna keep that guy there. He's gonna put down the, the unrest. I think we didn't wait yet. Athens, let's see. The exploration XP is, I think let's get the arts XP instead. Game looks like it's 10 years old. Yeah. Why improves add 10 unrest? Uh, because they have to work in the... Someplace they don't want to work? I don't know. What does this give? The palace gives extra culture. Is the palace eventually deleted? I don't know. I think I like the culture, though. One of your populations have sanitation. Ab uh, above 10 population, regions develop need for sanitation. Okay, so now we're going to actually need it. But, counterpoint, levying workers is really nice. I guess we already have one turn committed in. Um, uh, we don't have anything. Luckout needs to expand, to be honest. For us to be able to build something we really want to. I mean, it needs to expand... Uh, We want this on them. Shoot. We're not going to be able to rush that, like, anytime soon. We'll take them out. They started this. that and we'll get started on this we assume we should be able to actually get it down pretty quick here in engineering and in I think you should buy it it's on sale I mean I'm having a lot of fun playing the game right now I'm a big fan of Civ the combat not great for a game of that cost yeah like the I don't know the yeah the I'm with you with who cares about the graphics but I kind of like the abstracted, uh, let's take some trophies. We got a lot of arts now. Promote cultural exports. Gain population, reduce unrest. Hmm. Those don't seem that good.
I wonder, we could double spend the expansion in order to get coal here and build a mine for that one place. That's probably... <gasps> Hermopolis, what's going on? You were supposed to join us, not Japan. Okay, so now the envoy looks stupid. Mr. Stupidhead. So maybe let's go back to Luckow. Re Reevaluate things. Mr. Stupidhead. I feel like we should be, like, spending some more of these points, to be honest. Or not. We could double claim territory. Shoot, man. Maybe just the envoy needs to go back, not the other guys. And the other guys can fortify. And wait, because I think we want to make a city here. Um, viral illness crisis? Uh oh. We need more sanitation. Venetia is also super caked up, which is supposed to be giving us more research. Let's spend some of this. I think we wanted a forester here. Maybe forester here is a little bit better. Let's see, we have three workers working in undeveloped things. And here we have one worker working in an undeveloped thing. I think we also want to save up for a pyramid, though. Oh no, the barbarian warlords have appeared. Whatever will we do? I think we're super okay with this. The ones by Athens are actually a little bit kind of annoying. Maybe we use volunteers in here. Feels like we should be using our exploration resources. I mean, we could make a bunch of scouts. Yeah, the game is 40. Annexing outposts into towns is one way of going around the next border's requirement. Oh, we could have pushed this and then made this a town. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. How do we turn this into a town though? I think the town only comes with the culture thing. So you know what? I think that the Crete town is actually really strong. It's just long term. I think earlier it was a bit of a mistake for us on the culture to be doing local reforms a couple times. Actually, do we have to be inside the city? We might have to be inside the city. I don't think they could sack that and destroy it. Hopefully they can. I think Venetia has enough pop that they can deal with it. Oh no! Not our gumdrop buttons. So they can destroy the outpost, which is a little annoying. Kinda like that outpost, TBH. But these guys are just getting clapped trying to attack the city or the town.
Looks like we have four slots now, so let's do that. We finished this, so now we can make libraries which produce knowledge. Use expand tiles. Also, if you can float points to cap, you can mega dump on National Spirit, like people do at EU Vortex when you unlock the next one. Yeah. Paper maker. Converts one paper to manuscripts. Scribe improvement. Paper maker. Converts one logs. Yeah. So I think we're gonna make a paper maker. in Athens. I'd just rather not have those 244 stacks breathing down my neck when I do it. If we make three civic monuments, we could try for the one tier of thing. Maybe we, maybe this is a vibe? And we kind of need this in luck out anyways. So maybe we should get started on that. Phoenicia. We can make a library out of. And just gives knowledge. Knowledge. Or we could do work on this. Knowledge seems hard to get at this point in the game, so let's maybe do that. Looks like they killed some of our boys. Not ideal. Maybe we run away with this guy. A little bit. Just because we really don't want that guy to just die for nothing. We don't have max sanitation. And if we want to reform the government non-violently, then maybe it makes sense for us to go this right now. To maximize the growth here in the capital. We'll ship this back, I think. Okay, so maybe we want merchants, because we're not really spending our point. Or generate wealth from other nations. Hmm. But nobody likes us. Everyone has... hates us. A discovered a landmark. I think we'll go this way. Oh, we can't. Fair. All right, Athens is idle and it's shrinking. That's not ideal. I think we. I think we want the civic monuments cause in case we want to go for the other, the alternative age. And that would help them expand better. So. <gasps> they destroyed a town. Okay, I didn't realize that they could destroy it. We should have had our 27 parked on there in case if that was the... Yeah, okay. Hate, hate, hate. Fuck. 
That's real bad for us, huh? Whoa. Let's bring this guy over here, I guess. I don't see another neutral guy that we could integrate if we wanted to. But maybe there's one up here that we could try and get the diplomat to move towards. Is this better than Vic 3? I don't think so. Probably not. Probably not appropriate to compare them, though. Looks like Athens is ready to revolt. No, not the city guard. Bro, really? We just killed the city guard? Come on. This guy was stronger when he was a bow, dude, and he, like, can't apply his thing. Bruh, that's so bad for us that we lost the, the freaking thing on Athens. Oh, wait, we can rebuild it. Yep, yep, okay, got it. We'll rebuild it. I really wish they would attack us. I think they hate doing that now, though. Yeah, let's go to levy workers. I think we can build pyramids, though. This gives us influence and culture. That'll be so good for these guys, right? we need influence on them. I don't know where we put it though, but limit one per region. Yeah, let's build it in here. So then they will get to expand a bit because we really want them to expand towards like a hill. All right, so it looks like those guys off themselves. Send these guys back that way. I think we want to maybe build in here a city guard. And then, can we shift or control? Nope. Okay, we'll do that. Sending that guy to guard the city. Then we'll use this. Rebuild town here. God, it killed our improvements too. That sucks, I think. Yeah. Alright. Trying to just clear the way for our diplomat here. Maybe we need the scout to get out of here. Make some room for the diplomat. I feel like you're, you build way too few settlers, maybe. I'm not sure, you get a really heavy penalty to unrest uh, if you have too many things. But it's possible. Pump up the army. Bring the army back.
Bro, is this guy got gunning for our freaking... I mean, we want this. Because... Reasons. Spawn Pioneer. I think we'll take the enormous amounts of engineering XP. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have the scout block here. And then heal up and hope the Japan guy goes away. Now, God King Dynasty. We should be able to do funeral rites. Upgrades one of your pyramids to a pyramid tomb. Only one pyramid tomb can be created to na per nation. They have a higher output of uh, output without needing to be worked. Uh, this seems fine. We only have one, so this one definitely gets upgraded. And maybe we make a paper maker here. Oh, this, we could have done, shoot, that was probably supposed to be a farm, oh well. For the adjacency reasons. But yeah, we went with the build tall style, or with the build tall, uh, what is it, Imperial Dynasty over Kingdom. Sadly, uh... Uh, settlers creates vassals IRC. The penalties only apply when you integrate them. Otherwise, the vassals give you a, tr a trickle of goodies. I think they just run away instead of getting annexed. Let's just save just in case because we're gonna kind of send them out into the abyss. I don't remember, like, they give you very... It felt like they're not giving you too much goodies. I guess we haven't, like, taken a super close look, but we're gonna settle here. That's the plan. Oh! Okay, we're fine with this. We want the Japan guy to get out of there, though. I guess the scout can escort. Kind of. Oh, maybe we did a dum dum there. Yeah, we need them to attack us, or we need to attack one of them every turn. I don't think the 35 will kill the scout outright, though. But we need to take some names here. But every single gov choice we've been taking the gov and like every single opportunity we've had to pick gov over something. We have a hunting camp, forester, paper maker. I suppose Bro, this thing hasn't expanded in, like, ever. And we kind of would like the limestone, huh? This feels silly. Converts paper into manuscripts? Knowledge. Knowledge. Well, we could put in a sawmill, I guess, to increase the construction. Saw pit. Converts three logs to three lumber. So we're gonna need more choppies. God, Athens just got super sacked by that. Feels bad, man. So we kinda wanna go Age of Monuments. So maybe we go arts first? Or we kind of think that that tree sucks, but... Oh, influence in all regions. We could have, we would have been down for that.
Athens a revolutionary event happened nearby. Wait, why are you why are you rebelling? What the fuck? See, this is why we didn't want to build too many cities. Why are you so mad? Number of regions, yeah. I think we need to lock the food. Let's actually lock this in. And then we can build a quarry on it. And then also build a pyramid here. Athens is down to one. It's not growing very fast, is it? Uh, can we ship it? Can we ship it? Food? No, we can't. Well, there's zero workers. They're just working the home thing. I guess that put down the rebellion, but... Not thrilled about it. Man, there's so many of these guys. I think we might put a mining town here in Corneth with our culture power. Could also create a town in Athens. Maybe we want a mining town further south. Oh, I know. Let's try this. And then... Make a town here. That way we're gonna be getting these resources. And then here... We'll create a quarry. Ah, that's not a quarry. That's mine. But we made a quarry for this. Okay, the mine. Do we have a way to discount mines? I don't think that was part of our God King dynasty. Stone towers, walls. Okay. It's not. Wait, what the hell goes here? Do we just not have what we need? We have smelting. You just auto do it and you just need a here, let's look at corner. Oh, it's not our city. Got it. Oh and we added to Corneth, we added a town. So now we really gotta incorporate that. Alright, fair, 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 fair. I think now we'll move this to Luckow. That way it's going to be a little bit more flexible, maybe.
Destroy Civic Monument? No! We have two of them. They cost so much construction. Bro, you chaos? Plague thing is increasing? Not like this. It's a really tiny trickle. Yeah. Whatever, we're in the next stage anyways, I guess. Completed and then immediately destroyed. God, it feels bad, man. Feels terrible, man. Eleven turns? Man, so slow. We should just, we're not locked in Age of Kings, we should just research it. Unless there's, do we want to go back? Let's go back for Believe. Oh, this is zero. I think we have to wait one turn no matter what, so let's, well, what, what do we even get here? Council, oh my god, I'm so stupid. We should have researched this forever ago. Okay. Yikes, yeah, like Steam reviews hurt. Steam reviews do hurt. I think, uh, you can't really have too strong an opinion on the game at this point, but... It's only been out a few hours. Like, my brother in review. What are you talking about? Fuck. Athens just getting decimated so bad for us. It has literal one pop. I guess can we. It's got seven turns on it. Alright. Seven turns. How many people are... Okay, we got two people just working grassland for food. Did we ever build our... Hold up. Did we not ever build our oven? No, we built the oven. So... We built two more farms. Maybe we build two more farms... I feel like being close to the thing... Yeah, let's just build more farms, I guess. Ah, what's this? Can't be placed there. Why not? Hmm, okay. Now they're working in farms instead, and we do have a surplus of this. We'd love to... Dex, domestic export. Okay. Confirm wheat. Export. Select region. We'll send wheat to Athens. And hopefully they can grow back a little bit faster. A little bit of a yikes on the... Actually, let's do this. Yeah, 
Okay, so we definitely don't want to integrate now. Let's do belief next. Wonder if we automatically get our wheat back. Okay, we can rebuild it. But considering we have two wheat here. Why don't we? Including the one that's being exported to us. Why don't we build a mill? And then almost certainly we lock in this and we lock in the mill. And now it should grow. Why is it growing so slow, man? Housing improvements give extra housing. House increases regional level. I think we just want this. Let's go Age of Kings now. I think that we maybe go council. For the tech research. Yeah, the tech research is coming along now. Athens. I mean, kind of attempted to upgrade the granary just because we're trying to get more food here. But we're also constructing super slow. Actually, let's just go council. God, we should have gone council forever ago. This feels so bad. You think unrest is permanent? It's not permanent. If we hover here... It shows that it's going down. Or it shows that it's going up, but we have buildings in the capital that reduce it. Let's, after this, rebuild our civic monument, I think. Actually, let's build a temple. Bro, the temple also gives whatever. So the city guards help to reduce the unrest by quite a bit. All right, we're gonna park these guys here because we do not want to get sacked again. And we're also going to volunteers here. It's such a, I think it's probably just like such a waste for us to have this like all the way out here. These guys could be reducing, they're super veterans. I guess they're gaining XP, but. So now we have units in here that are, should be reducing this quite a bit. So now unrest is going down because we have uh, minus nine from having the city guard. Maybe we just need to make city guards for all of our cities. We'll make city guard next in queue after this, and then the civic monument. No, we can't queue three things. Terrible. Make these guys next. All right. Luckow has three improvement slots. Now we're getting a ton of. Uh, let's actually. Do we have anyone working? No, one guy's working the pyramid. Which I think we want him to be working, so we don't need another guy working. But that should make him happy. Should decrease unrest there. A 
Let's see how much this garrison is helping. Not too terribly much. Yeah, those guys help out a lot. Clear out these guys. Actually, you know what? We could tolerate the, the those guys over there. Let's have these guys recover. Let's have these guys wait here. Luck out. Build granary. That's a lot of food to be giving too. Let's do it. Oh, you think reduce unrest is permanent? Like it permanently? What does that even mean? Like increases the cap or something? Guess we should have kept the city guard in. It's taking forever to work through these guys. There's so many barbs wherever this is over there. I don't think... I mean, we could expand the town. I don't exactly... I don't... I'm, I'm, Culture and knowledge seems good. Yeah, I such a miss, like, not going after these knowledge buildings, I think. Venetia still needs a civic monument. But we honestly, I, I'm not sure, certain we need the influence to be... It's just two turns and then we can get back to levy workers, I think. The art bonus? Right, but reduce unrest. I I don't I don't know what you mean by saying it's permanent, because unrest is like this, right? So it'll reduce naturally if we can get something to pull the equilibrium down. Can't spawn a settler and kind of waiting on the other thing. We could speed up this guy's integration, but I don't even think we want to integrate him anyways. Send one guy over there. Yeah, our unrest is decreasing. I think we can actually integrate him. We just have to have a lot of city watch guys. Spawns rebels, bro. I don't know. Hopefully, they don't just sack it instantly. I don't know. Innovation and culture, and we are moving quite along. It's not permanent, yeah. Don't understand the appeal of making a game 97% the same as Civ. 
Paradox games are much better than Civ anyhow. Yeah, but this this was just published by Paradox. It's not made by Paradox. I think that's kind of important to note. I think we want to keep these guys on the Roman border because we know what happens there. I mean, I hope that they... Well, actually, maybe we shouldn't hope. Maybe Kornath is done for if they attack it, and this gives us a chance to maybe do the damage. I don't know. Anisha's idle. I think we're gonna levy workers. Wow, luck I was down to two people. Are we... I... I yeah, you're probably right. We probably should be reducing the autonomy here. We're using the arts here. I'm kind of tempted to build a pyramid here. That seems like maybe not the spot for it, huh? Is this not building... It seems like we should be locked in on the food at the mill. Where's the last guy? And maybe the plantation... Well, maybe the plantation's okay. It's making food. It's helping you grow. Looks like it takes four turns no matter what. Why don't we do the quarry then? Oh, is that the max speed you can grow? Interesting. Interesting if true. Alright, looks like we expanded over here. So we maybe can make some mines. Did we build the wrong improvement here? Works one limestone? Yeah, we did. Copper and coal. So that means the next turn we'll be able to do a smelter thing. Athens. I think we maybe want Palisades. Followed by a watch. Hmm. Can't queue up that many. Let's see how much, because we're going to get one more unrest ticking if we integrate another thing. Yeah, I Ooh, what's this? We discovered new stuff. We discovered the wacky tobacco. Age of Kings, big nice. Adds a bunch of stuff. Oh, now this is gonna maybe be useful. Cool, cool, cool. God damn it, we built over the hemp or the tea. So we could move the stone cutter around if we want. Tragic. I, but we can delete improvements, so this is maybe f not as catastrophic.
get something done. Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna be sacking them over there. Let's just kind of post up there. And we do want to build a furnace, right? I think we want the furnace. Build it here. And then, wasn't there like a weapon maker? Weapon smith. Converts one ingot into one spears, which gives warfare experience. Oh, I think I'd rather have the, the we could rather have the production. But now things are starting to feel like they're kicking off, except for we have basically no pop and everything's just all centered in Phoenicia. This is terrible. But other than that, maybe we go machines? What is this? Treatise? Oh, generates knowledge from production. Bro, I think we want that. We won't even read the other ones. Pro army maybe as well. And we get to choose a national spirit? Uh oh. Are we this late to the party? Bro. Everyone else has one but me? No. We're the last to finish the spirit. Oh, this is maybe scuffed. Spiff would have conquered all by now? Yeah, but we didn't get we didn't get trial runs. Spiff gets trial runs. Bro, do we want to do Crusaders? This seems so not the way I like to play, but maybe it's what we're supposed to go. Uh. Oh, this makes me feel so sad. We're so far behind. I think we, I think... Mm. Uh. Let's maybe take a poll how we want to do this. Maybe it's time to spend the air mega duping into knowledge. Yeah, I don't even know what we're supposed to go. I do have to use the bathroom though. Iron Prospector. I mean, kind of inclined to go machinery, to be honest. What do you guys think? Could also. We could even read, but we already read today. That feels so bad. I really have to pee, though. So. Okay. I feel real. Uh, maybe let's make a poll. We'll make a poll on the YouTubes. Although, to be fair, do we have more viewers on Twitch now? We might have more viewers on Twitch now. It's like almost the same, actually. Um, we're gonna make a YouTube poll. So we're going to link the YouTube to the Twitchers, and then have a little bit of a think about what we do. But this, I don't know, proper landlord shits where he sits. True, we need that piss bottle. Learning how to increase knowledge seems really paramount. Yeah, I think we, like, the fact that we got the knowledge text so late I think is actually a bit, a bit of a problem. It feels like we're learning every time though. We restart, and maybe we should just continue. So, but we're gonna do we're gonna do a poll on what we do. Okay, uh, what do? And then I'm gonna use the restroom while we while we do the poll. Um, 
so we can do machinery. I think that's probably fine. Um, we have a bunch of the diplomacy experience, so maybe Shogunate. Um, although now we have more uses for it, as well as the art, too. Uh, we could do Crusaders, which, I mean, we have the thing for, or we could restart it. And we're going to start the poll, and then I'm going to use the restroom while we're polling. We will be right back. Uh, let's do the BRB menu. Yeah, the fact that also the the guys reduce the... We just got major bricked, like, with Athens getting, like, super sacked as well, uh, as a result of the revolutionary stuff. And the fact that we understand a bit more how the revs pop is also probably important. From what I can tell, a good metric of performance is to keep turn completions to a single digit, 6 to 4. Turns to completion, 6 to 4 seems to be optimal for production, research, growth, etc. Interesting. Looks like you guys think mostly restart. Okay, 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 okay. We could do that. Alright, so, kind of got another scuff run, but that's okay, we're learning. We're in the streets. Main menu. course gonna do Carthage and now we we can also be a little bit smarter about here we're gonna be purple that guy auto swaps cool what do we really want here start with a scout unit actually might be decent start with plus improvement points start with plus innovation each of your capital regions automatically generates some production Oh, we were getting the culture stuff so fast because we did the culture thing. Why don't we do regional influence? That seems reasonable. Or regional. A. So maybe we do that. And then... I think that we actually want to be a little bit more spread out. I don't mind having more AI, but it felt a little... Well, it only felt... Only Sweden was super close. Maybe large is okay. Why don't we do a really super quick poll? Uh, whether we do large or huge. Size. It's not the size of the map that counts. That's how you use it. If I can hijack it, uh, take the plus culture and do the spam reform strat local forwards. So I'm actually kind of not bullish on that, to be honest. I thought that that was like long term maybe not good you got knowledge from destroying a raider camp pog you can flow a culture that you can keep reforms uh perm up for the most part of the game where it matters though 
I'm a big fan of influence though. Looks like you guys are gravitating towards large generally. Although there's only seven votes, so there's that. Um, okay, looks like eight. Eh, if the huge people are too too slow to vote, we'll just do large. Generally, like, I gravitate more towards huge and just, like, being passive gameplay, but I think you guys want to see it mixed up a little bit, see some more war than... I assume it, it, it ends up being considerably less war. Let's see if we can get uh, a start here, though, that we like. Also, probably, depending on view count, okay. You know what, I think we're going to read this one here. Just looks to get a little bit better start that we like a little bit more. Either getting, uh, getting one of two things, uh, either next to fish or next to some sort of, what is this, Rome business? Uh, oh, someone else starting as Carthage. Yeah, let's put Rome in the game. And then we'll take the influence. Uh, we're gonna restart for fish or um, a place where we could put iron or a mine of some kind. Snowballing was always rigged in 4x. Not a, not a fan of the, really of the genre. Perma local reforms lets you do that. Hmm. Tuned in Dutch just to watch the re. Maybe not terrible, but here let's we're gonna re again. We're gonna look for a little bit of a better start. Bringing back Civ 6 vibes. Restarting. Just making sure there's a roam in the game, there is. Also, doesn't take too long to restart. Imagine just having 50% more resources than everyone else who doesn't do it is the reasoning behind it. I understand, but the it, it's going to negatively affect the amount of towns you have later on in the game. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if this is worth. Alright, we see a fish kind of close. And we are coastal. We are getting the flax off the start, which we can... I think we just re... I think we just... I'm so glad you're showing this game off. I've been really excited about it, says Pickles. Yeah. That's the plan. I think we're... So, our view count is now considerably under what we would be getting if we would be playing um, Vic. But I think we're going to keep playing this. I think we're gonna... I'm, like, kind of deciding now whether or not we want to... So if we order pizza, we're going to play for like another five hours or six hours. And if not, we're probably going to stop soon because I'm hungry. So this is the, this is kind of where we're, where we're at. But also, it's, we have a ton of viewers on Twitch. Oh, no, wait, just kidding. They all left. No, they left when I used the restroom. No, what a time, what a world, what a world. But we are getting a bit of a fresh start here. They might have left because we read. Okay, so maybe we're satisfied with... The, the double grassland grain? I think I think this is fine enough. Let's, and maybe we want to stop restarting. So we're going to go for farming first, I think. And then maybe we go tribal elders in the other one. And maybe we don't get scouting. We can build scout cavalry. I think we'll take the dolmen first. I think the bigger the map, the more valuable scouting is, probably. Oh, this is a lot of grain. 
I wonder... Oh, we could put a farming town right here. That's going to be so nice. Yeah, we're going to town there first. Okay, Pog. We got to rename this, though. Maybe the game is still... Order pizza? It's really hard for you to make weeknight streams. That's why I always try and make the Saturday stream. Mm, we might have to order pizza. Maybe the game is uh, new, but as of right now, the reform opener is the most front-loaded. Towns are the most relevant when you approach pop caps. Like, the five or six are just running out of work. Hmm. Well, this kind of makes us want to go scouting. The fact that we have an undiscovered thing here, right next to the thing, that we can discover. So we'll go scouting second, I suppose. We'll fortify this guy. Oh, yikes. There's two? Don't like that. Boop boop. Thank you, Z Roasted Toast, for the follow. Big nice. Alright, culture power. We're going to create a town. I think that we will use local reforms maybe a little bit more aggressively if we've already hit the amount of towns we want. But I think that that'll be... I think that town will be really strong as well. Because we'll be able to make a bunch of farms around it. And make it into a farming town. Okay, so we have someone we can maybe Diplo incorporate. Let's do this. And then... So march these guys, get these guys together. And now, let's go scouting second. Uh, kind of feels a little bit bad. We're not going to be very good in production, I don't think, but we're going to get a huge amount of pops. Maybe we do sawmills as a production line, because we do see some wood here and there, so... Oh my god. Shoot. We're not doing this the way we're supposed to. You know what, I want that farm faster, to be honest. We'll do the we'll do the knowledge one next. Stream is down. Stream's down. Kind of seems like there's Twitch going on. How's Millennium compared to Civ Five? Stream is down for you on Twitch. It shows it's live for me. We have thirty five viewers. Can anyone else comment on the Twitch if the stream's down for them? I, I was underwhelmed with the next fest access to the game. Any better with full release? Uh, am I not giving it full credit? We I think we have to play a little bit more. Um, I mean, I'm enjoying playing a lot. Um, uh, starting off with negative reviews uh, with the... I think it's because of the multiplayer. I think it's too early to tell. I think the game's been out like five hours, so it's a little bit rough. I mean, the game looks rough. It's good. Okay, a bunch of Twitchers are saying that it's live. Steam, not stream. Oh, my bad. My bad. I apologize. Reading's hard. Reading is hard. Tyrell says it's pizza time with a $10 donut. Well, I think in that case we have to do pizza time. Shout out to Tyrell for saving the stream. I think we will do pizza time then. We gotta wait till like around four to order. I wish they adopted Civ 5 art like style. Although we spend a lot more than 10 on pizza, but then we also like the pizza, so we do be do we. Alright, let's do this. Let's merge them. And look to get going. Scouting's coming in. 
What is this? They're attacking Phoenicia. No, not my gumdrop buttons. We can afford a farm though, so let's do it. Okay, so we should be getting up nice and quick now. I don't know if that was you, if you were asking if you could have a viewer, would you, uh, would them being on YouTube or Twitch be better? Oh, I don't really know. Uh, I think I get a little bit better, I don't know which one gives me better ad revenue. I would say whichever, for you, whichever the ads are, like, less annoying on, maybe do that one. I don't, I think it's kind of, I know if you're gonna donate it's better on YouTube, because I get a 70-30 split instead of a 50-50, uh, split. Uh, if you're gonna donate versus sub, but then subbing you get access to icons, and if you want access to icons, I think you should do that. I think the the best is uh, dono through the link that's in both the Twitch and the YouTube is like I get the best ratio because that's just straight to PayPal. Um, but it's like whatever whatever is preferable to you. I can tell you that. More people are chatting on YouTube, so you're also trying to figure out how to donate to the Pizza Fund. The best way is the um, the link that's in the it should be in the description. Or do we not have our dono link in the description? No. But also, like, I was leaning towards just continuing either way. But let's see. This is AI smoke. That's an ad. Yeah, the stream do the link in the description is the for, to the stream elements dono is the best way to do it. But in terms of watching, um, I don't I don't I don't really know. I guess I think that I can grow more on Twitch, so I would rather get pushed to the top of the Twitch lobby in the category. I don't know who's I don't know who's crushing the category right now on Millennia. I have to imagine it's not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not anywhere near the top of the category on Millennia. So, you just got home and Steam is down. The tragic, the tragedy. Pickles here with pizza time. Thank you so much for the $10 dono. Much appreciated. We will be having the pizza. Knowledge. You want to try out the game? Well, you can watch. We're just at the start of a, we're just at the start of the run. I'm sorry that Steam is down though. That is big sad. Much appreciated, Pickles. Thank you. All right, let's get back to the thing. So I think that, yeah, we're gonna grow pretty quick here with the food, but we have to leverage it into construction somehow. We gotta get construction somehow. Hmm. So I don't think we want the food stockpile. I think we want this so we can expand into the woodland a little bit better. And then this, Gonna need to discover that stuff over there. And these guys will kind of keep going. Okay, so now critical. We can either do tribal elders, defenses, or workers, and they all seem pretty good. Hmm. Well, clay pit. Hold up. We can maybe get our construction through clay pit. So maybe we go workers. But then maybe we go tribal elders after. Defenses is also really good, though. Shit, man. It's like we want all the techs. Um, because maybe this is how we get our construction. And not only that, the improvement points will be really nice, I think. I don't really know. What's your favorite pizza? Uh, I like when they're sweet, salty, and spicy. So I like... Like, a generic type that I like is jalapenos, um, uh, uh, pineapple... And then, um, some sort of meat would be, like, uh, Mount Fuji, big nice. That's gonna give us some combat expertise on this guy, so he's gonna be much more useful. Looks like we have two independent guys near us, so going Diplo earlier might be good. Looks like we're gonna put these guys down. I feel like we, our army won't be very strong without the, without the thing. It's a little bit rough. Or Ghoul, thank you so much for the follow. You're my favorite non-historian content creator? Ooh, who's your favorite historian content creator? This implies a historian content creator that's better. Okay, so now we maybe do local reforms, because we're at, we can't, I think we're at our town cap, right? We can't make a town. 
Our culture power is ready. Now we do local reforms in Phoenicia. And we can make a sawmill here. So maybe we don't need to do... I think we'll do tribal elders next, though. But we can make a logging camp here. Which is going to cramp the style of... Forester. Once we finish workers, though, we can put down a forester. This will be perfect. Okay. I'm feeling much better about this. Uh, let them join Carthage. Yeah, okay. Ooh, hell yeah, brother. We have another undiscovered one. Bro, this is our run. This is so strong. Oh, shoot. We forgot to click the buttons. Damn. Next one will be a settler, I think. Based pineapple pizza. We do, we do like the... I'm curious why they don't try other fruit on pizza, to be honest. But I also really like pineapple, so I'm not, like, complaining, hyper-complaining, you know what I mean? Um, like, if you were to put another fruit on pizza, like, what would be the ideal one? I think we're gonna go tribal elders. Well, actually, w let's take a look here. What are we currently building? We'll bu we're building a dolmen. And we're finishing in five turns. So, in five turns time, we... Yeah, we do want to be able to do this in five years time. Maybe we just, like, raw dog the entire thing. Alright, these guys are coming around. So let's kind of do this. Uh, let's gather... Make a forester here. And then... Let's gather... These guys will come over here. Yikes. Come on, man. So why didn't this guy get combat XP? Let's bring him back here. They put jalapeno on the pizza, or do you drop the peppers they give you on it? No, I'm talking them putting jalapeno on the pepper, uh, pizza. But the peppers are good. We do peppers, too. The Pirate History Podcast by Matt Albers. Dude, that sounds fun. Peanuts on pizza? Peanuts on pizza. Well, that'll make it crunchy, right? EM Rubbage, Agent Napoleon Podcast. The Pirate History Podcast sounds like... That would be, like, my jam. I like, let's try Age of Bronze here. Alright, so I think we can go north here and avoid that guy. Oh, I think we do want to put that down there. So let's get rid of this guy here first. And maybe we need more mill. See, like, every time we try a, a certain way of doing something, it feels like we just don't have enough of the other things. See, like, low-key, like, the, the game feels hyper-replayable and it doesn't feel like there's, like, one way to do it, really. Christian Parkinson, Red Coat History Podcast. Apples can be really good on pizza. Dude, apples sound kind of dope. What about cherries on pizza? Maybe that's too overpowering. Not enough sweet, too much flavor. So we get the Great Barrier Reef here too. I think we come to take this out. And then we build a council for the knowledge. And then we do have four pops, so we have enough to get the farm going here. But. No, we don't have a forester. Yeah, let's just get the farm going. We'll grow the pops. It won't be the perfect number when it comes time for us to grind this stuff, but that'll be okay. I'm sure strawberries wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, strawberries seem good. Maybe blueberries? Trade without cream cheese, as, with the cream cheese spread as a sauce. I'd want something on that as well. You just returned and I see a new run. Yeah, it's been it's been a little bit scum. What about olives? Olives are a fruit. <laughs> Avocado, best fruit on pizza. Let's go.
Hmm. Can we get out without... Maybe we regroup here. Just to make sure that we get out. Because we do seem a little surrounded. So let's regroup. And I think that's probably worth the XP. All of this classic, though. 1444 again? Yeah. It do be restarting. Okay, we're close to being able to make a new settler, and we're not sure where we want to put him, to be honest. Which is a little bit rough. Do we get anything from working the Great Barrier Reef? I'm not sure. So we start the age. And we're gonna... So here's the thing. Now we maybe have a little bit of a choice. Because I'm not sure which national spirit we're supposed to use. We haven't done a military one. Actually, low-key, I think the diplomacy one will be really good. Let's take a look at mound builders. Burial mound, sanitation. We've already built a bunch of farms, but this would have been... Hoe farming would have been nice. Olympians. Hippodrome. One culture per nation that has an envoy. So the reason I was thinking that this one might be good... Opening negotiations with two different nations can gen generate you knowledge. Interesting. I was thinking it might be good because down here we have we've discovered two. These are two uh, neutrals, but overall it didn't seem quite as weak. Like God King Dynasty, like this seemed like really strong. The minus cost on the quarries and stuff unlocks pyramid. Maybe we're overrating it. Spartans have no upkeep cost per turn. Spawn Spartans. Could go Ancient Seafarers, it's open. The lure of getting a good opener down to, uh, down is irresistible to many. This too. I don't hate the exploration, because we got a little bit of an extra ex exploration experience. We can probably... And we can eventually... It feels like exploration experience also rots often in your inventory. And... Okay, we, we haven't established something on the coast yet, but we could. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's pick our first research while you guys are maybe commenting. So the, I, I guess the, what I'm thinking is, is I guess kind of between, um, kind of between, I think God King Dynasty is still pretty strong. Right? Well, we don't, we don't have any of that stuff near us though. Mound Builders feels hella awkward because we already built a bunch of farms, but maybe that's uh, maybe that's not a big deal. Reduced cost of expansion of grasslands. 50% food needed per population. Maybe, maybe, so maybe it's between Mound Builders, uh, Ancient Seafarers, and Olympians, and we run a poll. So... We'll do Mound Builders, Olympians, Olympians seems weak, but I think fits with what we're currently doing, Ancient Seafarers. I also think Ancient Seafarers or is probably the most RP considering we're playing Carthage. Um, and you guys let me know what you think. You'd like either military or diplomacy, says Urbic. Uh, I'll consider that a vote for Olympians, then. 
I think scouting is hyper important and so it is. But even more so in this game? Interesting. It's dependent on your start. Yeah, so like, I kind of like the Mound King because we have a ton of grassland around us, right? And so the 50% expansion speed on that, plus the fact that, okay, we have already built two farms, but look, we have one, two, we have like four additional grain. So. Three times as much as he sees now. Yeah, it would help if we could see more. I kind of like Mound Builders though. Seems like you guys like mound builders as well. So let's go with mount, 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 or let's let the vote run a little while longer while we put, select our tech, but we're probably going with mound builders. Um, now we don't need early mining, but we desperately want the baking one. Which one gives the baking this? So we're going to go community first. And then we're gonna go Mound Builders. Yeah, because you guys are vibing with the Mound Builders. Even considering the person who commented they wanted Diplo on the Twitch, which we didn't forget about you. We would never forget you about about you, Erkovich. Er Erkovic? Yeah, so we'll do this. And this burial mound improvement that generates culture, we didn't even think about that. I mean, we have to get this, unless we're gonna spend the, the this on something else, maybe we just put this in now. And then we let this guy heal up. We'll send these guys on their way. We wanted you to heal up, my guy. And then now, now that we know that we're mound builders, we're gonna spawn a settler, but this will inform where we put the settler. I suppose we can either scout north or south. This is desert. So maybe we scout south to look for a place to build. Yeah, so we'll, I guess we'll be building down here. Is this hills? It is hills. And we'll try and follow with the scout. Use culture power. So, we'll probably be, can we create a town? No, we cannot. Can we, oh, we could just end turn though. We can float it. Hmm. I think we maybe float it. And see just a little bit more with the scout. So we know we expand the grassland on the grassland faster. So I kind of like the city here, maybe, which also we'll see the the gra grapes immediately. I don't think it's in conflict with the other stuff, and we can very early add one of these. Bring out your dad, yeah. Don't tell anyone I voted on the YouTube poll too, I might get caught for election fraud. Oh no, Erkovich is getting smashed for election fraud. <laughs> You're planning on integrating the settler city? I think it's a good uh, idea of looking for spots that you can treat as main capital tier. I mean, I think you're correct in the principle of the thing, but I don't know. Maybe we try and get a little bit closer to the river. The thing is, is I, I think we actually do want to make use of this food. Here actually seems like a decent spot, though. So we'll just end the turn. The culture power is still ready. Boop boop. Lars, oh man, holy shit, you're strong, dude. Uh, just saw a general strength channel. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thank you for the donation, Lars. Big nice. The pizza has been fully funded. 
So I think I, I I think I like here actually quite a bit, and then we can make a. Um, we can make a thing right here, a town. Maybe on the hill. Because we'll be getting the cotton. Maybe we scout a little bit more, huh? Yeah, I kind of like this. And then this gives a little bit more space for us to incorporate some of this. These guys will be over here. So let's found a city. And we're going to use the culture power here. To create a town. Maybe we don't want a town this early though. We're going to hit another culture power somewhat soon. Maybe we just local reform Spanisha again. It's a higher percentage of our economy. We'll do that. But thank you so much, Lars. Have you messed with town specializations yet? Good spots might shift depending on your preference on how you want to go about it after. This is true. We're trying to keep that in mind. Um, like, we put the town here because we were going to make it agrarian focused. Uh, we don't want to spend on this wheat, though, because we understand that we can, we'll, we'll get a discount on it later. So, where are we also building? We're working on the council. Um, really wish we had more, or actually, no, we probably want to save our stuff. We could build the burial mound. It would give us two culture. We're also finishing up community. That'll give us the bread baker. Yeah, maybe we wait. We hold off for community and we uh, we bake the bread. I think I like this. Ooh, we get everything except for the woodland. We'll have this guy help defend for now, I guess. Um, how those guys screwed up? Hopefully this doesn't clap us too hard. Ah, UK wants open boredoms. This seems fine. Looks like it did a lot of damage to them. We'll need to swing this guy back once things happen. I think that this is nice, but I think we want discipline, right? So we can upgrade to the spearmen. be five turns but yeah we're getting way more research now than we were before I think we just keep this guy fortified and now for you Diplo XP seems pretty good I think we want the work camp in general though the work will set us free mainly because it's harder for us to get the construction Two warlords are destroying you. Big oof. I don't know what the button is, but there's a way to see how much influence is needed and being given towards expanded borders. Here we see influence 0.57 out of 47. If we click here, we see 15 out of 24. So it looks like you can click and get some idea. Let's try this a little bit. Yikes. Alright, well we got rid of the walls. Alright, so we brought that down. So I think maybe, well we need to scout north of us. Let's do that. And let's see how long do we have on integration. I think we're going to want to integrate it as quickly as possible. Looks like we got seven turns. So that means maybe we spend... ...on this, to be honest. Or we'll, we'll spend on the, the government thing, I think. Yeah, let's... 
Because six turns, we're getting how much a turn? 4.5. Yeah, I think we can afford to do this. And then get a little bit more sight here. Maybe we don't even need a town. We're just gonna expand here anyways, right? A town up here. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's rough because we would want to force Age of Heroes, but I don't think there's a shot that we're gonna get that. Because we've gone back for a lot of tech already. Alright. I think we can take this now, because the... Oh, the city gate's back. Rip. Alright, we do set it down. Uh, I think we'll take the warfare experience. CBH. And I think we take volunteers here. Actually, no, wait. I think we're supposed to wait until we get this, and then we activate volunteers. Oh, shoot. We're supposed to do the mill forever ago. I don't think the adjacencies matter, but we'll put it here just in case it does. bring them back here. That way they recover faster. Okay. We'll try and get these guys back safely. And then now that we've completed this, volunteers should give us a spear instead. And we could also upgrade both these guys to spearmen for some warfare XP. I think we'll be doing our cultural uh, our culture power is ready. So it's looking like we're gonna end up auto expanding into this anyways. I don't know what's over here, so I don't know if we want to make another town. So I guess we will do local reforms again. Which feels a little bit weird, but this maybe is the last time we try and push it pretty hard. And then here, claim territory, that doesn't seem too useful. That converts grapes or rice into wine, we don't have either. Temple is going to give us research, we care about that. And we have wool and cotton, so weaver would be nice. And press will give us experience from olives. I don't think we have olives. We do have wine up here, though. Look at that, we're just cranking out here. And then we'll upgrade both you guys. I mean, there's four per army now. But I think we maybe want to split up. In any case, we'll have this guy come back. What the fuck, man? Really? He could just take it like that? Which 
Surely we can just take it back then. Maybe we move this guy down. Maybe we look to vassalize these guys over here. That really sucks though, because we were close to integrating. I don't know, it's pain, man. Oh, and you have just a full thing, like, just coming back? God, that's stupid. Alright, well, we've discovered... Yeah, we're not gonna hit Age of Iron first. We've discovered... God, it sucks. We've discovered three landmarks, too. We wanted to try and do that, maybe. Alright. Be curious with the game for a bit. How's it gone? It's gone, it's gone a little rough, to be honest. I think we gotta try and seize our city back now, here, but... Luckily we didn't... Oh. Alright, so we vassalized that. But that's gonna reset our progress, huh? On integration? Yeah, it really resets our progress. That sucks. Alright. Like a warband, then. Oh, we didn't need to get that one. Shoot. I don't think we like that one. Race travel army. Now we can use that, but I don't think we wanted to. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh well. I think we can... Can we scout this out? Is that how this works? No. It has to be adjacent to an undiscovered landmark. It do be like that. I think we're gonna get the... Well, I think we're actually gonna go after these guys militarily. I think we are gonna need another regional level. And then, like, after that, let's go for the temple, maybe. We have the sawmills. We don't have another forester that we can make. We can do the clay pits, but I don't think we want to overall do... Oh, wait, we could do a saw pit. We'll turn up to three logs into the things. Let's build it there. So we can use a couple more logs to be honest. We actually need more housing to grow faster. So maybe we build dwelling. Does dwelling get obsoleted though? Hmm. Now we're at 200%, so we'll grow faster. Two turns to growth. You know what, maybe we go after all these guys militarily then. And yeah, maybe military is just super OP. Probably is. Alright, so we have warfare XP. We can't raise more guys, but... But... Alright, looks like he's vibing up there. I mean, we really can't uh, create a town, right? Yeah, we can't. We could spawn another settler. I think we want to integrate. Maybe we just save it for our... Yeah. I mean, I, I guess we're just going to keep local reforming for now. God, that feels so bad.
Alright, let's just end the turn again. I guess we're kind of we're holding off on... No, no, we don't want to do the farm. Let's do this. We wanted to do this. Get the cheaper farms first. That's exactly what we wanted. There's a reason. Plus 15 production on Phoenicia. I think we like that. I think we like that a lot. Faster temple here. Is there any special improvement for jungle tires? There's just lumber? I don't really know. I assume it's just lumber. Uh oh, someone claimed the guy near us. That's unfortunate. God, it sucks that they, they took our thing. We got the hoe farming though. These farms will just cost six. We would want to upgrade this. How do we upgrade it again? We're gonna need more of the bad stuff to upgrade the town. Oh shoot. Our scout got killed by the UK. Okay, so we can peacefully do that with our next culture thing. Maybe we're supposed to float the culture thing so that we could do that. It's possible. All right, let's go back. Let's research defenses real quick. Alright, so we're gonna want stuff that gives us production generally, I think. So let's check. We are getting unrest from Pops. Stores is quite a way ways away, but we... Actually, let's take a look here. Like, if we're expanding on the wood anytime soon, we'd rather get it that way. Oh, looks like we're expanding on the wood here pretty quick. So, maybe we don't need stores. Stores also seems a little inefficient. So let's maybe build crane and then a city guard to stay at home. Oh, we just get it there. Okay, cool. That's perfect. Because we can send, the saw pit can process three logs. So. Let's get to forest and baby. Which is going to give us timber, which is going to give us quite a bit of production here. We get violent rev. I think we want to save to integrate this, and then well, we could make another settler. I mean. We can also raise levies and just upgrade them. Praise be, we got the hose. Ho farming. Is this an RTS game? No, it's uh, turn based. It is turn based. I 
Are we gonna build a market? Probably not. Spawning an envoy might be worth something though. I think we just go for... Oh, to be honest, we kind of like plus four influence on all regions. Not gonna be useful yet though. Actually, one of these has a bakery, right? Oven, yeah, we gotta go for this. That'd be fantastic for us. And then... I think that we swap this out. We do this. I think we upgrade this guy to crossbow. And we switch out the one military guy. Larger mounds. Burial mound plus one improvement point. We're not using these currently right now. Let's just take the ducats. I don't know how good the improvement is going to be over the long term. I think that it's not going to be very good. Oh wait, our scout lived. Just kidding. They didn't accost us. Big nice. What is this? Deployed merchant, Germany? Mm -hmm. Six turns to integration. I think we go kings this time, maybe, instead of the play tall one. I know we only have one city currently, but... Oh, maybe we spawn the settler here. I think we're gonna have enough in for when it comes time. No, the freaking city got sacked before we could go after it, bro. These are assholes. That kind of ruins that. I guess we can do a Carthage thing over here, though. A little bit of a yikes. A little bit of a yikes, to be honest. I think we go over here and found a city right there. Right here. Well, this kind of changes our attitude towards doing the vassal thing. With them sacking the thing. I guess we could come up here and try and vassalize that, but... Kind of a little scuffed. Uh, if you haven't played Age of Empires, I would recommend Age of Empires 2, by the way. So now that we have hoes, we gotta get baked. No, 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 you can continue. You don't have to stop. <laughs> You're just saying what everyone's thinking. Alright, uh, I think that we peacefully rev here. And, well, actually, no, we kind of hated Kingdom when we took a closer look at it, to be honest. Because it was like, it was giving us a bunch of powers that we can use our domain on, but I think that we'd rather use the domain to actually expand out, so why don't we select this. And then... Farm improvements plus one food. Oh, baby. Yeah, okay, just kidding. We found our, we found our pride and joy. We're building super fucking tall today. Um, speaking of mound builders, can we do anything with this? Sanitation plus one region level? Okay, not really, not yet. These guys will just sit in the city, though. Now, meeting hall. I don't think we need the diplo. No diplomacy for us. Plaza. Arts seems super bad initially. I think we'll upgrade this. I 
wonder if we can... Do we have a better version of the house yet? I think there was a better version of the house. Than the dwelling. How long till we get this? Twenty-two out of thirty-six, so it's gonna be a hot minute. Dude, look at all that fish. <laughs> Didn't you want some fish? Hell yeah, we want some fish. Except we have a bunch of farming bonuses, so this actually makes the fish a lot worse. In terms of setting things up. Yeah, stupid Germans. Oh, hey, there's a goodie hut left. Germany declares hostilities. What? Alright, we'll send a guy over here. Two more turns till we can integrate that. Spawn merchant, diplo XP, or seize their trade maps. We haven't tried the merchant thing yet. Why don't we maybe spawn a merchant? Let's see how that works over here. Yeah. I think we like founding the city here. What? <laughs> All right, fair. It won't. <laughs> it doesn't get rid of the barb camp. Oh, we have to be probably next to the actual capital location. All right, whatever. I think we got one turn on integrating. So, I think we maybe go horses next, and then now we can make an oven. I think we'll make it here. I don't know if it matters. But we're getting plus 200% on the food, baby. Our growing is gimped or is slowed down by the lack of housing. We already have the dwelling. I feel like we can build a bigger dwelling. But now we could, should be able to integrate. Ah, but we don't have the... Cov XP, it's fair. Fair. Maybe, okay, these guys can actually come and take care of that for us. Hmm. Anxious Germans that get angry, where do I know this from, basically? Theoretical infinite range a single capital can have. Probably gonna uh, do a mega city run after the nitty gritty mechanics done. Yeah, I mean like, so the mound builders into Imperial Dynasty seems pretty strong, and we were planning on actually. Let's see if we can upgrade that now. We expand this town right, and now we can make it specialization farming town. So, it's going to make a bunch of extra food. Like, and the food is like plus 200%, but we what we could do is we could ship the bread elsewhere later.
So is that just wealth per turn? That's super dope if that's wealth per turn. I assume we need to keep good relations with them, but we have like open borders or whatever with them already. Also kind of want a palace. I think we'll incorporate first. Oh, we don't have... We need sanitation to keep growing. I guess we also need to get more wood to keep using the sawmills or whatever that at the pace we want. France warns us, yikes. So that might start giving us uh, a bit of a decay on the... Let's try and keep an eye on this every time we like integrate or do anything like that. I think we'll take the Warfare XP. And then we'll send this guy back down to here. And then with these guys, we can maybe make some cotton. Wait, it's under siege by, oh, by the, whatever. I think we want the work camp. I think we won't rush it. Hopefully Germany doesn't just dow us fully, but actually maybe we do want to rush this. It gives us production and engineering XP. I think we really like engineering XP. Does Crane also give us engineering XP? No, it doesn't. It just gives us improvement points. Well, the improvement points are great, but let's get... Let's get our town center and then council together here. They declared hostilities. Not nice. A little rude, if you ask me. I don't know if we can... Well, I guess this guy is French now, huh? So, we're not militarily incorporating anything, so maybe we bring these guys down to here. these guys over here oh wait what are we doing there's a goody hut with our name on it Carthage Let's check we got. Let's see Paul Allen's stream. Alright, let's get over here. We'll send this guy back to get that. I think we aren't really going to be able to make good use of smelting, but smelting is a little tempting. I think we go scribes. 
I don't think we want to come back for an earlier attack. So let's go scribes. If this guy stays here, I think we just clap him, right? Something like that. We have a ton of warfare XP. We can use it for volunteers, but we'll have to pay their maintenance. Man, actually, we need sanitation. Oh, but burial mounds generates the sanitation. We're kind of not sure. We really like the burial mounds. Maybe this is good if we want to go really, really tall. I think we want prairie people, though. We're hoping that we get this to expand into the wheat sometime soon. Alright, you're asking for it. Definitely got XP. Let's go. Can't quite integrate this. We can construct a palace. It's tempting to put it not in the capital, but I think we just put it in Phoenicia here. So now I think we maybe create a town. Maybe not. Maybe we create a town over here for Cathargo. Let's see, what are the types of towns we can, specializations we can do? Lumber, mining, mining coastal. So this would be a really nice place for a, my, a lumber town, right? And we could do that here from Phoenicia. Do a lumber town. I don't know if I like that. I think either way we're forced during here. Because we needed one more lumber to do the things. Actually, can we research something that gives us... More housing? Hmm. Culture power is ready. The thing is we can make a Phoenician one here though, but then we're kind of just saying bah humbug to Carthage's potential expansion. And Carthage can make a town down there too, but not yet, they can't. Cathargo. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Could make a town near these guys. I mean, we definitely want to make towns. We could make one towards the mountain and just hope that it's decent. God, that seems... Or wait, wait, wait. What are our specializations? Lumbertown. Coastal town for boating improvement. What's a boating improvement? I mean, we could make a port town here next to Cathargo, and maybe that'll be pretty good. Okay. Let 
We can get extra influence. I don't think we need the influence because we got our third level Chop Chop and Fire Earth. Oh, that's a sweet recommendation too. So how's the game? Mixed reviews already on Steam, Generalist Gaming? I'm really enjoying it. Um, some of the people were saying that the game falls off after the fifth age or whatever, which this might be the case. But every single one of these runs feels a lot different, but maybe we're just still in the learning curve. Uh, it seems like there's like replayability and some strategy to this. Um, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I think it's also too early for me to like give a strong evaluation. The game's been out like six hours, and I was not one of the people who got early access to it, so it's a bit difficult for me to give uh, like a super strong opinion on it. Hmm. Let's start picking up some of these. Let's go meeting hall. And how much gold do we have? We have 300 gold. So, we could rush this. Yeah, let's rush that. Uh, give us a little bit more tech speed, and then we'll work towards a crane, I guess? Or was meeting hall give again? No, yeah, we'll, let's do a crane. So now we're getting a little bit more research and culture in GovXP. Apparently multiplayer is not working. Yeah. Looks like fun. I, yeah, I'm having a, I'm super enjoying this. Looks like Germany is just across the river, huh? Thanks. This, ooh, we are one thing away from being able to get the next mountain builder thing. one region level. I don't think we're region capped yet. We're four turns from integrating Cathargo. So kind of don't want to do a settler, even if we could. And once we integrate, we're probably going to have some problems. So maybe we even let's try and get ahead of that with city guard and then, or actually a watch from us here. And then we'll move the city guard here to Cathargo. This guy will go all the way. I think you're ready to... No, wait, you're not. Ah, this is what... That sh should help us expand. We're hoping that this gets picked up by Abdera sometime soon, so we can buy some improvements on it. Although we could just go for the plantation, but we have half price on the... on the grain. We can also export the grain, so maybe we want to take a look at some of this tech. And we come back for officials next. Two turns on the integration here. Okay, fair enough. Looks like we're about done with scouting that area. Would you say you generally like 4x games at launch? I have no idea. My sample size on that is super small. I, I couldn't tell you. That's a good question though. Are 4x games usually good at launch? As a historian, looks thematic. Interesting. When you say historian, and what do you teach history? Do you do research? GM? Or JM, sorry.
Oh yeah, let's just do this. We should have done that. We could get Carthage a little bit later in the integration. It's fine. Engineering XP. We'll take Engineering XP and Chaos here. We need five burial mounds to do that. No. All right. Town thing that generates. All right. What is it? What exactly does this burial mound give us at this point? It's twelve. just gives us culture and then it also gives us sanitation later bro that seems like not it we need housing here I mean I guess we have enough mm. I'm pretty sure we want to do that thing so uh, all right, we're gonna build one here And we're gonna get something that makes it a little bit better. Sanitation. And now we are super hitting our sanitation requirements. Still need more housing. I feel like we're I, I'm starting to feel like we're behind again man we could recall this guy to Phoenicia I don't think that's worth though 38 to integrate sure Yes, military uh, historian, RMC is your degree. Lifelong learning after that. Very nice. And later, national security, IT consultant at Homeland Security. Bro, that sounds... Yeah, that does sound fascinating. Exactly. Sounds pog. Let's do this for a little bit more construction. We're getting a decent construction speed here, though, out of the capital now. I think... That's really pulling the weight of Imperial Dynasty. Plus one production on the palace for every two population in the region, and we have like 13 pop here. I guess we can build more housing. I just thought I remembered dwellings giving more pops. We can make a dwelling up here. And then now we're we're hitting the, the growth at a much better rate. Didn't they declare on us? Dude, F your scout, bro. I'm gonna scout a little to the right. I 
think we'll send this guy back to Enhara. Get scribes. Which we could probably make pretty quick use of, to be honest. I guess we go Age of Kings, maybe? I love Holstery too, to be honest. Everyone loves Holstery a bit. No, that does sound like a sweet resume, though. More effective at T-34 or at M-4 Sherman. <laughs> T-34. <laughs> I know if we dow someone, it's gonna make them dislike us. Well, obviously dislike us, but I think it's a little bit... a little bit more than that. I think we'll make this a port town immediately and change it to coastal town. And then... We can do the hunting camp to come on up, but I think we just save for the fishing boats. And then for these, we do want them to get this kind of ASAP. Or maybe we want the work camp into that. Let's see how Phoenicia is holding up on this front. Alright, we're losing a little bit of unrest because capital buildings. Nice, okay. So we should be gaining unrest there, but once we garrison the guy there, we'll be fine. Are those new city tiles in a grid? They're in the hexagonal. Are you talking about this? There's a bit of grin. I was arguing with a US soldier a few years ago that he was bragging about the flexibility of the M34. I do not know my tank floor, as well as you guys. Oh, but we can order our pizza now. Hell yeah, brother. What should we... I could put something on. I could put the knowledge guy on for you guys while I order pizza. Let's have a think here what we're supposed to do. Oh, Nemke. Oh, wait. Nemke raided out a while ago. Whoops. I didn't see it. There's no audio notification when someone raids me. Big thanks to Nemke if you're still here. But you're probably tired from your stream, so you're probably not here. So, the truth hurts. Um, I guess we could play the, the trailer for the game. While I order my pizza. This isn't terrible, huh? So... History can go in a lot of different directions. It's all about this fight for history and who can control it. The ability for us to kind of push boundaries outside of what actually happened. In a way that hasn't been done in other 4 games. What if we have alien visitors? How is that going to affect history? The ability to take it off the rails. What if steam power was viable for real technologies? Balloons and zeppelins and... Steampunk. We would have to fight off yet. this evil rogue AI. I think a history buff could get excited about a history the buff. takes on history. Ah, ah, ah. One of the main things that sets millennia off are the variant ages, which changes how the timeline goes every time you play. You could go into a crisis age, like the Age of Blood, and immediately see impact all across the map. We are showing so much at any given time in a much stronger way than other games tend to do. 
We also have our deep economic model with the goods. You can cut that tree down and make logs, but you could also take that tree and turn it into paper, which can be used to make books and religious texts. It always feels like there's something new going on in Millennia. It's been really rewarding to see players get into ages for the first time. When we hear somebody talking about their experience in the game. I got into the age of revolutions and all these rebels appeared out of nowhere. And that's exactly what we're trying to build. We bring in experience and knowledge of how to create great games. The only way that we know how to build games is to build games that we love to play. Each game will be unique. It makes replays a lot of fun. It's not infinitely replayable, but I did the math, and it's a really high number. <laughs> Players are defining the ages. They're shaping the course of history. That's a, that's, that's the thing I notice like most is that it seems like it seems pretty strongly replayable, to be honest. Move. Let's play another one. Story. As the world is shrouded in uncertainty, the next chapter is yet to unfold. Are we to witness the age of kings? Will we be haunted by plague? Thank you guys who donated for the piece of fun. Towards Utopia. Much appreciated. The narrative is yours to claim. Check that I'm not doxing my credit card. I am not. As the world is shrouded in uncertainty, the next chapter is yet to unfold. Are we to witness the age of kings? Will we be haunted by plague? Or shall we soar towards utopia? The narrative is yours to claim. Apologies, guys. It's taking me a little bit longer than normal. Let's make sure that we... Uncertainty. The next chapter is yet to unfold. Are we to witness the age of kings? Will we be haunted by plague? Or shall we soar towards utopia? Oh my god, I fucking import my credit card. The narrative around. is yours to claim. I almost always scuff it at least once. I forgot to change the type of credit card. Rip the dream. Alright. Pizza. Ordered. You know what else we could use? Knowledge. <laughs> God, the guy's annoying. <sighs> Let's get back in the game. Layout is gridded, yeah. Did Paradox partner with you on this game? No, I didn't get early access or anything. I bought the game. I work in anti-fraud. Please don't dox yourself. I think I succeeded in not doxing myself. So you're saying you work in anti-fraud? So that means I can send I could send my information to you, right? And that'd be okay? Oh, we're at the pop limit here. So actually, we want a grant array. But also, we want a town here. That's rough. We're far away on the culture front. Uh, 
Venetia has all the all the stuff we need. I think we go library. To be fair, maybe we actually want to do a little bit of uh, building of some of this stuff. Probably good for a Cathargo because Cathargo can actually grow. Knowledge. Hey, the Roxy, how's it going? Don't send your information to anyone, especially through not, but not even you. You snaked what we wanted. You took everything from me. guy want to dex on us we will make sure that we can uh, get his army down before a little whittling it down the process I think that we maybe next city is gonna be over here maybe we're not that close to the next city I think but God, we need five burial mounds. Is that all they give is just the two culture, man? And uh, the sanitation? We really need a town attached here. I guess we maybe put it here, though. If we don't want to make a city over here. Honest to God, every time one of you guys posts knowledge or some permutation making fun of Ty Lopez, my heart grows one size, one bigger. When's the next Korea video coming out? I think I'm going to... So I think tonight I'm going to... Oh, tonight's Tuesday. It's Tuesday? Yeah, so I think probably tonight, uh, after I'm done streaming. So like, six, five, six hours. God, we have so much Warfare XP. Let's actually put up volunteers here in case we're going to have to fight sooner here than we maybe would like. Imperial Dynasty, what can we do? Palace gives one region level, but we're not capped here by region. Region level is already big enough that we can keep growing. We have more than enough food. Let's actually not just run into... Yeah, that's a good way to kill our guy. What is this about? Okay. Interesting. So we do grow a little bit there. Not sure we have the grapes thing. It looks like we don't. But you know what? We can make even more and more housing. I just feel like there's a. I thought there was a better housing thing that we could make. Maybe it's the next age we get the better housing? looking to mix it up with these guys. Knowledge. How's the game so far? The game is, we're enjoying it uh, quite a bit, but it does seem to be a bit of a mixed bag. A lot of people, uh, are, I've heard that people say that it kind of falls off after the first, like, five eras, which, like, bro, like, there's not enough time for someone to have played to, like, era six, seven, multiple times. So I don't know what that's about. I think people are kind of stinking on it because it looks visually very unimpressive, which I think it, it is. 
But so far, like, every one of our runs that we've started, we've started three runs, they all feel quite a bit different and fun, and uh, we're, we're teasing it out. What do you think about the games? Yeah, so the... I, I'm really excited that this game might be hyper-replayable. I think we'll probably get to run back. So let's, uh, let's bring these guys across here. But yeah, there might be a fine enough spot for a city, to be honest. And we can make, right here, a mining village. So. Knowledge. But we know somewhere over here is a barb camp since the barb ran up. Oh, uh, we can snuff these guys out. I think I like that. Wow, that didn't kill him? Can we rush this? No, not yet. We're gaining a lot of gold a turn, though, which is different than our other run. What's Venetia even working on? Okay, we just finished. Let's just produce a little bit of that, or like one turn of it, I guess. not that close to Age of Kings. I guess we're just gonna... It feels so bad, because I think there is a thing that's better than housing, but... Not sure where we're supposed to send this scout. I guess maybe up and to the left a little bit more. Actually, I think he can embark. Let's send him to Cathargo. Maybe we can scout around on the ocean. We can spawn a settler. Maybe he can escort the settler. But you know what? I think we'll want these guys to escort the settler, so why don't we send those guys over? What an actual, like... Settler. It might be only replayable until the meta is clear. Yeah, this is kind of why I'm trying to I'm trying to give this too early to tell type of answer, you know what I mean? Because I, I think it really might be too early to tell, so... We'll upgrade that to the monument. And now we actually have a ton of these points to work with. So I think we're going to actually go for another Cahokia mound. God, they just seem super underwhelming. I kind of, like, hate this part where, like, in order to get the max out of mound builders. Increase all region levels. Oh, it's all region levels? Oh, my God. I feel stupid. This place could have been growing this whole time. Um, we're close to being able to rush it. Yeah, but I think we I think we put down the stuff. We just plantation both of these. We can't farm the grapes, can we? The farm just makes wheat instead. Yeah. And then can we make a weaver? I think we can make a weaver. Where it's two wool and a cloth. So we can we have two to convert, so we can convert two. And this cloth is gonna generate a lot more wealth, so we will be able to buy stuff easier. Yeah, 
Yeah, replayability is a big problem for Vic 3. Yeah, I 100% think the system of Vic 3 is super cool, but the replayability is just terrible. Actually, if we want you to grow, yeah, maybe we do want more of those mounds. Hold the phone. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get more mounds and we're gonna get more housing. Or at least more another mound for the sanitation. We're sorry we badmouthed you earlier. Still kind of think they're terrible, but... So now we have a higher sanitation thing. So let's go back to this. Let's send the scout where we wanted to. And then let's send you guys out this way. Maybe here's the spot for the city, and then we could have a mine town there. Yeah, I think we already said that. Yes, finally. Been waiting for that so that we could add farms or add a farm here. This girl get a pretty good clip. Okay, maybe this runs. Maybe this runs the run. I guess. Found a pioneer, couldn't afford it, now at post halfway across the world, big oof. Or based. Did you check the other text? You might not have researched it. We can come back. I think we want to finish Age of Kings. Oh, what are we, yeah. I don't think it was in construction. It's not in here. It's not in bribe, it's not in mining. No, I think it I think it's just in Age of Kings we maybe get the next level of housing. I think we gotta wait to embark. Maybe we come to here so it's a little bit more straightforward. Oh, and we get the fish now and the Carthago. Bro, everything's coming together. I think we'll swap to doing this again. So now we're getting to... And they're gonna give five food. Oh, I think it's a little bit less food than the demo. The demo was insane amounts. Alright, can we... Oh, we don't have shipbuilding or anything like that. Yeah. Alright, miss. Let's see if we can find uh, where the thing is. Ugh, we don't like that town, really. Truly. Not a fan. Um, I guess we'd probably be town this way on our culture, our next culture thing. Thargo. I think we go for a council or town center. Let's go town center first. Oh, we could rush this. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's rush the. Or we, do we not need the level anymore? Hmm. Let's just rush it and then go temple? Maybe we actually just want to have some palisades down here. Let's create a town. We can create a town adjacent to there, but I don't think we want to do that. I think we want to create a town here. All 
I wish we had more foresters, because if we if we pull back the lumber production, that will like. Hmm. I think we need, just need to wait to the next age to spend some of our stuff. I think we don't need as much of this though. And then come back here and. We'll be able to food up really fast there. I thought I saw Barb come from here. I don't know where the Barb camp is, though. Let's go looking for some more Germans. Your streaming standable is commendable. Thank you so very much. I did want to kind of do a long one because the release is today. Hunter start. The Hunter Spear essentially lets you ignore food info for 75% of the game. Interesting. Is the game difficult or difficulty? I don't think it's too... I, th I mean, I think it's like so hard to tell because we like... <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing, right? Oh, things that provide housing give one additional housing? Let's go. It's gonna help us out on this. Bro, do we build another mound? We just have so much food here. We could probably even export the food somewhere else, to be honest. Once we get that export infrastructure up. I'm just gonna fortify these guys there. I think that that's probably the way to go. Just looking for any type of roaming band that they have, but... It may be the case that we have to fight them. Phoenicia is idle. It's got a lot of construction. Let's see, Plaza would give us arts. I think we're okay doing this into... This, maybe. Actually, maybe... Maybe we want to turn to this. Get the Kogi amount and something else, maybe. back in. Let's build a plaza. Let's build a burial mound. So now we are getting extra extra. Kind of cruising around looking for stuff. I suppose with these guys we could go out searching a little bit more. Kind of leaving Anhara a bit unprotected, and if I recall correctly, this is actually going to cause... Yeah, yeah, there's there's the problem there. So we'll bring these guys back. We'll park them in the, in the city. But since we have unrest here... Let's see, we just... Com or we... Alright. Rush that for 11. And then watch, can we rush that? Let's work on the watch. Population of at least 16 want the luxuries. Yikes. We don't have that many. Can't rush it yet. We'll be checking back probably pretty frequently. I guess we're gonna have a lot of chaos because we have people kind of rebelling. I'm gonna send these guys way back. News from abroad. UK and France are at war. It's good for us. Because France was a little belligerent. Capitals require half as much food per pop. Is a vibe. But we're already at plus 200% food, so this isn't gonna be a thing until we can export some stuff. 
Wow, they're really just coming out. All right, they declared war. So. We're not gonna rush that now, that the situation's changed. situation has changed. Could build a port out there. I think we're going to save our stuff. We already have a weaver. We could make a wine press. I think we need multiple wine bread to be super useful. try and get more research. We're gonna be the first in an Age of Kings. Public quarter is 15 housing? Yeah, I think that this is the what, what the thing that we want. I think that this gives us more housing. We should actually be able to put down the rebelliousness here pretty quick. I think we, considering the new war situation, we maybe, ooh, yikes, that's forever to research that stuff. Okay, uh, let's research this shipbuilding. Next. And we're the first one, hey! Okay, so. We have choices. This comes from the gasoline. 100% pure gas. We're running out of gas, though. Okay. Let's take a look at each of these, actually. I think we're gonna do machinery, but... Explorers. Spawn Explorer. Barbarians will no longer be hostile. Wild. Unlocks Nar. Increased chance for explorers to succeed on expeditions. Hmm. Oh, we can explore landmarks, I forgot. Spice merchants. Caravasane. Machinery. So, we actually don't have a lot of iron and coal set up, so maybe machinery, even though we really wanted to do machinery last time, maybe it's no good this time. What does chivalry do? Spawns two peasants at each of your vassals. Tapestry weaver. Vassal population. We don't have any vassals. Tavern. Spawn settler in one night. That doesn't seem very good. Theologians. Unlocks monastery. Faith from religious texts. Bro, are we like, <laughs> are we supposed to go a military one? We could go Crusaders, which we didn't want to go before. <sighs> I mean, I kind of low-key still don't want to go this. I'm liking Samurai, don't hate this. Bonus damage when paired with a Shogun. Extra from Suppression. Unlocks mm -hmm. Knight of the Order. I guess we should maybe be... Yeah, this is just Social Fabric XP or whatever. So maybe we just pick something for the Social Fabric experience. I don't know, I, d I don't find these super, super exciting. 
When did you play Spain's playthrough of Victoria 3? Did you start in 1836? I can only find one playthrough through the 1890s, thanks to journalists. Um, we started in 1836. Uh, that's the only date you can start at. We have one on stream. That's probably a little bit ambiguous, which one we're talking about, but... Is this City Skylines 3? Pog. Call banners, unlocks tavern. Tapestry Weaver. Well, we have cloth. Two peasants. But we don't have... We don't have any vassals, that seems bad. We could do theologians. I mean, honestly, theologians seems best right now. And that gives luxuries. Faith based on religious texts. We have a decent amount of wood. Or are we supposed to just go theologians? Alright, the pizza's here. Big excite. Alright, so maybe we take a vote. Maybe it's spice merchants, actually. Wealth, border vision, caravan guard. We get spice. Merchant says settlers can convert one to the other. I don't know. RP would be spice merchants or theologians. Facts. So maybe it's going to be between spice merchants and... Th well, I think it's actually kind of just spice merchants, theologians, and explorers. But maybe we... Yeah... We could just say, hey, we're probably going to get iron eventually. But maybe we do between... Sp well, RP is almost 100% spice merchants. But let's, uh... Let's start a poll. What do? Polls on the YouTubes. Spice merchant or theologian. Theologian. The pizza's here, so we do. We we are gonna grab it. Show pizza, please. We will show pizza. Zero roasted toast with the right questions. Show pizza. Monasteries can only built be built on outposts on hills. Very niche. Oh, interesting. Seven hours and general's head is still as shiny as ever. Uh, we will link the uh, the YouTube though for the Twitch viewers if they wanted to go over and vote. There's a, some of you. We will be showing pizza as well. We got three pizzas. We're gonna have a ton of leftovers. Because we can't eat three pizzas. I mean, we can, but we're not going to. Actually, I'm gonna use the restroom here too. But, why don't I let you guys look at the spice merchants while I use the restroom. So yeah, I think it's spice merchants, theologians. I'm not sure what's best. back in the room, but not in our chair. It do be like that sometimes. Ah. Make room for the... We are going to show pizza, though. 
definitely show pizza. Let's see how the poll's going. Let's see Paul Allen's. No, we wait. Okay. Spice Merchant, everyone's saying. Okay. How many pizzas can we eat in one go? It depends on the size of the pizza. Like, if they're big, too. Like, if they're really big, like, extra larges or whatever. If they're, like, Domino's larges, I don't know, three or four. All right, let's, let's save the cheesy bread for last. All right. So first pizza to show is bacon and pineapple. Very nice the next day as breakfast. The breakfast of champions, if you will. Bacon and pineapple. So that's, but it's super fucking hot, so we can't actually even do it. So let's go Spice Merchants then. We will select. And this means we need a lot of the Diplo, which we had not been building up. To be fair, the Diplo seems pretty, pretty mid, so... This will allow us to do... Defensive Unit Caravan Guard. Curva, sorry. Is it an improvement? And plus five wealth. And border vision. Hmm. I guess we'll want to reveal the spice and then play from there, I think. So let's end the turn. Re regular sauce or barbecue on the pineapple pizza? Regular. I think I like barbecue a lot more once we have jalapenos on the thing. Okay. Clan of dru druids. Oh no. Minus food? Yikes, from that for several turns. That's going to be bad for Phoenicia. Well, they're putting down the Rebellion over here. I was really hoping they'd ex attack here, but it looks like they don't feel that. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, we could recruit a Knight now. Attack 27, 21. Maybe we do this, where, like, the context has changed. The crossbowman should help out quite a bit, though. Okay, so we got that. We may actually want stone walls. This is possible. I think we want arts, though. This stuff takes forever to research. Well, maybe we just want pro army. Trying to see where they're going here. Wow. Are we screwed, guys? We get plus that on the thing, or some wealth. Plus culture. I'm not sure which one's better here, guys. I feel like we will be able to buy troops. Plus one culture permanently seems pretty good, though. But aren't we getting culture from the mounds? Making an additional culture maybe a little less valuable than otherwise would be? Yeah, when they're getting worked. Let's take the money, just in our time of uncertainty. Since they're coming after the capital, maybe we rush this with the money. I feel like we normally can shoot at them. Do we not have the shooting at them tech?
Got 80 power there, though, with the knight. Oh my god, they took Phoenicia? No way, dude. That sucks so hard, dude. That's like half our pops are gone out of there, too. I guess these guys will be cheaper to integrate, maybe, when we have less cities. One extra knowledge for everyone in the doesn't matter. Maybe this city, this tech goes pretty well. Look out, building, not the tech. It's got it. Okay. runs 50% oh my god I think this run might just be dead huh we just get dicked is it Jover guys god that sucks this was felt like it was going so good Dara's gonna rev too. We have no like or we still have a decent gold income I suppose, but the entire like power base of what we were doing here, let's just rush this, was like based off of Phoenicia being huge, and now it's super small. It's gonna take forever for that to get bigger again. I also don't even think we can retake it. We should have watched that battle. I don't know how they clapped us so hard. Uh, this is struggle bus, guys. After the run. That's what I would do, but I don't stream. Yeah. People like continuity. People, I think, generally don't like restarts. But people also don't like the streamer being sad. And I'm sad right now. <laughs> also, we're learning every time, but yeah, that was rough. I don't know. I think... Well, yeah, this run just feels super dead without the capital. We don't have a way to retake it. We could piece them out and just limp through the rest of the game, but I think we're not going to do that. I won't give you guys the opportunity to... to vote that we continue. <laughs> Alright, let's do large again. Let's have a bit of a think. What a tragic time to come to the stream. It's actually a great time because you get to see from the beginning. You enjoy watching me play? Great to watch. I don't care if you're starting, especially on launch day. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> we're not good at very good. Do we like the prod?
The influence was pretty nice that last one. Our vassals have just sucked the entire time. Like, they haven't built up, like, much pop or constructed anything whatsoever. I don't know, what do you guys think? Influence or production? What are we think what are we feeling, you guys? Time for pizza number two as well. They always use really hot jalapenos at this pizza place. Never mild jalapeno. I think they try to make the you suffer for ordering jalapenos because they don't like slicing them, so they always put a ton on it. Little do they know, we like the jalapenos. There is the jalapeno and sausage. Have I tried Homeland Culture? Culture? We did uh, early on, but I felt that I didn't. I didn't like it as much. Prod says pickles. All right, that's enough. It was good enough for me. Pickles paid in the pizza fund. And the demo merchant spam on vassals was pretty successful. You just get a bunch of money. Makes sense. Here, let's... Oh, that's the stuff. That's the hop. Okay. I think we don't like to start. But if we have one wood tile, that's maybe not too bad. I think we, I think we re this. We'll make sure there's Carthage in Rome. If we could ever get a nice themey timeline. We'll definitely make it large. I think that eight is eight people seems too too much. We could also lower the difficulty, but I don't think. Prod over influence. Prod is usually the top thing. Yeah, usually. But early on, us not being able to build stuff is like frustrating. I think we'll at least take a little bit of a look. I think this is a re though. Yeah, prod like leaves into everything else. But the thing is, is like, if we get resources we can build onto faster, like the influence felt really good last time. Because it allowed us to, um, the influence allowed us to work tiles faster, and we didn't have to build influence stuff, but... Prod also seems reasonable. Starting tip, getting a free scout is the best starting bonus. This allows us to skip scouting tech entirely if needed. That's fair. Could also drop player number. I think we'd rather have a bigger map than drop the player number. But we could do Scout. As suggested by Bruno. I think we're gonna go Prod, but... Because a lot of people like Prod, but... Scout is the type of thing that usually doesn't feel very good to do, but is actually, like, the correct thing. It's like League of Legends. I remember early seasons of League of Legends. Nobody wanted to start Boots, but Boots, Boots, three pots was just the most OP start, but people didn't like buying the movement speed stat. Um... 
Oh, we didn't set the map to large. We got a fish start, though. I think we read because we didn't set it to large. That's my bad, guys. That's on me. That's on me. Believe me, the scout is perfect. Hmm. Should we believe him, chat? <clears throat> God, the spice merch, the shame of our run. Do we believe him? Is Scout the OP start? With our each having less than... What is it? Uh, all of us together having like <laughs> single digit play hours. Rushing regional forms with 50% more culture at Game Start is probably the strongest opener I've seen, but there's plenty of the strong choices. Uh, regional prod is solid for sure. It says Pop Lop. Yeah, so I low-key, I, it sounds, I don't know, I think that this might be the, well, I like playing for late game, I think prod's the best in the late game build tall, build sprawly type of way, because regional is for each city, so we would be building wide with prod, um, if we wanted to build tall, I think the culture one's better, or maybe even the scout one. Chat believes him with six votes. That's not a lot of votes. I almost always go for prod in these scenarios, but also it doesn't tell you an amount of prod. I wonder if it scales. If it scales, that's a different thing, right? The point is, both the, uh, the culture and the scout are about having a really strong start. Now it's 50-50, believe him. Jesus. One of you says no. I think I'm going to flip a coin. Alright. The best part about flipping a coin is you guys can't possibly see the coin, so I can just do whatever I want. I will trust the coin, though. Heads, we believe them. Tails, we do prod. It was tails. We're going to do prod. <clears throat> I apologize, Bruno. You've been banished to the, the coin flip realm. The point of scout allows you to get resources faster, goody huts, find man landmarks, scouting text. Yeah, no, I, I agree you. But now the coin is spoken. We've also done a different start each time. I forget which one what we did the first time. Maybe we stick with this next one no matter what. Let's get this flag out of there. Let's get the Roman one in. What are the Discord choices again? They'd probably be the best late game. Like Settler, Merchant. No need to apologize, it's your game, bro. Yeah. I think we go workers first. And we go for foresters. And then it looks like these are all five around. And we could do the forester bonus place. Yeah, this seems good enough.
think we'll go for the town center because we don't need. Oh, we also have the limestone right here. Mm hmm. Or it's marble, actually, rather. I think it's playable now. I think we go workers first. Actually, let's go scouting first. And we're close to a coast? Okay. This isn't ideal, but... I think it's doable. Let's go out a couple turns. Alright, so... <clears throat> I think we're gonna go scouting in the military, maybe, actually. Just go for a quick grab on one of these guys. Maybe it's good. Let's do tribal power. Let's go. Hmm. I mean, that seems better the earlier in the game that you are. Oh, son of a bitch, dude. I keep forgetting it doesn't actually spawn them. It just lets you spawn them. Bro. I feel washed as hell. Uh, let's do local reforms. I think we go war for XP. I think we don't want to tangle this guy just yet. Let's go defenses. out a little bit. I think we're gonna want the wood thing. Let's go dolmen. The the bonus is also like helping us out for the the culture thing. Should be helping us out on back. Getting more construction faster. This is a good strat uh, to have said preemptively you'd commit to it all. How did the guy get so good at Vinky 3? Incredible. I eat my vegetables. We're about ready to show off third pizza though. I think we just fortify this guy up and let him take him out. Get a little bit of XP. Let's bring this guy back to the capital. Let's bring this guy back as well. And... We're gonna get the improvement points. Because I'd like to get two foresters, like, kind of quickly. Okay, this guy's not winning. We thought our scout could take him. He cannot. It's Jover for that guy. Alright, there's our army. And now we don't need the workers as early. We definitely don't need that. Let's go tribal elders. Although I think eventually we want to go workers. Third pizza time. Oh. Now the third pizza is not actually pizza. It's garlic bread, except the garlic bread's pizza. 
They say they're not pizza, but they're pizza, guys. It's a lie. It's the exact same crust, it's the exact same dough, but instead of a marinara base, it's like a butter base, and they have like these garlic, garlic dust they put on top. You all know what I'm talking about. And here we have chicken and, or garlic chicken, for extra, extra garlicky, and bacon. Woo! No improvement, we do a naturalist. Oh, is naturalist going no improvement? I was thinking this would be super pog for the adjacencies for the wood. So we'll just wait. And we'll try and take one of these guys by force early on. What if we go Archer? It's gonna get expensive, but... Also glad we're going Tribal Elders, like, within this context. Naturalist buff unimproved tiles. Hmm. That's the one we were thinking of going. Maybe we go look out now. Actually, I mean, if there's a time for the building scouts to be good, it's got to be right now. We really don't know a lot of what our surroundings look like. Let's go down into the right. Nice. Goody hut. So we can go Bronze Age. Just the plus eight improvement points. I don't think we need that quite yet. Oh, you're asking because we hadn't done this yet. I think we're going to go Foresters. Hopefully this goes okay. Had to dip for some work calls. Did we restart? Yeah, we, we lost our capital. In terms of uh, starts, things requiring a restart, that seems pretty high. Please stop hitting that guy. Alright, hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> This feels scuffed already. I know I said hear me out, but I think I think I might have been wrong, guys. 
Another goodie hut, though. A lot of gov XP is pretty nice. Let's just try to avoid fighting. Yikes. I'm not gonna do our first settler yet. <laughs> Believe what? What's this poll about? Fair. Let's end that poll. That was whether or not we trusted someone who was saying that we should be really going scouts. We also have marinara dipping sauce for our marinara less pizza. This is not going so hot, guys. I wonder if we're supposed to count attack with... We'll wait one turn, I think. Well, maybe we're just supposed to attack... Actually, we'll attack both in the same turn. This guy's gonna get yikes out. Yeah, he's dead. That's unfortunate. That dude is dead as hell. This guy's not. We might be going to a corner with him. That's a lot of fishing. Tarkus is back. Let's go. Have you called your streamer one time yet? No, we haven't. We haven't called her one time. What traditional Carthaginian food are we eating today? We are eating a Carthaginian flat flatbread with Carthaginian poultry and Carthaginian cloven animal stuff. Pizza is a cover up for the real food. That's right. Another restart? Yeah, we read again. We're just. We went military hard at the start here. So no more nice generalist. We're doing mill only. Oh, this is fantastic if... Oh, they don't kill a single one. We got the good luck this time. We got the good luck, poggers. This dough is undercooked. <laughs> Alright. Alright. There's our opener, guys. There's our opener. Not a single guy lost. We have two troops. And we're going Age of Bronze. I think we gotta, like, thread the needle with this guy. This guy's super dead, so we'll just keep running. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way we're getting him out now. Try and <clears throat> get back over this way. All right, we're idle. Could use a lookout, or we could just build more mill, or another scout. We're about to lose a scout. This prod is too much for us, really. We also don't have enough food. Actually, is a bigger problem. Okay, um... We don't have farming, so we can't pick that up. Yikes. Yeah, Phoenicia is not in a good place right now. The capital is not in the good place. You're surprised they make it hard to survive? This is a bit of a surprise too, for me too. 
I think we spawn a settler. Oh, we should have gone for the plus food in the capital forever ago. Jesus. That actually makes more sense. So now, I think we, as painful as it is, I think we go discipline first. And then we come back for some of these techs. And then here, we were thinking that wild hunters would be our thing. Or naturalists. Let's see what this gives us. Housing gives food. Elephant appears. Plus two food for meat. I don't think that's it. I don't think that's the vibe. We have one hunting there. I think the vibe is wood, right? So let's see what the naturalist gives you. Plus food from forging from unimproved tiles. Okay, this is what we were talking about. Forge people. Forging? It seems kind of hot. I mean, let's zoom out a little. We don't really have... I mean, we have marble here, but we don't really have that much of that stuff. It doesn't look like we're going to get on the coast anytime soon. I mean, we could run back mound builders, but I kind of hated the burial mound improvement and the fact that we needed that. Here we only have to build housing improvements, which seems like we'll, something we'll be build anyways. Hold the phone. Plus one warfare XP per combat unit. We need a raider band for the other one. Warriors, we need five Spartans. This is a culture power. I think I like naturalists here. Going for the plus food from forging on improved tiles. Naturalists, let's go, says Bruno. All right. You've convinced me. Pro tip, wait, raiders let you win the game instantly. Too bad, we already selected naturalists. Hop in. <clears throat> Which, now I regret not producing one of the tower buildings earlier. He's gonna oof himself, yeah. Homeboy oofed himself. Alright, so now we go to the next one. For Gov, now we can spawn a settler. We do it here. Not sure where we're gonna build it. But these guys... We're gonna be going for these guys down here. I wish we had more warfare XP, to be honest. Culture is ready. We could build an outpost next to Suzadal. I think we do local reforms at least one more time. Yeah, the Forester is nice. Do we want another Forester? No, because they need to work the food tiles anyways. Yeah. Just feels so awful. Did our guy get killed over here? He did. Maybe we just save instead of tempting fate. 
We might do a little bit of a save scummy scummy, but we're gonna try and get a guy down. It's good to not go raiders, they're too broken and fun. You just win if you take raiders. You have more attack and defense than any unit until crossbows. They have 40 movement, which becomes 50 later, and they have a line of sight that's scout cavalry. They fulfill every niche by themselves. Oh, that seems stupid as hell. Yeah, we're not about that. I'm thinking we, we do Carthage over here. Somewhere. Not sure where. Cathargo. Time for another slice, though. Bro, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten at all today. Zero food. Until the pizza arrived. I mean, until the Carthaginian dishes arrived. Um, is this an insane spot? I think we want to get to the fish, so. How far are we off discipline? We're going to wait for discipline. Where do these guys clap these guys, though? That's a bit of a bummer that there's, like, an auto-win one, though. <laughs> Alright, so now we have a few more options. I think we go the prod thing. And the lookout will give us some exploration XP. Which will be nice. We have warfare XP, but we're going to be using that for upgrading our troops once discipline finishes. Nice, we expanded on everywhere but we, where we wanted to. Terrible, this guy will not be able to... Unless we just found the city here. God, that feels bad. I will run away. Maybe we send this guy back. We just want to make sure that we have enough juice to get after this city. So let's just maybe... Take it a little slow. I kind of want to put the hunting camp here, but I think they just clap it, right? We don't have the tech for the thing yet. We're in wait mode over here. I guess it's just end turn. Just use your one time. Oh, this 45 guy. One after us. No. No. We'll just upgrade these guys instead. And then... Oh, we still have a bunch more juice. We'll just attack. See if we can do it with these guys. What's the end look like? Okay, the thing's down. Perfect. Hopefully this doesn't destroy our city, that would really suck. Alright, now we'll come back for some of these earlier ones, like farming and workers. I think just farming, actually. God, if they raise that with just that tiny-ass army, that's gonna be so obnoxious, the 15er. Bring these guys back, just in case. Have these guys finish this off, which they should be able to. Raiders are also free after one national idea. Yeah, that sounds... I mean, that's a bummer if stuff's not balanced, I don't know. Go for the pineapple and sausage here. Or sorry, pineapple and bacon. Oh, we lost a guy? Shit. And we didn't take it? Jesus. Alright, we're gonna... Forester here, I think. We're still on just two pops. This suddenly doesn't seem very good anymore.
Hopefully this 20 doesn't attack the city. I think... Looks like it's fine. Alright, let's do this. Oh, we can just merge these two? Perfect. Somebody got his wall back. Terrible. Military snowballs really quickly. Because they get XP. That makes sense. Maybe they have to tone down how much... Mill juice you get. No, not my gumdrop buttons. And we still didn't get it. God, that sucks. I think we have to go for it because it'll recover otherwise. I don't know if we win it. Looks like we're okay. Okay. So this start is much, much different, and someone's researching the Age of Blood as well. It could be like that. Let's pick that up. We... No, we can't. Oh, we're still waiting on getting the food from unimproved tiles. That's gonna be big for us. Something to spawn scout. Alright, food stockpile is actually absolutely what we need. Someone is you? Wait, we're researching Age of, Age of Blood? I don't see Age of Blood. Cause you're murdering poor innocents, you monster. We're not researching anything, man. I heard murdering innocents? I heard one of them had an unpaid parking ticket. Exactly, my guy. Alright, let's try and let's try this again with that settler. Okay, here I actually do think we want to create an outpost. Um I don't know if it's optimal, but I think it's not terrible. Actually, it's almost certainly not optimal. Housing for foraging unimproved forest tiles? Huh. We'll keep him there because he's holding the line. Alright, now we should be kind of off 
in a way. Let's go meeting hall. Maybe we're supposed to add mill. Just add chariots behind. How much are we even getting from these guys? What do we get from these guys? Some Googles outside. City guards? Oh, that's a good call. We haven't integrated anyone yet, but we're planning on it. So, incorporate 25. Now, to be fair... Do, oh, we don't get to see a look at the monarchy. I was saying, if we have a lot of vassals this time, which we might... Maybe we go kingdom. Kind of hated it, like, just looking at it, but maybe it's a lot better than... It looks... France is upset. What's new? It's weird that every place, every region has a capital. Like, in my head, it's like, that's not the capital. The capital is the capital. And it's like, nope, there's a, there's two types of capitals, my friend. There's the capital capital and the capital capital. You know what I mean? Where there's the region capital and the capital capital. All right, I guess we're going age of blood. We're aging up. Oh, that is us. You're right. We were slaughtering innocents. Our bad. Maybe we... Do we want to try and force Age of Blood? Age of Chad. Kingdom is dope. Both three Aragos. The part of Kingdom that matters most is Vassal Prosperity each turn. If you have a ton of vassals, that'll snowball real fast. Alright, we'll try for that then. We just won't incorporate anyone, we'll just... Which actually means... We kind of want to move the military over. And we don't really need the city guard. So the city guard, here, let's... Let's build the temple. Hell yeah, brother. Sweden threatens us. Terrible. So we'll send the settler out with those guys. And we'll go for this back here. Now we're going to have faster expansion in forests. So I mean, I don't hate actually just like settling down here a little bit. So let's see what's over here. Let's come together with these guys. Combat allowed in neutral territory. Terrible. Uh, I guess we actually... What are we doing here? We should be hunting here. A bunch of this. We can't make another settler. You maybe want to save up. Right, let's just try and avoid. Criticize, criticize, criticize. We get a boop. 
Thank you, Doc Rosie, for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the Big Nice. Alright. I mean, we can try it. Yeah, what are we... What are we waiting for, anyway? We get to go pew 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 and they can't do anything about it. That is a lot of car outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That was, I think that's the loudest one of the day. All right. After this, I think we're done with the pizza for today. This is sausage and jalapenos. The doobie vibe in. We'll probably pull this guy out next turn. The guy who's low, just so we don't break him. Ooh, did it really kill our guy? For realsies? No, I didn't- Oh my god, I misclicked. Oh, that was just- Okay, he just shot us down. Alright. The settler that'll never settle. Actually, let's do it. One time. We're gonna call on one time to not lose our guys. Oh, actually, there's only two of them? Just okay. We uncall the one time. That was quite the vehicle. It is Daytona, my guy. Ew. Not even the weekend. Ah, oh, it's crisis time. Oh, we have to... What is this? I thought it said we would be locked in the Age of Blood. Bro, what happened? Are we locked in the Age of Blood or no? I mean, don't want to lose our progress. Sorry you can't uncall one time. Aww. Anyone know how this works? I thought the language, well... You're not locked in because you started the Age of Iron. Rip. But now we're getting the Age of Iron no matter what, because if we don't research Age of Iron, someone else will finish that before we get Age of Blood. Terrible. Should have gone the barb thing. Oh well. do that and then culture power the local reforms This run feels way different, though, than our other two. I'm not sure I like it. I'm being real. These guys should attack us anyways. Maybe do that. All 
Our defenses are broken. Yikes. Let's just heal up. We have so many improvement points, but we can't spend it in our vassals. You could try and do the Age of Blood by Eureka to beat out the other Civ, but it might be too late now. You aren't the Civ that met the conditions to start the Age of Blood, and AI has. Oh. Really? I thought we did. Coincidence, maybe. Big nice. Mines cost less than the Age of Iron. Alright. But now we can... Gov. Swap. Oh, we need culture first. I don't think we want a violent rev. Oh, we guess we should have floated our culture thing then, huh? Are we supposed to split these guys up? Maybe. We do want mining. Do we want it first? I think actually the thing that gives granary we want. We are having such a hard time getting food. Let's just do this one. Yeah, okay, just the base gives us granary. Well, that's gonna be good for us. Why this run feels pretty weak. Or we're also not even purple. The worst. Worst timeline has been unlocked, guys. Ask a sword or money? I think we'll take the money. Well, these guys we didn't mean to move out. Maybe we just fortify it because they'll attack us anyways. God, we have so many province improvement points, it's just like... Are we just supposed to- well, no, we're supposed to make choppers now. Okay. Where is it? Where is it, though? I mean, we want three foresters anyways. Do we not have the tech? I 
I don't remember sawmills being way earlier. Cooking the mill cooks. Woodwork saw pit. There we go. Okay, that's gonna work. Wow, there's so much wood around this area. We definitely have to settle into this, I think. Down here. Peaceful revolution. And let's take a look at Kingdom again. Okay, so... Minus spawn settler cost. Seems decent, we can settle a lot more. So we can go boop, boop. I don't think we use this government power ever. And then reap scuttage is maybe good. Or either one of these seems good. Vassal prosperity and then into this. I think this just seems fine. Also give us a little bit of a different vibe this time around. And then now we can spawn a cheap settler. We may be saving them down to the left. The left should be actually pretty safe. Can we spawn out of here? No, we can't. Rip the dream. So over here should be pretty safe because our army is kind of right here. And we just have a bunch of vassals now. Not sure exactly where we're gonna found the city, but you're saying we're messing up by foresting? We're planning on upgrading this and then giving it, making it a wood chopping town. But maybe, maybe we're messing up here. I feel like you guys know the game so much better than me. Maybe we found here, up against the mountain. Seat of power. Hmm. I mean, I've got like 50 hours in the game because of early access, and I'd say I don't want to spoil more of the fun. Wow, Sweden decked us? Okay. It's a little rude, but okay. A little out of pocket, but okay. I think we want to settle here.
Maybe we want to settle right here. Oh, that's a little too close to the other city. Oh man, is that a goodie hut for us? Warfare XP, hell yeah. Give me that. We're not gonna integrate, but... We maybe have a fighting chance there. Oh, we freaking don't. God. They just get such a big military so quickly, it feels like. Are we just gonna die again? I feel like the chariots are supposed to be faster, huh? Oh, they're, they are faster. I'm stupid. Well, discovering that guy is maybe not ideal. Oh, they made walls up here. Nice. You didn't see us. You didn't see us. You didn't see anything. I think Settler might be dead. Hopefully he can just retreat. God damn it, dude. Oh, he did just retreat. Cool. Force Defender seems maybe decent. We go with the capital city thing though. Can we just get overrun here? Maybe. Let's expand this town like was our plan. Lumber town. Get these guys in there, maybe they can help defend. Oh, this guy's just gonna get clapped. Land fast and loose. Uh, I guess we maybe want to walk this guy back. Maybe not. Looks like you guys are coming for this city, which I think is not what we want. Oh, maybe we can... No, we can't go after them there. With At least not with everyone. Can we kill them here, though? But I think we want to... Do that first. Are these the OP unit? No, it's Scout Cavalry. Their experience is from the demo. I think they rebalanced some stuff. Crossbows are kind of nuts. Oh, Kurt. I mean, I guess we could make a city here. Let's 
Seems like not the best spot. I feel we want to be closer to here because when the ores come around. Maybe we're holding on here. God, that's so many more troops coming in. Alright, we just have to, like, produce... Military every turn, I think. Could integrate one of these cities. Maybe this one would be decent. Alternatively, we could spawn another settler in a while. I guess a while's gonna be a while. Huh? Oh, the iron and stuff's over here. God damn it. We we wish we were further over there. We're not also we're also not making gold. If we were making gold we could maybe pump you out of here with gold and have that feel good. This is an outpost anyway, so Or is that a city? It's not an integrated city, it's a vassal city. Mm. I feel like we're just dead again a little bit here. This would give us safe production. I mean, we could place a city or an outpost thing here at some point and try and go for this, but I think we're just supposed to make another city over here for all that iron and stuff. end the turn. And these guys back to Phoenicia. France and Zulu are at war. That seems fine with us. There have been some rebalances since the demo, but honestly not that much. For some reason, raiders were untouched. Dude, one thing I hate about losing a city like that is if you take it back, it looks like as if you conquered a foreign city, not as if you retook what you lost. Yeah. Bro, they got so many guys here now. Oh, and they just like freaking bail on trying to take that. So now they're gonna surround this city. I mean, we could try and get a city guard close there. I don't think that works. I think it's just these guys defending. I don't think that's enough. Bruh. Bruh. They sacked the town. They painted the town red. They said what they said. <sighs> this 
like not like we can approach very easily from the angle. We just have to get like our actual troop troopies over back there. Maybe this guy's got a common link up over here. I mean, there's some Swedish troops here. God, we can't establish the city with this guy, right? Well, we won't gain that territory. Okay, let's just save and see if this is the case. How can they sustain so many troops? I don't know. Maybe they're raiders, though. How can we tell? How can we check? Tribal Olympians, they're not raiders. Okay, it does force them out, sure. This is fine, I suppose. We'll try and link up the army over here. What are you doing over here? Bro, he's got so many armies, I don't understand. Does anyone have any idea why they have so many troops? They took the Diplo focus and they have this massive army. Yeah. You know how to discover the landmarks? Bro, do they does the AI just have an enormous like advantage? Is that what's going on here? I feel like we've just gotten clapped by the AI without like doing anything. I feel like we also built a lot of military too. God, this just feels so bad. That, like, this is starting to look really, really grim. Okay, we didn't integrate a city. Was this the mistake here, this run? We needed to integrate a city way earlier? I feel like that's not it. Can't escape Vic 3, Mr. Gaming? Yeah, seriously. I've been playing on Novice and still getting clapped. But, like, I, I have no idea how they could possibly have this amount of troops. You know what I mean? Like, this doesn't make sense. Let's count the units. 1, 5, 11, 15. Not including the ones we've killed, but we've killed more than we've lost. 19, 22, 23, 24... 25, uh, 26, 26 units, and we have like 6 or 7, yeah I might have put all of its culture into units, isn't one culture power raise army? Spam combined with the... Oh, I mean, I guess. I, yeah, I mean, I guess. We just have to do it back to them? They might have some crazy set of improvements that they're leveraging for huge production, like bricks and mines and stuff. Maybe. I guess, I mean... So this is a power. It generates knowledge from a vassal based on its population and prosperity, reviews, reduces the prosperity. So I don't think we're going to end up using these, but we do want to get the prosperity install. We want the install sat trap.
I don't know, this feels hella bad. Now we just lose the city. Oh, we fought them off. Just let them wreck themselves against it. to rebuild that but it keeps getting whacked and we don't have an army to prevent it from getting whacked we don't have any army to spare I think they just do they just attack okay they just unalive themselves on us I mean I guess that works AI just sucks but gets a ton of units but still sucks oh I just killed that guy rip Yeah, the research has to be going really slow because I only have one place. We'll still try and get the satrap thing before we start incorporating, I guess. I guess we'll do this next. Let's actually rush this. Maybe we want to incorporate a place where we could have a, a big mining complex, but it's not any of these places. Okay. Get to make our army here. I think we just continue to play defense over there. Conscript Immortals to spawn more troops. When in doubt, 4x AI is usually cheating. Yeah, this is my suspicion. I think you're okay because AI be throwing units up against the cities. What's the farthest stage we've gotten into so far? Five. I think we'll come here and get ready to go after them. Um The thing is, we could throw down a bunch of farms and, like, do the, the farmy thingy. But we're getting a lot from unimproved tiles, and now we're working all these unimproved wood tiles. Can we benefit from more housing, though? We don't have max housing, so why don't we build a little bit of housing? Also build a weaver. We don't have two wool though. We kind of want two wool. We can build a dwelling there. That way we'll grow a little bit faster because we're at plus 200 with the housing. Alright, so it looks like we'll get to peel some off here. these units alone take this out let's see yeah they should be they should win at the very least
Hopefully that guy can defend. I think it, the bowmen are really good for defending. Horses will help us expand this. Yeah, we got our capital annexed like a couple runs ago, which felt pretty bad. Did we lose a guy out of here at some point? I think we did. It's kind of okay. These guys can upgrade to cavalry. I think we'll just fortify and they'll heal though. We'll go smelting. Finally, we get the marble, guys. Now, what can we turn marble into? Does the stone cutter just work on the marble? marble and stone blocks, five production, all right. So we're gonna have a ton of production. Actually, let's do this into that. Not gathering as much food. Housing improvements giving food would be dope. <sighs> Kill me now. Wait, where'd the rest of our guys go? They just died to that? Wait, what the hell? We had more guys here. I'm so confused. We had two other guys here. We can't bring him back. I was hoping we'd be able to bring him back. Oh, we should have merged this army with the other one. They just slipped by us here. Not that we could have done a whole time. Bro. Let's build that next, I guess. Where's this dude going? I'm so confused. Expand that town. This town's been reduced to rubble. I suppose us integrating this one maybe makes the most sense because it has the town.
Hopefully that crossbow will get, doesn't get picked, but we're hoping to go into that city next turn and that they can't see us. Oh, we need sanitation, rip. Could we build an aqueduct? No. Unrest is rising. All right, let's make a city guard here. And then... Let's actually switch to this. This seems good. Oh. Brutal, we didn't lose a single guy. We also started have worrying levels of unrest. I'm gonna get some pizza slash carginian flatbread, boys. Mr. Gaming inspired you. Good. I need a color saturation slider for this game. My head cannot continue flight. You could turn on, you could change it on your monitor. The ironic age, when you conquer cities but didn't mean it. Basically. I wonder what they're doing here. I don't know why they're not attacking the city, but... I'm gonna hope to get to playing defense on that city. Alright. But now, they're looking a little fierce. Alright, I think we take them out here. Oh wait, what the hell? They got so much veterancy or whatever. That's grim. I think we overall won it, but... At what cost? When did we lose our other guy? I guess they attacked us? Bro, it feels like we're just losing troops and I don't know where they're going. Because we had a spear guy there, no? We might lose that city. Rip the dream. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so we just lost a guy there. Bro, is this the viral endless? Is this just killing troops? Is that what's going on? We're just losing gobs and gobs of troops because to viral illness. Bro. What would Hannibal do? Probably probably got aqueducts earlier, huh? Probably got aqueducts earlier. Plus prosperity of term, I guess. Hannibal, what would have Hannibal done? Got aqueducts earlier. I think that's it. I <laughs> think we're just randomly losing troops to the plague. Fights happen without warning, and sometimes you don't know why men are dying. Bro. Because it's not showing us these icons on every single battle. Just most of them. I think we'll start incorporating after this. Actually, 
Actually, should we clap them? Maybe we wait a turn. Ooh, maybe we get volunteers and then go for it. How about we can't? Alright. Plague do be plaguing. I think you're losing troops because you can't pay them. They disband because you're broke. Oh, this would also make sense. Bro. There's like no notification for that. We're just hyper confused as to what's going on. That does, that makes sense though. Is this run scuffed too, boys? I don't know. This feels super bad. We're starting to lose ground. At least this guy didn't die. I mean. But yeah, it's losing money. Yeah. Losing men to no money. Yeah, we lost another guy here. I think this is just the collapse for us boys. Where we're researching Age of Plague. <laughs> These guys aren't healing very much. I think they're healing though. Yeah, okay, so how did they have 20 troops? Because we have, we, we have like, 8 or 9 troops, and we somehow, we can't pay for them, right? We tried to use our, our culture bonus to make more troops. <sighs> Maybe we just had a super weak thing. Rome, please, yeah. Antiquity Plague, Inc. Jesus, this is the, this is the time. What a time to be alive, except it's not a good time to be alive, it's a good time to die, because it's a plague. I think this is super scuffed too. Bro, this game's so hard. God, someone's gonna watch this VOD, like, two years later and be like, What do you mean, release... <laughs> the release version of this game was hard. <laughs> like, we can't make more troops and we can't make more money. I don't know. We just have no money goods. Yeah, upkeep sheets are like the most classic. Yeah, I mean... It's kind of Jover, isn't it, boys? It feels Jover. I do also suspect the AI cheats in this game, so yeah, it's probably something like that. Yeah, but I don't want to have to uber cheese the AI, though. We wiped- we stack wiped so many full armies, like four stack armies. And then they're still just like, oh, but oh, oh, and like, I don't know. This is frustrating, bro. You're struggling too? Yeah. Maybe we try lower difficulty. Maybe we eat more flatbread. More Carthaginian flatbread. Drown our sorrows in that. It feels pretty rough, boys. Future journalist after 100 hour review will be laughing his ass off, basically. We're planning on doing a 36 hour review, if we play a lot of this game. You think they're foregore explorers to afford bigger armies? I'm having a hard time keeping track of what tile upgrades they have upkeep. Yeah, but, oh, dude, it just, just like, they seem like, they have like 5x the number of troops and they aren't having to disband them and we're disbanding them. Well, I suppose they don't have the troops now because we killed a whole bunch of them, but then, like, we eventually lose this, and then we're out of money, so we're just going to lose all of our troops, and we're going to just be back to Phoenicia. I think this is it. I think it's Jover, bros. I think it's Jover. This run? We're going to call this run Jover. Alright. 
And I don't want to. I don't want to do the cheese because you guys are saying that one is just snowball op. <sighs> Loki, the production seems pretty good. I think you're. I think we're also supposed to incorporate very aggressively with regional corruption. So, production. So I think us going all those different. I think we're not supposed to. I think we're supposed to go the the King Dynasty one. All right. I think we're gonna go to a huge map to give ourselves a little bit more space and. Maybe we just give ourselves a little bit more space, and maybe we're okay. So we're gonna try doing the same thing, but on huge, so we have a little bit more space. There's no economic injections of gold from raiding uh, farm camps. Still advocating for scout. Okay, we didn't try scout, so let's just try scout. I think you might be correct. I also trust Tark when Tark says prod is pretty good. So, it do be like that. Do we like this start? No, I don't think so. But it, it also seems like the AI is cheating in a significant way. It's certainly not playing intelligently, which is really not how I like the games being balanced, but, like, it's also common for these types of games. Let's take a look. I think the wheat start is decent. I think this is a re. I wish you could stay save your starting parameters. Yeah, me too. I mean, like, to be honest, like the fact that this this all feels pretty rough, to be honest. Brazil cleared the first era in 12 turns, what? Yeah, also when you're like trying to clear era as quickly as possible, the, the AI somehow like just being really, really fast is also a little bit of a, a strange one. All right, so we have two cotton, which is not bad, and this. So we could go herding into cotton stuff. I think this is a re. Maybe we get more water. Kind of thirsty out of out of fluids. The tutorial was definitely like super super freaking easy, and you didn't have to worry about anything. Low key, I kind of want to start with an archer instead of a scout. Alright. I'll just take a peek. Because we do, we're starting on the grain and the, the husbandry thing. I think we re. Piss jug time? Yeah, it might be filling the piss jug time. I don't know. You guys also might be feeling a bathroom break too. I think you guys just use the bathroom whenever you want to though. That's how that's how things work. Maybe we have that Carthage. You know what? Maybe it's discrimination. Let's see how good a start we get if we if we play as the enemy. 
It's the enemy. It's enemy time. Look, we start next to two marble? Bro, this is a conspiracy. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? This starts actually, I don't think, that great. I was just trying to, trying to meme. Well, I mean, it's not terrible. It's actually decent. Spicy. We use the bathroom while watching you. Oh, baby. Two marble, damn, confirmed. Carthage secret nerfed. Might be onto something here. Is it really, well. I guess the marble is really good. It's unfortunate it's not adjacent to each other. Or what is this? Actually, we have a limestone and a marble. Or two marble. No, two marble. Alright, so I think we go workers first. And let's go that, so we can get both the marble down as quickly as possible. Or maybe we go gov. I don't know. And we don't need to go scout. So Jover, boys. You just started with four facts, just gonna try it. So this is probably God King start. Yeah. Spawn a warband, that seems like a good decent one. Yikes, we want the thing they're on though. Bro, what if you're just supposed to first build Scout Cav? Actually, our map seems super open. Instead, of, there's not like a lot of impediments. I think we'll do local reforms. Workers is almost done. I eventually kill this guy, right? That's how that works with the basic guy. Let's just fortify. We can escape up to the north if that's not the case. Yeah, it looks like eventually he'll die. Ooh, hot. Alright, so maybe we bring this guy back. We cancel it. Ooh, that's good too. Tribal elders, because we're gonna construct a little bit faster, and then we get to go. Oh wait, how do we get the mining camps? I guess next stage. Oh, we're gonna want to get the cheaper quarries as well. Spawn an archer. All right, that'll play. Oh, and then we bought one of these guys. Perfect, actually. We'll take the Warfare XP. And 
And then... Now we do the gov one. So I guess the first... Actually, maybe we just build a farm here anyways. No, we can do a clay pit and that's it. Shit. Oh, we don't have farming, that's right. I think we definitely messed up. Probably this, this game didn't feel so hard. That's actually such a stupid complaint. We could just... <laughs> we, we could just lower the difficulty if we want it to feel easier. Um, I think we go defenses. Get the archer we need to put down that barbarian camp with these three. Grand Canyon, hell yeah, brother. So we'll work our way back here. Actually, let's... Yeah. Oh my god, I'm freaking stupid as hell. I'm playing way too fast. Sorry, guys. Scouts are probably better on huge maps, yeah. Do you actively lose by activating raiders or not? No. Knows enough to know he could be doing better, but not how, basically. Except, like, s claiming you that you're hitting the Dunning-Kruger curve is actually probably... A really good sign that you're not hitting the curve. <laughs> oh, baby. The worst timeline, yeah. Uh, local reforms again, I guess. I'll just go Age of Bronze as quickly as possible. Yeah, scout's definitely going to be better on huge map. Feels like we've gotten more goody huts than we should have. supposed to spawn another scout? No shot, right? No, it's clearly just anti-Carthaginian bias. Succeeded by setting up a four stack of spears to conquer city-states. Does your USA 1.5 strat still work? The 1.6 migration is completely different. I think uh, getting into someone's market is actually probably not very good anymore. To be honest. This seems underwhelming for a goody hut. Doesn't seem very good for a goody hut. We did hit all three, though, here. So I guess we try and rush the next age and do Age of Heroes. What's this? It's, in, it's like, impassable.
we can't we can't go into it. Nor can we go under it. It's not like the Mines of Morio. I think the, the archers just get super clapped solo, and we don't want to lose that archer. Right? This guy just can't... Yeah, he can't go into the forest. That's wild. Alright. This spot is safe, if nothing else. You need scouting tech to go deep in the forest? Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh god, we were supposed to get that forever ago. It's Jover, boys. Alright, we meet another nation. Feels pretty Jover, man. It's not Jover. So we know we're gonna go the Minor King thing. So we probably want a place where we have the mining, if we can. Could do an Olive's place. Honestly, don't really like any of the places we see. Despite us having super large swaths of the map uncovered. Maybe we scout a little bit here? I don't really like that. I guess we'll be bringing those troops back up this way. And since they're coming up this way, maybe... We make a city over here? God, that feels so bad, though. Let's discover our other city. And hope that we're not scuffed. Thank you for the follow, Bane Crash. Big nice. Hey, journalists, love your Victoria stuff on YouTube. Thank you. A Carthaginian flatbread arrives in 20 minute, boys. I got a Carthaginian Pepsi with it as well. Is there any other kind of Pepsi? Alright. I think we go mining first. We go God King Dynasty. You know what? These two olives is, is probably pretty... This is probably fine enough. Still can't place a thing, yeah, we can't. Not being able to place an improvement this early in the game is actually probably super, super bad. Overall. Go work camp. Uh, it takes forever to complete. Rip. I was wondering if you knew how to work multiplayer for the game. I hear that multiplayer is kind of scuffed for Victoria 3, and for this one it is just, like, broken. 
Put on Carthaginian sausage, Carthaginian black olives, Carthaginian pineapple, Carthaginian mozzarella, and the flatbread. What type of flatbread? Don't you mean Carthaginian flatbread? Holy moly, I left at 2 p.m. and it's 9 now. You still, you dig a deep up? We're trying. It ain't over till we say it's Jover. Okay, so these, oh, we need the, we need the tech. But we also want to force the other thing. Uh, let's do local reforms. Ah, uh, local reforms just feel so bad, man. Okay, I, we're gonna, we're gonna create a town. We're gonna create a town. Uh... What type of town is it gonna be? I think we put it over here to get closer to the wine than the other stuff. Yeah. Feels bad, man. We'll try and conquer those guys over there. Probably leave the warrior here. Actually, the warrior maybe links up with the scout or the scout. For we gotta send these guys together. It's too dangerous to go alone. Haven't had a Carthaginian burger before. Carthaginian five guys. <laughs> yeah, Tark, how could you leave out that you put all the Carthaginian uh, ingredients on the Carthaginian flatbread? Hot seat multiplayer best. To be fair, I was super mad that Civ 5 wasn't released with Hot Seat, but that was a different time. That was a different era. We'll let them wipe themselves on us, I guess. Ooh, goody hut. I think we take the knowledge. Especially because now we can gather these. Ah, but we don't want to. Because we want to get minus cost for quarry first. Maybe we just don't give a shit. We could really use some improvements. It's ten turns otherwise, right? We're only getting one of these a turn. Yeah. Let's just make the marble. And then maybe we'll... Uh, we'll get the stone cutter discount and then we'll build a stone cutter. I think I like that. Outpost. Where are we trying to put you? I think we also have to... I, th I think we can't afford to go backwards in the tech. I think we just take some fast ones so we can get Age of Heroes. <gasps> you killed our, our boy! Are you a caked up guy? You're a caked up boy. Makes sense. Maybe we head back. I think this guy can help defend a little bit. No, he's probably worthless. On the defense. At some point they added Hot Seat to Civ 6. I played a thousand hours of Hot Seat. Yeah, but on release. They said it was going to be available on release, and that's why I pre-ordered it. And then I remember being mad because it, it wasn't available on release. I was very, I was very upset. Let's just heal those guys up. Okay. 
Hmm. I mean, we could probably volunteers. The problem is we want this volunteers to not be a warband. We want it to be discipline guys. So maybe we go discipline next. Oh, we should have gone discipline instead of what we're doing actually. Maybe we should have just fortified. I think this 15 stack's gonna clap us. Oh. No, it's not? Alright. I'll just fortify until heal now. Do you want to spawn a settler? But. I'll see you're spawning a settler, and. Can we integrate? Not yet. Just a couple more turns. Cool. There's another guy. I don't think we want to go up through that, but I do think we want to split these guys up. Maybe we try and see if we can scout past the Persephilus. And then... Go Discipline. So that we can try for Age of Heroes. And then... We're waiting for the, the thing to expand. The fact that we never built our dolmen might be a might be a cause of this. Hey, hey. Bro got three landmarks in such a tiny area. It was Pog. You and your wife tried the game, and while min maxing the goods and such, she uh, did raiders and wipes two sieves. So it was just Jover. It sounds Jover. Folder system for hot seat seems rough. Good evening, gentlemen. May we conquer with impunity and lay waste to the hordes. Hey, Super Shellshock, welcome. I guess we're going down this way. We're going down, down in the earlier round. Let's integrate. But, 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 but... Can we do farming in one turn? We can't. I hope this isn't just kill the run, but we're gonna do farming. For the pastures, boys. Hmm. Let's look to dodge them. Alice is Raxi. Perhaps, yeah. Yeah, the value of these scout guys seems super conditional because it seems really hard to push past anyone. I think we skipped the warband thing. I think we do want improvement points in the cap. And then here we get to make olives, which are gonna produce wealth. A way to turn in more olives. Yikes. Nope, not, didn't wanna see that.
Because it seems like the scouts kind of get bricked after a little, after the opening salvo. I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow to play more. I was getting frustrated. I was trying to force the Seafair game, and I don't think I should. I think you could. You just have to restart over and over. Right, you don't force a Seafair unless you're, like, coastal start, but then... Yeah. These just make too well. Yeah. So we're going to need to do the Olive Press. Yeah, we can't go north because we get bricked. I guess we can scout the coast over here. That seems kind of stupid. I mean, we could try scout north and try and kill barbs as needed. I guess the barbs could be busy with someone else. That works for us. We met the United States of America. So many, just all in one place. Oh, we're committed on the Age of Iron. Son of a bitch, dude. Was it a mistake just to go back for that tech? Maybe it was. We're not gonna get the Age of Heroes. Bro, I think the AI hyper cheats, man. Feels bad. They added Mappy uh, mechanic next patch. Whoa. You finally yielded and took up the Imperial Eagle. We were tired of the anti-Carthaginian bias. We were tired of it. Alright, we're gonna get cheaper stone cutters too. Oh, and then we don't have enough rip. We could make a, a village here, to be honest, and for the stone cutter bonus, but I think that's probably not worth. I think, I can't remember if a manufacturing thing was allowed, but. Yeah, we're at the point where we now wish we had a lot of uh, villager points or whatever, or development points down here. So, maybe we're supposed to build a crane. Kind of would want a food stockpile. Maybe we're going to be dated more by this, at least on the short term. Kind of want to rush that work camp. All roads lead to Rome eventually, not like this. I wonder how aggressive we're supposed to be with disbanding our own units. I'm gonna try going to the left a little. Oh, we're not gonna get an Age of Heroes. Rip the dream, man. We could try. What happens if... I guess we just get a little bit of a faster tech than them. Because we satisfied Age of Heroes condition. They're going to get Age of Iron. Hopefully that doesn't reset us and then we have to go back. I guess we'll figure that out. Um, I think we will... What's the price on the stone cutter? 10. So we'll get a stone cutter next turn. And we're shrinking. That's not ideal. I guess we'll do that and then we'll get the food stockpile. Rip. It shrinks when it's cold out. 
Made a custom nation, Eastern Roman Empire. Every road leads to Carthage. Yep. Yeah, the Raxi's getting mod privileges. He knows how to do it. He knows what's up. What is that? Did that a piece break down? There was a piece of bacon on the floor. We lost ourselves some bacon. Hmm. I mean, I don't hate our current position, to be fair. We just know that they're... Oh god, they're gonna have this massive military, too. So stupid. We actually, yeah. Mines cost less. Age of Iron. God, we're getting like no culture too. I think we could put it down there with our next culture thing. Look, this is, is this Sweden? Look, Sweden's got troops over here. Tro one, two, three, four. I thought we saw some troops over here, like five or six. All right. They're all recovered up, but we should be a little bit better with the spears. We should have researched spears earlier. Well, there's another. Wow, there's so many. Too bad we couldn't get Age of Heroes. It's Tundra, I guess. Alright, we need the food stockpile, we're losing food. People are starving. So far the best run was the one where we went God King and we got super tall, I felt. Let's recover one turn. guy's making like zero progress. Let's go around. Probably should have done that a while ago, or a couple turns ago. Oh, I think we died of that. I guess since we have the new warfare, we're maybe supposed to use the volunteer while we can. And now these guys can kind of come out safely.
How much is a press? I guess we can't build an olive press yet. we get this through. They just need to not attack this guy too much. Nice. Nice. Oh, this might not be as nice as we think. Damn, I thought we could do it. Shoot. We're just losing all our boys. Someone else, maybe you say? The colors changing every single time throws me the hell off, because he used to sue. My olives, no! Rip the olives, rip the dream. I think the press is in here, yeah. Oh man, we should have just waited one turn until we had a crossbow. <sighs> Bro. It's so Jover. We do reveal on the map the iron and the coal though, so let's have a little bit of a look ski. Ooh, nice. So maybe we'll end up building a town here. No. Okay, let's peacefully rev. I think we go Imperial Dynasty. I think that one's been better overall. May MS, thank you for the follow, big nice. We'll select. This was really nice when we were super farming heavy. I think that's maybe the kind of the goal, the dream. I think we are going to use the restroom though and refill the water jug. So we will be right back. Um, and let's see, we'll put the BRB up. So just a couple minutes.
All right, everyone, we're back. And the window's open now, too, so it's not so freaking hot. That's what we call pug. Our whole economy is based on olives, not the olives. Millennia just blew your gaskets, and I vented in Discord. Not even about the game, the stupidness of all the settings. There's no such thing as rum, just rumors to scare you. Facts. It's just the bedtime story good Carthaginian parents tell to frighten their children. It's just a nightmare. It never happened. Ooh, this city's gonna be super nice. Maybe if we expand out to here somehow, we'll put their thing here. My kingdom for some map tax though. Well, food seems to be the central problem here. So, maybe we do that. Now, we don't have the press until we finish Believe. But I do think we want to get the Olive Press over something else. No! Stop being rebellious! Stop! Steep it! Loki eyeball in some of these resources around. It's gonna be awkward taking Persephilis with all the Greek names, huh? How are we doing here? With the view count. Alright, alright, still about 50. In total. Let's let those guys recover. This one has recovered. Let's scout this little snippet here. So we know what we're working with. We're going to have to deal with Stockholm. I think we want to scout over there after that. God, Sweden's just been our enemy every freaking game. Alright, but Sweden can't possibly have a big military sitting on two, one or two cities here, right? Close the borders. Yeah, okay, I get it. I understand. Kind of. Maybe secure the olives with an outpost? That, I keep on forgetting that the outpost is non-committal. You can pick it back up. Ooh, construct palace. Let's definitely construct the palace. Let's do it here. Fortify that guy up. And now... It's time for an olive press. Oh no wait, we need one more turn. Sweden should move its borders away from your troops? Yeah, exactly. Alright, looks like they're decking on us. So we'll try and get those guys up and to the right, and then we'll come back for Sweden. They're gonna continue to get more increasingly belligerent. And we'll try and scout things out. I think... Smelting's gonna be decent for us, but I think we go horses. Because... The influence in the region is like passive, and that seems to be the one with the passive bonus, to be honest. Alright, so here, I think we go for town center into this, now that we have a work camp. And then we also get to cook with our press two olives for two cooking oil, which gives a lot of- ooh, that's a lot of food in addition to the well. That's super nice. And we might need to start be building military. Yeah, we probably need to start building military, huh? Oh, that sucks. What are we building now? Upgrading to granary. 
We're gonna have to start using investments and stuff on military. So let's get volunteers, I suppose. Just so that we have the cooldown available. God King Dynasty, next level's unlocked. I think we're gonna go. Regions get limestone in the capital, which is gonna be really nice. Gonna give us some construction on each level. I think we just have that guy fortify up. Enjoy your meatballs while your Swedes mage, madge. Yeah, basically. Take that, air meatball. Ooh, there's a lot more here to be had, I think, than we had thought. We are trying to get out from, trying to get this guy back here. But it's looking like we know where we're dealing with. And let's just hope it's not some enormous fight and we can go after Persepolis first. We want to have time. Oh, we're not going to have the XP for that. Rip, we shouldn't have spent it. Holy shit. Mistakes were made. Uh, let's go council. We don't have much farm improvements. Or we don't have any. But are we never gonna have a farm improvement? I don't know. God, we need more military. We need encampments. We need mill XP. Oh, and we don't have the scouting tech, so we can't get in there. I guess we kind of know what's there. Oh, is this a... Uh, what is this? Hide here. We'll try and watch where it goes. Well, I think they declared hostilities, so we destroy them. Hmm. Where can we put this guy? I mean, we can move him over here. Don't hate right here. But how do we get them food? We kind of wish we had a bread basket. There's no place around here with wheat. But we could give some food from here from the fishes. I don't think I like that very much. I mean, we are getting food from the olives. There is food in Persepolis. There seems like a decent chunk of food in Persepolis. And I think here we, we actually get the fastest settle. So maybe let's focus a little bit on the speed. And let's get out there. We're ready to be heard again. But here's the thing, after we expand here, it'd be really nice to put a town here for this one, so then that's covered. So maybe we scout up there and we found a city up there? I don't know. Ah. Maybe we found a city like right here. Nice, we are expanding. do we even like maybe we like it over here to be honest like right there right there we make a town here for the wood circle but there was the food at yeah no food Yeah, 
Hey, you, you're supposed to be over here. I guess we send this guy back. So I think they're sitting on one city. Man, it's the borders are super expanded. Bro, I think the AI like Uber cheats. It's got two housing areas. This is built on, this is built on. And we have like two improvements. To be fair, we got a lot of points left, but Ah, maybe maybe nah, okay, maybe it's okay. Population's at limit. So it looks like we will have to go for a granary. Not ideal. Plus one culture in the palace. That's a lot of extra culture. And we're getting pushed back here. By that boyo. Well, flax makes food. Maybe we actually like here's a city spot. We can also secure it pretty easy. Everything would be nice and connected. It's maybe not the best, but it's certainly... Or are we making money, actually? We're making a little bit of money. I think we're supposed to take the culture and knowledge, the building. We get XP from attacking these guys, right? Yeah, I think we found the city right there. We should have gone the other way. Rip the dream. Dream the rip. Maybe we're supposed to raise army now. Instead of doing local reforms. We don't have the town we want really ready. So maybe we're supposed to raise army. I think I'm okay with that. We hope that that other guy doesn't take it. That would suck really hard. Let's 
go across here and try. Right? Or are we supposed to spend some of our mill stuff to heal them up? Let's just try. I think it should be okay. Or maybe they upgraded? Oh, that's bad if they upgraded. Let's hope they get a good spread over here. Nice. Come on, attack this guy more. No! Rip, dude. We should have healed him with the military thing. Yeah, that sucks. I think we go if we go scribes. We definitely want scribes, so spawn scout or prospector. Maybe we're not appreciating how good prospector is. <laughs> okay, let's make the expansion to the hills faster. This is Alexandria, which is the capital. Oh, I kind of want to make a spearmint, replace the guy who died. Try and keep the mill count up a little bit. The domestic export that useful? I don't think so. Just build that. Oh, we could get the cheaper quarries, but I think it's probably no good. If just to save us on this quarry. And we're gonna have mines coming in. Uh, it's probably worth it. Alright, I think we have to go for this now. Before they heal up too much. Oh, they hit the wrong guys. It's grim. I think we're gonna lose this guy too. But we're gonna take it. That's something. That is something. And we could use diplomacy to integrate him faster. Just plus five, that seems kind of weak. We think that spawn merchant is good though. You'll win, the Swedes are much weaker blue. Hmm. This may be true. I mean, we don't see anyone else's territory, except way over here. Could also wait a little bit, yeah. Actually, this guy's probably a little bit, well, I'm not sure who's better where. So that'll increase our unrest. I 
I kind of want to get be able to get these troops back or move around faster, so I think we're going to move and put an outpost over there. We just wait for them to attack. Hmm. Region idol. Maybe we're just supposed to build, just spam archers, crossbows. Where's our cheaper quarry? There's our stone cutter. I think we're gonna build another one. Now we should be getting real fast construction. Oh, you know what? We get free stone. We get a free limestone over here now. Yeah, we do. So that means we can build a stone cutter as well. Silly us. Stone cutter everywhere. And you're trying to get your population limit out. I think I actually might prefer it over here. We're gonna go this way though. Not piss them off more. Is this Sweden? God, they have so many troops. Why is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I feel like the city's gonna get tanked if we do that. Let's actually park that guy back there though. What? Bro, really? I feel like that shouldn't have one-shot our guys. Let's get plus one production for each pop in the capital, which admittedly is not a lot. Definitely think that the Pharaoh King is much, much better if we could make more guys in the capital somehow. I guess maybe we're gonna... Bad, man. 
maybe Carthaginian flatbread. How could I be? New economic strategy game with Reed's Infopedia convulses. What big dice. Okay. I mean, actually, let's put in, put down some of these plantations, so grapes. We should have done this. I think we could make a press. We could export this over here. Sometime down the road. Maybe we just export all the press materials to this city though. But like, I assume Sweden's going for this. They're probably gonna get it. To be fair, we got Persepolis, so... Is this the run where you po run Fog out of control? No, this is, a, this is a, I think, a continuation of the crying, screaming, throwing up. Improvement point's probably a little bit more useful to us. Yeah, we need influence out of this place. Kinda don't want to leave, because I'm afraid they're going to attack Nicomedia. Is that another barb? I think that's another barb area. We could maybe take it. The thing is, uh, I wish we had a freaking, I wish we had a pioneer. I wish we didn't dump our first pioneer into nothingness. Hey Destiny calls you, how's it going? We are still going. Do you like the game? I think I like it. It's been really hard, we've had to restart a lot. I think the AI just get huge bonuses, which I think there's a poor solution to AI being strong. We got nine turns over there. Generally. Look at Mr. Richie Richie with plus three gold. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Richie Rich. Yeah, we wish we uh, I wish we had more troops to to do stuff with. The Watchtower finished, I think we'll be... Yeah, we're crushing the Unrest. So I think we can move these guys to Nicomedia. And these guys also link up. Maybe they can help out a little bit taking this city. Alright, Alexandria. I guess stores is the next thing. Gives us an export slot. So we could export limestone or finished blocks actually even to lower tier places, which maybe we really like this. We had more government juice. Actually, maybe we look to integrate Persepolis here. In which case, actually, we'd want these over here. So in two turns, we can use Diplomacy twice to integrate. Oh, actually, no, it's probably got a cooldown. Let's just use it. Yeah, it does have a cooldown. Or no, it doesn't, but... Also, what are you eating? We are eating some cheesy bread with garlic, chicken, and bacon. 
And then we have marinara sauce. And you guys paid for the pizza. You guys did pay for the pizza. Shout out to you guys. Use guys. Okay, so I think we want to create a town here. And we could have this be a mining town. And then I don't think we have a way to make mines cheaper. I think they're cheaper in this age. But we'll do that. Consume for production. And to be fair, can we buy it? No, we can't buy this tile. If we had the coal, we could use the coal. It looks like a barb camp spawned over here. I think we could maybe take that out. I think we could risk that. Scribes is nice. I think we go smelting. Oh, we don't even have the smelting yet. We're gonna need the smelting to do the smelting. That's true. Chicken bacon pizza goes well with white sauce. It does. But this is, instead of white sauce, it's like butter sauce, so... Kind of similar. Don't call it a comeback. With pasta if you're brave. It does go good in pasta. Okay, so now we think that... We can integrate this a little faster. Integrate Vassal. Next turn. This guy's sending riches. Um, but we'll send this over to Persepolis because we think that they'll have some problems. And these guys will have some problems. They're gaining some unrest. So why don't we make a watch after their monument? Actually, to be fair, they don't need the monument so bad. Let's make the watch immediately. should attack us <laughs> so we should be in good shape I think we take out this before going for the city so we don't have to deal with all the extra guys and we could just shoot over into here and at the same time we'll wait on getting the guys so. what is this Capital. I think we go for the library. So right now we're feeling okay, but very unsettled okay, because we know that Sweden can drop fat stacks on us. Take the engineering XP. It means we can unlock pyramids. And expand towns. I forget if you can make a manufacturing town, but we can expand this town. And unlock pyramids. And then this town will make a mining town. Nice. And then now, we can ingratiate. Integrate. And they should be getting the stuff. And what do we build on these guys? Probably work. start with a work camp here. But then... Okay, I guess we can't do this quite yet. We can go for pasture, leather, meat, exploration XP. Wow, that's exploration XP seems good. 
This gives wool meat and exploration. I think that this gives more meat. One meat, three food. Three food, three wealth, one exploration. And this gives two wealth, three food. So not quite as good as this pasture. But we can't upcycle all this stuff into clothes. Hmm. Alright, let's just do that. In, it, in either case, we're, we're excited to eventually get the farms going. And how long till we can incorporate this? Three turns? Alright. But that's going to require, I think, considerably more city guards after we're done with this. So let's kind of get ready for that. And then you, I think, are... Yeah, you just finished the thing. This is being sieged. I think we're in fine shape with the 17 guy. Can you do isolation just Japan runs in this game? I don't think so. I don't think it's allowed. So we'll put fortify on this guy, so we should be yeah, generating zero unrest, mainly because of the garrison unit. Oh, we not we didn't do the prod start. I think we're gonna do prod start next time we restart. All right, we do get that, which is not gonna be too useful yet. Um, we'll just go for this. I think we yeah. I think we're more than okay. We'll go gov XP though. That'll be nice. So we can spawn a settler. I think we like one knowledge for every five pop in the palace region. It's only going to be one knowledge though. I mean, it's going to get better, but. slight amount of unrest still from them but they will be getting our thing so that'll be fine I think we go for this actually no yeah that's fine for the tech actually we're gonna need more construction let's maybe go crane crane into temple I think we like this See, let's check the view count. See Paul Allen's views. Okay, okay, okay. Or Kurt. I mean, when we bring these guys back, also we'll be in fine shape. I think this guy will come over here. I think we put down a mine, they get copper and coal. Then we do a smelter, maybe. Wish we could put it on the desert, because that tile's gonna be dead, right? But I haven't expanded yet. Yikes. That hurt a lot. I guess we needed two frontline guys, not the... the cavalry guy maybe is a little bit worse. For that. Let's maybe levy war gears here. So that next turn we can build a smelter in this city. I 
We can also build pyramids. Where's the smelter? Oh, did we price ourselves out? We might have priced ourselves out. That's fine. We're getting a ton of uh, construction a tick. We need 57 to integrate. That's fine as well. Phoebe's. I wonder if we could... Can we use a thing to heal them? Reinforcements, what does this do? Let's try and get back up. I don't know. We need not, uh... Yeah. I don't think we're hitting Age of Monuments this time. That's super nice to get that. Alright, so now we can build the smelter as well. Furnace. And we're you working like all of our pops here. Um maybe we go library? generating any... no, you're losing unrest. God, they keep settling on our borders, man. Another one. Oh, uh, we're supposed pro at some point we're supposed to start recruiting up more troops, huh? All right, I need a little bit more for the pasture. Maybe we build a pyramid in their city, actually, because they need to expand out. So let's actually. Is that under professional? No, it's not. That'd be funny. <gasps> Shit. <sighs> I did not mean to build that there. Son of a bitch. I wanted to build a pyramid. Okay. It is what it is. So now we gotta try and send them. Some type of ore, right? Maybe this is an okay thing. So we want to be able to export stuff. What do we need to be able to do that? Not this, we need the stores. Alright, we're building stores next. That way we can send them the stuff. So we're not even gonna hit the age first. All right, now we're gonna build the correct thing. Pyramid right here. 
Use culture power. I think we're supposed to create a town. Create a town right here. It's gonna be our wood chopping town, so we will be able to. Oh, but we haven't incorporated that yet. But we can't integrate it now. Perfect. We'll integrate it. And then we will add foresters here. Let's check everyone's loyalty. They're fine. They're increasing. But at a pretty slow clip, but that's with a huge military there. Ugh. How much are they providing? Population number of regions. Oh, the military's in the wrong spot. And you're almost certainly going down. Yeah, okay, you're going down now. Alright. Nicomedia, I think we'll start off with the work camp. And end the turn. You could undo the turn, maybe? Oh, you're right. We could have undone. Ooh, all right. That's on man. You're 100% right. We can export the the wine or the olives from here to here. If we wanted to press them over here. Actually, we can press the flax. So I think we want to export the olives to Nicomedia. Persepolis, we'll take the town center. I think we're doing a good job keeping pace. I mean, they haven't attacked us, is the thing, and they're probably way stronger because they're cheaty McCheat cheats. But. We only have one pyramid. Oh no, wait, we have two pyramids. Upgrade one. But we don't know which one gets upgraded. Or is that a decision? Okay, maybe we just don't know which one gets upgraded. Fair. Maybe we're supposed to down them? Let's export these two. Make an idea. So now Nicomedia has the olives, right? And here we go here. And we do a press, and now we can turn both the olives into the cooking stuff. So now. We're making cooking oil, so we're getting a shitload of food. But maybe we want to ship some of the food back here. Or our problem is housing back here. Okay. We'll build more housing. Yes, dear.
Cephalus. We're gonna run into the grain problem soon. So maybe we go granary. This guy's straight up not recovering. Hmm. I mean, we can send a diplomat actually. could spawn an envoy and send him. Thebes isn't even that valuable looking though, it's out in the desert. We don't think that that's super good. I guess there's probably oil there. I'm not even sure if that's how the game should be, but that's generally how they are. We're getting so much construction here. We actually have a decent chunk of gold too. Maybe we're supposed to rush in places like this. So we can get the town center and the council a little bit faster. We have three workers there. We have four in Persepolis. We end the turn. Hmm. Just as soon as we spend our gold, huh? Alright. Just as soon as we finish the Civic Monument, boop, gets destroyed. We hates it. But we can make paper out of here now. I think. Do we have a paper maker? What do we need for this? Converts one log into one paper. Hell yeah. So the one log we had is turned into paper, carrying a ton of gold to turn. But it seems like a lot for us. We're just gonna go for the envoy thing. I think we're gonna move these guys here and move the, the scout back. And we'll just move the envoy to Thebes and we'll envoy it up. And we'll, I think we'll just probably leave it as a territory. So we could get siege, attack, or extra wealth. Is this forever? I think siege attack. Oh, I wish I knew it was calculated. So in Civ, 
it's calculated based on how much more of a stat you have than the opponent, so extra stat's really good. Is it possible to export an advanced industry good to essentially kickstart new regions? I think so. We're kind of doing that right now. Probably go another 30 minutes for the full 12 hour stream. Looks like we've lost. Yeah, we've, we, we're we're at the <laughs> we're at the tail end of this thing. Um, but currently, in Nicomedia, we are exporting olives from a different place so that we can use uh, one person to make a press. So this person's super efficient because normally you're taking three workers to do two plantations and a press in order to get this cooking oil and we're doing it with less people. So in that sense, we're kickstarting this region. Oh, marvelous, we didn't build over anything on accident. Alright, so we're gonna get to select one. Ooh, looks like we're the first stage. So... Kinda tempted to go machinery. I think we have a lot of iron. Um, all furnaces make wealth. Okay, let's do this. And also, we forgot that we wanted to export iron from here. Domestic exports, let's export this iron. And we're gonna export it to Persepolis. Because Persepolis, we accidentally misclicked and made a furnace. But now, that furnace is gonna make ingots for extra production, which is gonna be nice for us. So we could spawn a settler or we could wait for that. Loki don't know what we're supposed to do here. I guess we're probably supposed to spawn the settler. Hmm. Just don't know where the settler's going, to be honest. I mean, up here's not too bad. There is desert, but we could place it here next to the, the grain and be able to build a farm. Build a couple farms. We also will have the cotton. Not very good at evaluating city locations at this point. I mean, maybe we have a good number of cities already anyways. It's like, never correct though. All right, we'll actually scout out over here. Well, can I not recover because it's on a freaking one thing. God damn, we're still cooking just for a little while longer. We're reaching the end of the 12 hours. The people bought pizza. The pizza that was promised. Yeah, we'll see what's over here and then we'll decide where to put the settler. I think we're gonna buy a settler though. Yeah, 
it's unfortunate we're under siege, but... We'll try and ignore him. I think we come in here and we maybe go... So we could go pro, a pro army and try and timing attack these guys. We could go machines. Maybe we go machines. Machinery. Plus from coal goods. Or we could close out this. We need one more pyramid improvement. It's actually not a problem. Build a pyramid right here. I think we wanted this as a wood choppy place though. Well, we're currently converting the paper. Public quarters was the thing we were thinking of. So now we have a dwelling instead of a public quarters. I suppose it's fine. But it seems like being aggressive about this is probably a good way to get your things upgrading. Persephilus needs food. Yikes. Let's rush the granary. take well this is growing and then it'll be capped once it hits the level five because there's no oh no wait we do have a thing attached so it doesn't need it just just yet but we'd also like to grow it what strat do you recommend with russia in vic 3 after i abdicate the throne the market liberal sun build construction sectors and spam lum uh, lumber until atmo basically yeah uh i would I would do the iron construction sectors though and just try and get them get them to work uh, through oh yikes we meant this guy to be here I would try and get them to work more through um, the utilization of importing a lot I think importing really aggressively on the iron before you get ammo is really strong and then you pivot to ammo yeah uh, you specifically want to set up Luhansk so that you can get the the new company, Limited Russia Company, pr going pretty good. They also have the really good one in Poland, uh, the company. So you could go that route too. It's not terrible. Not great, not terrible. It's, th it's 3.6 Ronkin. Okay, I think we maybe want a city over here somewhere. I just don't know how we're gonna get the food to it. I guess maybe we just build it right here. Oh, uh, we could ship the food. Nicomedia had a thing we could ship cooking oil. Just straight up in order to jumpstart it. I guess we don't have to worry about it because it's gonna be a territory initially. Okay. And we'll march the army over. Yeah, they took out that other guy. Jesus, man. They're cooking. So 
So they're having trouble. Ooh, treasury. What do we need for this? Creates wealth. Just creates wealth. Wait, what? Well, let's make a city guard and then treasury. But you're gonna need... You're gonna need more housing, my guy. So let's make public quarters for you. And now you should be growing real fast, huh? Yeah. Oh, but here cannot build the thing. Curious. Let's build this. Actually, let's build the city guard for the other one. Let's just go treasury. I bet that's... Is that... I have to imagine that's because we have a forge, then. Alright, so the city guard will go down there. Where they are needed. Persephilus, of course, is now rioting. Yeah. Yeah, I think we maybe don't even want to add a region right now, so... Certainly. I think we volunteer here. Let me bring these guys back. Fortify these guys. Still want to explore that peninsula. Oh, yikes. That scout might be dead now, then. Maybe we switch. These guys go to the left. Yeah, that's probably better. That'll bring Thebes down. Machinery, I think we'll take the bonus production. Oh, maybe we're supposed to, we're probably supposed to finish out God King. It's, it's okay though. Okay, now we're gonna need here an aqueduct. And then we have a cooldown on the settler. But on Imperial Dynasty, we're almost done with peaceful reform. To be fair, we could just build a pyramid. So we can push the borders. I mean, here we're close to the close-ish to the iron and close-ish to the food. It's probably just a mistake, though. Oh, what are we doing? Smell you later. guys go left to the barb camp. The scout goes right to scout. Bro still streaming? Damn, we're trying. Slumlords plus 33 income, not going back into the economy. Disgusting. Absolutely. Maybe we put it in a throw in a watch here. Because I think that yeah, we're barely losing unrest. So let's throw on a watch here in Persepolis.
disgusting. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Get a uh, ship building. Then we'll send we'll send the we'll send our settler over here, man. <laughs> Cathargo is gonna go right here. <sighs> well maybe it goes up one <laughs> Thebes is a junk city. Boats, <laughs> says Donald. The bikes. <laughs> What the fuck are we building here? Oh, now we can build a treasury here? Region level 4. Got it. I think we do really want to move the settler up though. Hopefully we don't get smacked. Did we not put a mine down here? I don't think we did, but I'm not sure how good a mine is. Does plantation gather that? Works tea, generates wealth and diplo experience. Diplo experience seems pretty butt right now, to be honest. I think we do that though. It's gonna be growing fast, it's gonna be growing fast. Who done it? Thank you, Dry Stream, for the follow up, being nice. Yeah, the, the YouTube already all automatically cuts off at 12 hour stream. So that's, that's where we're going to cap both the streams at. We can bribe some dudes. Who's is neutral? Like we didn't even take damage. Maybe we're supposed to raise Thebes, to be honest. Oh, maybe we can recruit here. Bye, merchant. I wonder how aggressive we're supposed to rush the culture stuff. We do have a culture thing. I 
think we're supposed to use the gold more aggressively in, like, these places. Bikes. Oh, we get a free envoy from something. Hmm. Huh. Not sure what he could do that's useful. We could try to scout down here again. Two arts to or actually let's do machines. Let's go this into this, I think. Hey dry stream. Oh hey, uh, watch all your stuff while you're working. Big nice dude. Welcome to the stream. I assume you mean mainly the YouTube stuff. Oh, this isn't gonna be a very good one. Like, over there seems like it'd be much better. But we wanna make sure that we don't get clapped. back here and recover back at home yeah maybe we're supposed to be aggressively trying to get to their army I mean, we could just go for this, because it's close. I assume it gives more money the bigger the city that it comes to. Alright, we can go funeral rites. Oh, we could also found a religion. Let's do the funeral rites one. Big pyramid, big nice. I think we'll end up putting Carthage here and building a pyramid right here. Actually, we can put Carthage here and build the pyramid here. Nah, we, I think we want it there. Let's get the improvement points there. I forget we can do a stone cutter here because we have limestone in everywhere. So. Get out of here, Sweden. No one thinks you're cool. God. Take this one out too. All right. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's Perpop. Alright, we gotta trade root with that boy. Protect him at all costs. He's trying to get a lot of gold to turn. I think we're gonna... Uh, we can't name our thing Cathar Carthage, can we? It's not a real proper Carthage. It's the enemy. Nicomedia. Yeah, let's do this one. All furnace types generate three wealth. Or we can get a treb. Or... We need one more pyramid. We can do the... Yeah, I think we're gonna pyramid the city that we build here. Fuck. They're not supposed to build it before we do. Oh, well, I think Alexandria doesn't even have a... Let's build a city guard after. to disband the thing. Well, I guess we'll march down to Persepolis. Fortify until healed there. Down that way. Trivordium. How's the game going? Pretty good. We found the crabs region. We did. Also start importing whales. Whatever they are, we are landlocked people and we demand the whales. Much whales, much excite. Alright, let's do the arts experience thing. Oh, we can't integrate yet. That's right. I don't think we integrate Thebes. So maybe we want to make a... Uh, pyramid elsewhere. Maybe we're supposed to make it in here. Just so we can finish the God King thing and start getting social fabric ingenuity in age five. We're not even in age five though, are we? Hmm. I guess we don't hate having a pyramid. Double check that we are reducing this. Not a very good clip. Maybe we want another city guard. Then we'll do a market. We'd rush for 200 gold. I think that's not worth. Oh, hello.
Maybe it is worth. Let's rush, and then instead of the market, let's build this. Oh, we're gonna have to outro soon. Son of a bitch. That's okay. Talking for like 12 hours straight is a little bit tiring. Whales are made of oil and fat and salt. It's the perfect meal. Delicious and nutritious. How's it going, Cameron? The game's going pretty go good. We are, we are, we've been going a while now. We got three more days on the settler, to be honest. To be fair, we could use our Diplo to integrate this faster. Not sure that's a good so like spend ex expenditure over the Diplo. Yeah, maybe we. Okay, hey, let's pull this guy out. Let's go machinery. Let's make a trab. Oh, it doesn't make a trab. It gives us a thing that makes a trab. It's gonna be a culture power, isn't it? Locks treb spawn trebuchet. No, it just it looks like it's supposed to give us a treb, but we didn't we didn't get oh we did get a treb. It's just all the way over here. Fair. Cephalus is doing fine. We're looking at this up here. So you should be doing fine soon. Let's add another city guard to you. And then have you levy workers after this. And they should be going down now at a really fast pace, because we have two city guards? Yeah, they are. So it's just a matter of being able to afford more city guards, it feels like. Rude of them. But let's get over here. What's this? Oh, we can upgrade it to a logging camp. Hmm, I guess we'll want that. Now we really, I think, are gonna start popping off. Because I think we're going to make farms and then next turn we're gonna make a bakery and the other thing and then from Persepolis we will be able to after this I think go for stores so that we can export some of the food oh wow only 26 to rush what are they building that we could rush yeah okay this is maybe it seems worth rushing That guy walked into the wrong... I don't think he should have been in the wrong place, my friend. I guess we're going to be putting that down again. Let's go pro army next. 
Well, medieval university is really tempting. Maybe we do medieval university into pro army. Crossbow gets plus five attack, or we get a bunch of gold. Well, crossbow is getting invalidated by. No, we can't click and check. God, that's stupid. We can just choose the gold or the. Bro, I want to know if crossbows are. <sighs> Whatever. We'll say yes. I want to know if crossbows make it to this next age. In terms of like what's good. Can I take a weight? Yeah, let's do this one now. Social fabric ingenuity. Let's see how the catapult works. I think it just goes over. Oh, <laughs> that that is a that is a vibe. Yeah, just one shot to the walls. Okay. Spawns is that cannon? We'll do a cannon and some chaos. Attack thirty plus ten and twenty defense. This is 24 plus 10. That is a cannon, my friend. Hmm. Could also found a religion here. We have a ton of gov XP. We could spawn a settler. Not quite incorporated. I think if we were gonna spawn, we should have kept the army up here, though. Because I think we want something from up, up in that direction. Maybe we just spawn anyways. Yeah, I think we're I think we're just gonna wait for our next tech, to be honest. Our next tree. Pioneers can construct trebs. Hot. Tinkerer. Oh. Treb fans just got so hard, basically. I think we gotta outro the stream, though, because the YouTube stream's gonna cut out soon, anyways. Or actually, we've only been live- no, we started a little bit late. Okay, we can go a little bit longer. Okay, but we- oh, we have 81. Jesus. Okay. Um, let's see. We wanted to make- We wanted to make a mill. And then an oven. And now we have like unlimited food, right? But I think we want to export bread somewhere else. Alright, your issue is housing. Upgrade that to workshop. Keep going with the tag stuff. But we need 
The problem is there, we're not going to have a good spot to build it. You really need that housing? Okay. You're fine on everything but sanitation. Truth hurts. It's a dirty, dirty truth. We could rush this with gold, because we have so much gold. And make a town. Like, over here or something. Um, I guess we could also go here. Um.